Sorry, sorry. How's my match, Tenshi? I'm on now. Sorry for not being on as early. I was in the bathroom. And yeah. So we're gonna go right back into Profound Capital. There were, I think there might have been three or so doors. Hmm, we'll see what happens. So over here in Profane, I want to make sure I don't die and fall down. That'll be all. Something right over there. There were the gargs. There was a way up to something. I just need to... The chances of me falling to my death are higher than I might like. Much higher. But I can't respawn anything right now, so I can't sit by the bonfire. I guess I could take the Ash and Estus, but first and foremost, let's shield out right now, which means we can keep that up when we go back to kill the rats. We won't have to worry about anything like that. Okay. Oh. Just un second. Just gonna go ahead real quick and chill. Hmm. Arthas Ark. The big thing is that Sigurd is back in Irithal Dungeon, and I actually missed him. He was on the ground floor of the big room with the rats. And yeah, yeah. If I want to free him, and I do think I have the necessary key. Yep, everything here is still dispatched, which is good. Just gotta go back to the room over here, I believe. It's one of these. This one, or... No, I don't think it was this. Was this the way to Arch Dragon? This was the way to Arch Dragon Peak. Take some time to get... You need to get a gesture from somewhere in order to make it work, but... We'll figure out how to do it. So in that case, I will simply... Go back up. Make pilgrimage, so to speak, to the dragon... I mean, the giant's room, if it was... Yes, it was back through here. These rats are chasing me. And then over there on that side of the sewer. That can go down and open some stuff up. But I do kind of want to go through a bit more just to make sure. Some things. Oh, but the drop down is going to be kind of obnoxious. How do I want to live this? I guess the best way would be to equip... Silver cat ring for the duration that I'm still looking for stuff inside here, but that's life. Thank you. Yep, no fall damage. Nothing down there other than certain death. Got our shield up and our. Oh, well, I. Hmm. Oh, my. Oh, that's really, really bad. How do I want to. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, I. Oh, uh. Hit. We gotta be really, really careful about this one. So, for now, I'm gonna have to put on cell swords again. I was really hoping, really, really hoping I'd be able to take these guys out easily, but when they respawn, I think that might have been. Is that all of them or not? Because I know that they don't spawn in infinitely from what I've heard, but spawn in for a while. So this, thank you, one, two, block, and then do a quick repeated slash. We're just fine. Gotta make sure. Sick word is over there, very precisely. If I kill all the rats in here, hmm. Oh, what I should have done was just put up tears, that's right. But, just gotta make sure this rat doesn't kill us first. Okay. Have that. Can't believe I forgot. I keep forgetting about tears. I feel like such an imbecile. This will be a bit of insurance while we hopefully eliminate the remaining rats. Hopefully. And then that should hopefully mean Sigurd. I'm not entirely sure. The big thing is make sure I don't actually fall down. Okay, at least Cell Sword is fast and the slashing damage seems to be more effective, but just want to make sure that 
everything's cleared out so I don't get killed mid sigward mid talking to him. Because I know that specifically the wiki says that if you die while you're talking to Carla, which would almost certainly be from a jailer or something, you. Carla will somehow die and not go to Firelink. But. Hmm. This is tough. And there is also the possibility that the wiki is just wrong, and the rats do just infinitely spawn. But if there's even a small chance of just making this place totally clear. So that is more or less what happened with... Uh, the... Do not Doors of Pharaohs, but Grave of Saints in DS2 was actually infinite, I think, but it seems as if the rats have actually stopped spawning in. So I've killed all the rats for now, I think. That's blocked off. It'd be really funny if one came from behind and just killed me. It wouldn't be fun, but it would be funny. Okay, and is this... Okay, and this is another elevator. I think that's actually right back up to the start. Yeah, then I do want to go through and make sure I've unlocked everything relevant. So Sigurd's in here. Mm -hmm. And Profane Capital is actually going to be the access. Oh! Absorbent Thought Trap, like a rat. Well, there were plenty of rats. Like, my options almost come. Kind of need a bit more time. Moment would be your. He is outside. Riddle for the ages. Hmm. And I believe I've got the key to actually go inside that cell. The access would be from Profane Capital. Okay, first and foremost, do want to go back through a bit of the area in order to make sure that I haven't missed any of the locked doors. Because so I marked down that there were three or so. There are a number of things in this area that I'd like to check out and make sure of. Well, this is just Irithel proper. I know there were a few more locked doors. Come through here. Hello. Thank you. Mm hmm. Shield up is a good idea. Guess I'll. Oh, nothing there. What expensive hollow ahead are you ready? I don't like the implication there. And also nothing. I think one of the yeah one of those doors was locked, and I'm not sure whether I've got. A key that can actually open it. Let's see. Oh, it's still locked. Alright. Quite frankly, what I should do and should have done was specifically mark the stuff that I was looking for. Specifically name and indicate the nature of each locked door. So that I could specifically look at things and know if I'd seen it already through description. Would be a good idea in retrospect, but, hmm. Come on. Thank you. Easy enough. That was never going to be any real issue, but... Down there we have a bit more, and I think I avoided... Hmm. Some of them. So we got the warden down there in those caged hollows. Those caged hollows are going to be aggravating. Yeah, so there was... One locked door, and we do see Profane Capital down there. Guess if we just go down this way. Hmm. But there's so much. I think there are just... Would I have been counting Sigward? That's the question, really. As one of the locked doors. Because that would determine... Whether... Aristocrats, Matt, and Shaler Gloves, and... Oh, thanks! Thank you! Okay, well, that's my answer. Hmm. So, I will... I think it was probably Sigward. There might be one more. Sigward, Carla, in that first door. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, gotta go back to Dungeon in order to reclaim. That big blood stain, because that would be at least one level up, and I want that level up. Mm -hmm. Okay.
So in that case, I think I will put tears up again and then equip Wing of Sacrifice, just to make sure. There are also, also a few things back in other areas I want to get to. For example, I miss Yorshka over in Anne Orlando. The way to the top of the Church of Yorshka Tower, I just did not go to. It's alright, but... Thank you. Thank you. And... Hollow down here. Hello, hello. Enough. A little bit more damage, but doesn't change the number of hits needed to kill. Okay. Gotta go down, get my blood stain back, and... Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Anything off of you, or... Mm -mm. Yeah, Carla, Sigurd, and whatever that initial key was. That's what I'm gonna need. I don't know quite how I'll get it, but that, that is what I need. Thank you, thank you. There we go. And what if I do that? How can I... Well, I can just run back at this point. There's no need to... Boost a homeward bone on this. Oh, hello there. Hi. Thanks. Well, that fire. The big question is, and it's actually kind of close to two level ups. The big question is, I guess I could put it in Dax. Walk always goes last because it's useless for pretty much everything. Go back to Firelink briefly. Get some of that done. Hmm. Okay. I'll up real quick, and... Hmm. Oh, oh, did not intend for that. And, yep, the scaling is good, so we got a good amount of damage from that. Then I think next would be... I suppose... I'm gonna be going around. It might be better to... Well, first of all, I should unequip this. Don't need that on right now. Pontiff's right eye, and I don't believe I have the Great Swamp Ring. Yeah, because Young Dragon's right in front of Bellwing, and I have Witch's Ring, but I don't have Great Swamp, which means there is a... One of the crabs over in uh, Rota Sacrifice has actually dropped something relevant, so I'm just going to go over and kill it. Yeah. Hmm. So that would mean putting on Great Magic Weapon instead of Flame Arc, most likely. Weaker to Magic. And then switching to Drain Hammers. Yeah, yeah. Then for now, I'll put Heretic Staff back on here, but oh, interesting. That, alright. I guess I'll get rid of the pants. Huh. Okay. First of all, actually, you put the pants back on and take Chime off, because that effect's still on. Drain shoes. Okay. I like how they're just shoes. Not boots or leggings or greens, just shoes. Okay. Let's do this thing. Go on and. Oh, well, we went the wrong way. We wanted to go to the other side. Which means going up the ladder. Not the former. The latter. Got a lot more flasks now, and oh, well, okay. I don't hate that, actually. Okay, that was a little laggy. Oh, but that's gonna mean no, no tears when I get back. Well, oh, whatever. Huh. Oh. Must be a dark spirit nearby somewhere. Got a decent amount of. Mmm. Someone is getting the crap kicked out of him. Let's briefly put our chime back on, just be apply tears. Okay, thank you. And where is presumably that Aldrich Faithful guy? 
Hello, hello. Oh, but that requires more than flame arc. Interesting. Well, so be it. I'm just gonna kill... Oh, it's an invading warrior of sunlight. That's something. I... Okay. Hmm. Do I want to do this and... Oh my, oh my, oh my lord. How are you gonna... Yeah, oh my... Uh, what are you... Oh, what is that? Gale Greatsword? That's actually crazy. One spin and... Slam, thanks. Uh, uh, oh, uh, thank you, I guess. What? How do I want to... Please, and... One... What? Uh, come on. At least Blade of Peril is not that strong. Okay. And you're... Okay. Get over here, and... Oh, and a... Is this supposed to be a fight club or what? I really can't tell. Mm, okay. And just one, two, and... Okay, what? Please. Can I... Can I... What? Oh. Come on. You... Where are we going? Mm, I hate you so much. Why aren't you helping? How are you doing? How are you doing? I... I... Uh, a warrior of sunlight should not be trying to administer... This is a very strange place for a fight club, quite frankly. I wish I could just kill that warrior of sunlight. <laughs> As in, the one who's actually supposed to be helping right now. But I... Uh, what in the... Stupid. Okay. Uh, the fact that... That guy was twinking horribly, as in twinking to an obnoxious degree. He had Gale's weaponry at level 60 or something. And I guess I would respect that if he'd done it legit, but the chances of that are incredibly low, and the chances of him just having, having dropped them from himself from another file are much, much higher. Thanks for popping in, by the way. I... I'm sorry that I wasn't here on time. I was... There's no pleasant way to say this. I was trying and failing to go to the bathroom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like... the Ital Our Italian friend should be here soon. And with your permission, I would like to... Recite that rant you went on. About why 9 is the worst number. It deserves some rep it deserves some recognition and repetition in my opinion. Okay, cool. Y you simply cooked too hard. But the big thing is that I realized that and frankly, I've got the witch's ring, so I don't really need it at this point. But the pyromancy ring that you get, great great swamp ring, I had never got great swamp ring from the crabs here cuz I didn't kill the crab that gives it to you. Oh my, okay. Okay. Hmm. On. Okay, thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is. But I think I killed this one, but there was. Okay, that is. That's the great swamp and crab. That's good. Yeah, so I killed all the other crabs at, at least some point, but I didn't kill that one. And also, do I have enough for. I do have enough for a level up now. I guess that singular crab actually gave more. Yeah, but, as you can see, I've got Dark Moon on right now, which is kind of interfering with things. But I do want three more proofs, and I don't want to have to farm them from Silver Knights. Because so that would mean Dark Moon Ring, and therefore one more attunement slot, which would be pretty nice, actually. I also forgot to go and get Yorshka at the top of her tower. So I'm gonna go do that, too. It really was not immediately obvious. It... It's kind of the equivalent of, I believe, it's heretical rise from Elden Ring and Mountaintops. Attunement, and finally one more, I could get more Vigor, or I could get one more Attunement slot. Yeah. Well, that's why it's the equivalent of heretical rise in Elden Ring. I will simply go back to Enorlando, should be the best option. Enorlando. That said, I could also, I guess, kill the couple of knights right over here. 
see if they drop anything relevant. The chances are nil. I do appreciate... It was the only way they really could have done it. Making farming covenant items basically untenable. Well, possible, but very, very difficult to encourage you to actually do it the intended way. So... BRB bio! I, d I just heard that. I just found out what that meant last night. Enjoy your bathroom break. So, how do I... Got another slot, but I'm not exactly sure what to use it for. I guess I could choose between two buffs, depending on what I want to do. That's fair, I guess. And I could put Pyroflame on here? Sure. Still think that Karthus should still be a little better right now. So let's try that out. Hello, hello, knights. I'm gonna kill you real quick before going to see what yours is up to. Thank you. One, two. One, two. And that's all. Mmm. If only I had a little bit more stamina. So, we gotta make sure we don't have to fight multiple at once, is the thing. Dodge it. Oh, well. Okay, close enough. Thank you, thank you. A little bit seems to have pierced. So is this... It's a large Titanite shirt and two pieces of armor, but no Concord. And it makes sense, but still. Okay, and... Oh, wow, I... Alright. Really was not expecting that level of pancaking from a single sword attack. And... Okay, interesting, interesting. Got a... Oh, my... Okay. One, two, three, four, and... One last one, and... Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Phantom range is pretty good, but I... Okay, okay. Maybe if I had an actual... Mm, actual projectile, that'd be nice. At least we were able to interrupt that slightly. Yeah, and it's still just a large titanite shard. Big thing is, the Yorshka Church Tower is... Somewhere over that way. That's the Sullivan. It's clearly down there. Jog ahead. That is actually true, though. So if I recall correctly, let's see Lothric up there and a bit of... That would be Cathedral of the Deep over there, right? Because that... I'm sure that's the Abyss. I can't actually tell. Is that... No, that would be the Abyss Watcher's little area. That would be Cathedral of the Deep. So Cathedral of the Deep and Irithyll are actually incredibly close to each other. Interesting. That does make sense, given how connected they are to Aldrich. But it... Mm -hmm. And is this the way? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's go forward, and then we drop off to the right as soon as we can. Thank you, thank you, and is that... That is Yorshka. She's literally right there. Okay. And if we killed her, we'll get, we would get her chime, which as of now is not useful for anything for us. Prison tower, and there she is. There's our girl. Welcome back. We just got to Yorshka. Name thyself, stranger. But my I'm name isn't Stranger. Captain of the Dark Moon Knight. What oh. beckoned thee to such a place? Fun. Dark Moon loyalty. Oh! Dark I guess too. if we don't have Cirrus's gesture, well. we can't join Captain, Captain Knight. What's our remain? The purpose. And then we have. Dark Moon, which is identical to Blue Sentinels, hear my voice, come to become... become a shadow of far oh, and he's, she's saying the same thing that Gwendolyn did. A blade Those that are lords. Of our lords. She does imply that her brother was Gwen Gwendolyn. And the power of the Dark Moon. She said it like two words, not one. Well, there we go. That's Start now a blade of the dark aggressive. Moon. The only we night. Solemn duty, a boy of the dark moon. And we could offer proofs, oh. but it won't be relevant till we have ten. Sucker, tell me how. Talk. When he the fire center of his own will, champions come in his stead. Father of the gods, dark moon knight's long arms, long watch ago, over. Only it's proper night. Oh, so that would have been until the time of thy visit. The Dark Moon Nidus. take up many forms, indeed. The Brasset Gal. May I pose thee a question? This tower, Ocean, solitary, this long prison, unmoving. Stands tall and solitary. 
the contraption so she was send of the air winged thing let's not lie to her I wonder if I feel like I have to look up Yorushka voice actor is Martha McIntosh yes she has the same voice actress Yorshka's voice actress also did Melina. You're a ge you're a freaking genius. Oh my goodness. No, of course, of course not. No more my ass. Little of anything. Long ago, now, so what? Only if we had the option to say the other ago, thing. Now, nah, no. Nah, I wonder what would have happened if we lied or something. Soon, Darkman, dark. watch over thee. Yeah. Peek in two different games. Peek in two different games. I know that Shadow of the Earth Tree probably won't have anything Melina related because of the chance of her just having died. But I do hope we'll at least get more Melina lore. We'll see. The big thing is that the Smolding Butterfly, which people theorize was related to Melina, is almost certainly related to Mesmer instead. Or maybe it could even be both. Or maybe actually there's going to be a fourth butterfly only in Land of Shadows for Mesmer. I don't know. Either way, we got our painting guardian set, so let's drop down here to the church. Let's use the bonfire to get back to Darkman Tomb. I should be able to do the on remarriage stuff now, and therefore get the funny lock sword, which could be a pretty good option, depending. So let's continue on our path. Go back over here, back to another bonfire, pretty much immediately underneath. So we go back to Anne Orlando proper, and go down to the Dark Moon Tomb, which I don't believe should have a should have a bonfire of its own. I'm dead certain it doesn't. But what it does tell me, the big thing is that I can equip this, which is the same as this. Sheepskin parchment. This is a silver pendant, but it's the same. Dark Moon, automatically. Hmm. Alright. And, let me see. It. What does the icon look like in comparison? And... The icon is identical, too. That's funny. So... Didn't need to do that. I guess we could. Just for the sake of thoroughness. Uh, it's not like we're going to encounter any kind of combat down there, so... Just gotta put the contraption down, go back to the Dark Moon Tomb. I do like how much of the layout is the same. I do wish that the right side of the cathedral was accessible as just an extra side area. As it does feel silly for it to be all modeled and totally blocked off. So that might lead to seeing Solaire down there dead. And that might not be as pleasant. It would be better, I suppose, in the Solaris the Carthus Sandworm theory. There is supposed to be an illusory wall past here, I believe. I wonder if it would be revealed by... There we go, back into Gwendolyn's room. And it's a bit smaller, actually, than it originally was. Hello. And there's the Brass Mitz Brass set. Check the descriptions of the Painting Guardian Sword, which I don't think I have the dex to wield it right now. Yeah, I don't. Curved Sword, Amongst Heretics. Interesting. Thwat Tip, Chain Dance, Deadly Grace. And I think they use that for the Blue Dancer Sword, maybe? In Elden Ring? I'm not entirely sure, but we have... Check out the Brass Set and the Painting Guardian Set. Guardian Gown, Mythology of Heretics, Sitter's Magic, Hunchback Teller of Tales, Unwelcome Cold Painted World. Oh, so they specifically tied the Painting Guardians to the Painted World. That's very interesting. And Brass Armor, Dark Moon, Something Hideous, Suggests Femininity. So they forgot that the Dark Moon Nidus was female, but remembered something about the humanity underneath because she's a firekeeper. So Henri is simply not here right now. Fine work ahead. Wait, God ahead? Yep, because this was Gwyn's coffin, even if Gwyn never had a corpse in here. It is interesting how 
And I know I've had some theories about what was actually originally in there. Fact of that. Back in Dark Souls 1, when you got here, there was a chest with Sunlight Blade, a chest with the brass set, another set with nothing in it. Which raises the question of what might have originally been in there and who took it and why. Either way, I think Yuria, once I messed up the questline somehow, should tell me that Henri's in there. Speak Honorable. Ah, Wouldn't we? Spats is ready. We're about to green. Darkman Chamber of Anne Orlando. Monarch become. So, all I had to do was talk to her before going there, and that means I need to go back. That said, I think... It might honestly be a quicker route to... No, it would still be faster to go to Anne Orlando. The big issue is that I actually have to go back couple times, I think, because after doing the ceremony, I need to go back to get the sword, and then it's either there in Church in Yorshka, where a pilgrim will die and drop the chameleon sorcery, but I do need to bring this back up. Hmm. Fills down there. We've... This Watcher's Keep is over there, and then there's Catacombs, and then that. Over there is Cathedral of the Deep. I will say, even if there's a lot of placeholder terrain, I do appreciate how much of the game's geography you can see from one place. I will say, I find it interesting that pretty much everything playable is on one side, and Firelink slash Untended Graves on the other side of Rother Castle. But I would suppose that a lot of it was done deliberately to make sure that until you got to Highwall, and more specifically to Settlement, or at least to the balcony overlooking Settlement, you wouldn't be able to really see anything in the game world while you were in Firelink, other than other than Highwall and Lothar Castle. And I guess by argument, Grand Archives, and oh, there you are, Pilgrim. Welcome, our gracious lord. Okay. Your Very new, sort of a vowel. Lord of Wanderer yet. Oh, actually, there's actually a bestowal animation. Your hands kind of went through me. And that's not a weapon, but a an item. I do actually appreciate how the key to the embedded in Dark Souls 2 was actually wieldable as a weapon. When locked birth to a true hollow lord, cannot be equipped. Press it to true hollow lord, lord spouse's name is Henri, awaits all rightful lord deep within the mausoleum. Okay. Yours. Very near. And we have to... Plunge this sword into poor Henri's carcass, and we'll get her funny luck scaling sword and unlock the Lord of Hollow's ending, which I suppose I'll take. I guess the question is, generally speaking, people consider the hardest ending to get to be the true one, like the Aldi ending or the Ronnie ending. But there's an argument to be made that End of Fire ending is harder because you have to kill Gundyr for it. All you have to do here is just choose the right options and chill out with Light of a Vowel. Funny cutscene. Just talk to Yuri and draw, draw out strength. Well, I would say that the Ronnie one is probably a bit more pleasant, but that's an Elden Ring marriage, not a Dark Souls marriage. It is interesting how... Sort of a vow actually looks a little bit like the Kusanagi. Very least, it's a very, very patinaed bronze. So, you can see the power of the dark flow into us as these god rays stream out. Contrast of light and dark. You know, that, that pan implies it's something worse happened than it actually did. Well, I actually didn't notice it was stabbed into the head until just now. We got three more dark sigils, but no more strength. God ahead. Poor Henri. Dang. And if you pan down, it's just this hollowed head. Alright, so what will the pilgrim say if we go back to talk to her? Either way, I would like to, I think, reset the area and therefore... Hopefully be able to pick up Henri's sword. 
Use a couple of twinkling titanites to upgrade it. We've got enough for, I believe, taking it to plus three. Oh, dead already. Okay. Fair enough. So chameleon's right there. Suppose if we're gonna have to call this thing up anyway, we may as well take the long road and it's still gonna take more time than using a bone on it. Pretty soon I'll be able to get to untended graves and pick up cold sword fragment, and then I won't have to worry about wasting or running out of more more properly, running out of homeward bones. I think that should properly reload the area. Let's go down, pick up. I wonder what the description of chameleon is, because it's not anything about light equals time. Hmm. Pair of hidden weapon and chameleon. Something inconspicuous. Mischief of young girl. Relief from the solitude of the woods at, at dusk. The word dusk seems a bit relevant here. But I do find it interesting that you find dusk set in Ferron Woods, which... Given that there were a couple of dead mushroom people in there, it does seem to imply that there's a connection between Ferron Woods and Darkroot, which would make sense given that Darkroot was the site of Artorius' grave. But it does kind of sadden me a lot of the time when they bring back the models of original Dark Souls enemies. For example, in Smoldering Lake, you've got these corpses of Taurus, Asylum slash Stray, and Capra demons around, but you don't fight a single one. Which makes sense lore-wise, though, to be said, that, to be fair, that could have been done ex post facto to justify none being there. But additionally to that, additionally to that, there are also some mushroom men over in Theron Keep. There we go, we just had to come back and, oh, the corpse is gone. Wonder what happened to it. Either way, we can pick up this thing on Restraint Sword, which is just a sillier version of the... So where is it? I really should clear out my inventory. One restraint sword, a store restraint sword, and this is already 149 versus 143. So it's already stronger. It's gonna get better with upgrading too by a good deal, I believe. Well crafted sword versus the dullest type of blade. I thought about that, but to be honest, it wouldn't take much shorter. That's the thing. If it was a longer run, I would have considered it, and also if it hadn't worked, I'd still have to do it anyway. Royal blood, reminder of an heirloom, and stance, earn to be noble, loose of essential property, unique, which is luck. Do you want to see? Henri seems to be a bit more tarnished. Not in Elden Ring sense. Yeah, it's more this dark color. Which is interesting because it reminds me of the difference between the two Artorius greatswords. In. Actually, only the hilt really seems to be all that different. No, the blade is still a bit tarnished. I actually like this. I like the appearance of this a good deal better. Alright, and this is a quite capable weapon. That said, if I compare it to something like... I think Sellsword is still... This is still a good deal better. Um, 231, and on Sellsword we have... Oh, I'm being summoned, I guess. This could actually be a decent opportunity to try out Henri. Henri stuff. Well, I... Let's put on Blades. Probably. See how I want to handle this. Yeah, a few more of these Dark Moon invasions. I can get Dark Moon Ring, and though to be fair, I don't really need that many attunement slots. So how is this gonna work? And got a Warrior of Sunlight. I guess I could stick around and hope that they take each other out or something. I'm not sure. Actually, let me. Gotta put. Actually, I can take this off and replace it with Chime because I'm not gonna be using. That buff. Okay, tears right there. Time for Karthus, and then we'll blast back up. And thank you very much. So, do not, do not, thank you. 
we will handle this the best way we know possible, and... Oh, you rolled out of the way of that. Not fun. And... Oh, spin it. Oh, come on. That said, having it two-person gank and not having to worry about hitting my ally should be good, but of course you're trying to provoke the giants. I really can't be surprised by anything at this point. Come on, I... Oh, I didn't mean to use that one. Please, please, I... Uh, what, what, uh, please. You are strong. Don't like that. One, two, I, I don't, I don't. I don't believe so. That said, I don't know if I can use it as a cooperator instead of a host. That's the thing. But I, oh, well, I, come on. You're a lunatic. And spin, and... Crush you, SS up, and come on. Let's just. Uh, but. Ah. Uh, well, you know, that's life. That's life sometimes. Big question is. I'm pretty sure that Henri Sword gets a lot out of upgrading. And also, I'm comparing an upgraded, significantly upgraded weapon to a completely unupgraded weapon. So let's go back to Andre and see how good I can make this thing. Because I did do a bit of comparison in Mugen Monkey. And Henri sort of does get very, very strong. Though to be fair, that's with, you know, a specific dex luck build. Ah, just wasn't neat. But I do think it could be a decent... Alternative to other weapons if I actually wanted to go sword and board for a specific fight, maybe. That, it's getting a good deal. Takes twinklings, and... That... Not bad. Oh, that... That base scaling went up significantly. Okay. So as of right now, let me see. This is it. 231, and Henri's is it? 225. Among other things, it's also just significantly lighter. Which is not nothing. Actually, where is... It's saying weight. Yeah, 3.0 versus string hammers, which are 9.0. That... This thing is lightest by far, so if I really wanted to prioritize defense, I'd go with that. I could have used that on Aldrich, frankly I should have. Considering the relationship between Henri and Aldrich, but... Should get more twinkling soon enough for... Certain weapons like Isola's Staff, maybe... It's an idea. So, Titanite Chunk, and then... Titanite Chunk... Quite frankly, I do prefer drink hammers. Whenever I have the real choice presented to me. So I'll take that right now. And then I guess we'll actually go back to Profane Capital. I'm not sure whether I can actually upgrade... Whether it's even possible to upgrade... Storm Ruler. Either way, I will be using it for the Orm fight. That is predetermined. Let me see... Big question is, is that Gargoyle coming back? I think it was a single time spawn, but I'd like to check. Before any of that, first I want to see, what are the monstrosities of sin? Monstrosity of sin, DS3. What are they weak to? They're weak to... Very weak to thrust, actually. Slash and thrust and fire. Huh, okay. The question is, if I... Cell sword versus... Cell sword is at 219, Henri's is at... 218. And to be fair, if I'm fighting big things, honestly, I'd say cell sword is actually better for boss fights, as I'm not really going to be using a shield during boss fights. And additionally, though I keep forgetting about it, Henri's does have an innate blessed effect, which might have explained how Henri did pretty well in Catacombs, which means a decent amount of HP regen scaling off of Faith, I believe. 
I do want to see if that gargoyle ended up coming back. I'm pretty sure it didn't. Either way, I'm definitely not having 20 intelligence. Unless, actually, I want to be really funny and do DLC before fighting Dancer. In that case, I would almost definitely be able to use... Great Deep Soul on Dancer, but at that point it'd be overkill, quite frankly. And, oh, hello there, hi. Let's see how well this thing does. And, as predicted... Frankly, the big thing, I just didn't expect... The Gorgol to respawn, and... I wasn't paying enough attention. Okay, well, I need to go back and get that blood stain again, which means... I suppose, fighting that gargoyle again. And right now we're at 46.5, which... The reduced equip load is... Pretty good, I will say. So in that case, we'll go back down, we'll put Karthus back on, weapon switch on the... And don't you know it. Don't I know it. The Italian said that I wasn't allowed to die stupidly before she showed up. Said she was still on the train and that she would pop in after that, so... We'll see when and how that works out. By the way, I could actually use the shield of hammers, but... You're losing a lot more out of using... Oh, goodness. Okay. Using... Oh, but I... Interesting, I didn't think I had it one-handed. Okay, well, whatever. All right. Come on, come on. And... So where do we want to fight you? One, two, three, four, five, and... Oh, they're shielded. Annoying. Okay. And pretty decent. Okay, yeah, bludgeoning on that guy makes it pretty trivial. Actually kind of surprised at how few souls we got from that. But here we are, profane capital, and when... I think I'll switch to Henri, when, Henri's sword when I fight. Was there anything down here? There might have been, initially. Frankly, if there was something, then I already got it, so it doesn't exactly matter. So what else is around here that I could grab? Clearly I'm gonna have to go through the other side to get that. What if I go down here? Oh, you might have seen, I think I said it in the Genshin server, but they're raising resin cap to 200, which is about as much as they ever really needed to raise it. Because that means that you can never over cap if you log in every day, more or less. Because you get 180 throughout the course of a day, and that means that the cap is higher than you get per day. Which makes things a lot more reasonable. A lot of people are talking about the influence of Lutheran Waves does look like an interesting game. Yeah, it really is. It, it, you could definitely tell they were waiting to do it until they really had to, though, which is always the rub with live service games. You have to drag any quality of life out of them kicking and screaming. Big thing is, and there's another ladder down there. There's another ladder up by the bonfire, and I'm wondering what that precisely leads to. That's the question. How do I want to do this? That's what I'm wondering about. Huh. And so if I drop down here, oh, that would, that would just kill me. Okay. So actually, this might be the proper way forward. And going up the ladder by the bon, well, going down the ladder by the bonfire might actually just lead to that side area down there. I'm not precisely sure. Huh. I think this might be the way back. I might be getting all turned... Well, I'm definitely getting all turned around, but it seems as if I might have dropped down there and had to use the slider to get back inside. I think so, yeah. Yep, that was a drop down. Getting forgetful in my young age. So let's climb up this ladder real quick and see what we can maybe possibly find. Anything down there? I... There might have been something. I do think I already got it. No, I don't really see a proper drop down there. There's some side windows around. Hajime Masenchi, how are you doing? Okay, okay. Our friendly Italian has arrived, which means I need to recite what t Boy said last night about why 9 is the worst number. Okay. Oh, and there was an addendum too? Let me see. Okay. Because it's peak. 
Reasons to dislike 9. It's just 6 upside down, imposter. Counting to 9 is like stopping right before you reach the end of a marathon, like a quitter. It's using prices to fool people in thinking it's cheaper than it really is. Just $59.99, like that one cent is going to make a difference. 0.9999999999 repeating equals 1 seems fake. 9 times 9 is 81. What a misbegotten number. 81 is the number equivalent of being in a poison swamp with low HP. What's your favorite number? 9. Nobody. What do you mean 9 isn't prime? It's odd and only one digit. Seems fake. And I think there was an addendum. Was there an addendum? Let me see. Oh! Addition addendum to the reasons dislike 9. I thought about them in the shower. 99999. Nine, nine. Sounds like a certain German dictator. Nine once broke into my house and stole my lettuce. Nine rhymes with malign. Coincidence? Mighty number nine was a terrible game. Gee, I wonder why. Nine was the last digit of Karen's phone number. She took the kids. No, no, that was... We had a discussion last night with some other people about the best and worst numbers. And he was an anti-nine partisan. And I respect, I respect his grind. I respect the grind set. Oh, so this is separate. So what would be the other way if we try rolling? And is this gonna... You know, that one was on me. I, I guess the argument would be seven is the best number because seven, eight, nine. Seven tried to free the world from the tyranny of the number... I respect that. I respect that. That's a good take, too. Seven tried to free the world from the tyranny of number nine. I, I can't decide whether to rate this good or poor. That, that was funny. I might not have been happy about it, but it was funny. Wait, so is that a... Why are there deacons down here? Oh, but also I forgot to equip tears. It's a good number. And if you turn eight, eight sideways, it is an infinity sign, and that's cool, too. So what am I going to find over here? Is this a key, or... Okay, I don't think I can drop down here. Symmetrical... Oh, another gargoyle. Fine. Quite frankly, I think... Wow! Okay. Impressive. Hmm. So... Symmetrical, unlike... A certain number which shall not be named. The big thing is, got Karthus here, that's the question would be, but I want to equip another Pyromancy in place of that. Sure, I'll put on Fire Orb. So we actually should have a lot more damage on Fire Orb now too. We'll see. Wait, wait. So what's the connection between Soul Eater and the number 8? I'm not quite familiar. So we, mmm, we got a whir. So who's spinning fire at me? Okay, here's the gargoyle. I want to see how much damage a fire orb would deal to this gargoyle. Oh, the fireballs are hitting the gargoyle too? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, okay. Well, also, that wasn't all that effective. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. And I... Oh, you know? If I want, I guess I can fold to my death again. Oh, but the gargoyle died too. That's funny. Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Put this back up. Mm. Try not to follow the death challenge. Impossible. Okay, I... That reminds me of something, which is that when I was young, I would try to... Do, nothing, nothing relating to the number 8, but I would try to do a symmetry thing. Where I would try to... For example, if I'm stepping on sidewalk cracks... I would feel like I would have to step on them an equal amount of time with my left foot and my right foot. And in general, just... Cared a lot about symmetry. Are we... All three of us? All three of us? Oh my goodness. It really is true. What, like, v like streamer, like viewer. Like streamer, like viewer. Oh, that popped my tears. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're all just- we're all just the same person at different points in time. That's the only conclusion I can draw. Exactly! Oh my goodness. I'm not sure whether to feel vindicated or like an absolute imbecile. 
my... You know... Mathematical and superstitious. What are we, Pythagoras? If I recall correctly... Pythagoras is in the ancient Greek mathematician. Well, I do know for sure that he had a religious... Sort of a mathematical religious cult. Let me slay a great arrow. And is this... Can go down here. That's good. Let's roll past that. And do I hear something coming? Can I get over this way? Lord Soul of a Weary Warrior. So if I dropped down, I could get over to... Those deacons. I believe they're deacons. Actually, wait. What are these? What are these people? What are they? But the big thing is that... He would kill people... For suggesting the existence of irrational numbers. If you were in Pythagoras' cult, and he suggested the idea that some numbers couldn't be represented as ratios, they would just kill you. It'd straight up kill you. Which, you know, intellectually, intellectually, I can't exactly condone that. I mean, not morally either, but it's pretty metal. Oh my. Wow. I guess I should try to use. Cell swords on them, maybe? Yeah, I... I... I swear, all of us are just the same person. Okay. So, Drang Hammers actually isn't great for dealing with these guys. That did kill them. Then... Well, it, it, it's less that it comes after, more than it's just presumed. Well, they, they would just kill you. They would just kill you. And... Oh, and we can actually stagger. That's good. And... Take you out. I feel I feel like Jao. I feel just like Jao. The thing is... Oh, and we've got all these... All these teapots or genie lamps or so, oil lamps or something. I do find it interesting because apparently... Lament... Plunger.jpg. That apparently, and some of these things were verified by actual data miners, but some of the other things are more in question. There's evidence that High Lord Wolnir, the skeleton guy, was originally going to be Yorm the Giant, as in in profane capital and named Yorm, and that Yorm was actually, with a bit different gameplay, going to be. The Glock in my Ferrari. <laughs> exactly. Going back... Going back to the time of ancient Greece with a gun. Not in order to conquer it, but in order to show Pythagoras' cult proof of the existence of irrational numbers without them being able to retaliate against me. I, I have to respect the grind set. I have to respect the grind set. But... Well, yeah, exactly. What, what would they do against you? Just take a compound bow or something and try to aim really well? I mean, I, I assume you would have higher muzzle velocity than the speed of their arrow. I mean, it's just, you would probably die too, but you would get to kill a cringe Pythagorean, so maybe it would be worth it. Maybe. Yeah, but... You know, pride goeth before a fall. I feel like that would end up backfiring in at least one way. Okay, the big thing is, if Yorm is down through here, I hope there's a shortcut or something. Because I... Oh, is that... That's just... That's just Yorm. Oh, but we haven't freed Sigward yet, which means if we go in... If we went in, we wouldn't have him to help us out, and we wouldn't complete his quest line. But okay, okay. The fight's just right there. Yeah, yeah. It would ideally be through here. Let's see. Oh, but quite frankly, I should just... I would imagine that Cell Sword would be better, in the sense that at least it wouldn't be resisted. As much it would against an armored enemy, given that they're literally just wearing clothes. Also, it's faster. Two, three, and... Oh, another gargoyle. Fine. Alright, alright. Big thing is, will the gargoyle pursue me all the way over here? How far will the gargoyle pursue me compared to the other things? Well, actually, it's not like there are any pitfalls over here for me to fall prey to. Okay, so... 
These guys are coming pretty far. The others are not. So that's not bad. Okay, I can't actually hit them when they're staggered because they aren't actually proper human enemies, it seems. Okay. Hello, friend. Let me end your miserable existence. And one, and... Okay, now you're down there. We can hit you from behind, I guess? Okay. Just gotta stay behind you. And another one, another. There we go. No more, no more gargoyle. Okay. I think, wait, I do have what I need for another level up before the worm fight, which I would like to get if at all possible. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, if we're gonna do this, we switch back to Sharp Cell Sword. It is interesting that, quite frankly, in terms of all my weapons, Cell Swords are actually probably getting the most from a single level up in terms of relevant stats. Because, very specifically, I have Sharp Infusion on them because Sharp is better than Refined at all, literally all levels. Which, I have some- well, okay. Alright. That was dumb. It's just, that's the thing, is that tears can't do everything. Tears can't do everything. Hmm. So that means putting hammers back on and retracing my stats. Alright, alright. And to get through there, you know, the idea would, in theory, maybe be doing a just a run without really worrying about killing everything, but to be frank, if I did that, I would probably ended up just getting killed by something running behind me along the way. Maybe. Either way, it's not as if I can really afford to just let Soul sit and- Oh, thank you! Thanks. Okay. So that is not great. Just gotta spawn in the gargoyle and we're, we're behind here and roll. Gotta keep rolling at relevant moments. Gargoyle should come back here. Big thing is, is that getting behind it is very effective, which is kind of a no-brainer. But apparently I don't just have no brain, I have negative amounts of brain. Okay. Come on, just dodge, thank you. Come on, two. Oh, but not if you actually stagger. See, that's simple. Okay. So then I suppose we put cell swords back on and deal with... Oh, but we didn't have the right shield equipped. Actually, if we keep on running, it's not that bad. Oh, well, never mind. Pretend that didn't just happen. Dodge, and then should be able to use the terrain to block him off now. Positivity about me literally having negative amounts of brains. Well, you know, it might not be positive, but hopefully it's good comedy. We take these sometimes. Okay, then, don't believe that guy knows where I am right now, so, thank you, easy enough, and dodge, uh, oh, well, alright, one, two, three, roll, or accidentally go for another one when I didn't quite want to, what kind of Shadows of Yarnum type garbage is that, okay, oh, there we go, and then we have another one over there, that said, I think, I might actually be better off trying to use magic weapon against that thing than fire. Oh, but I unequipped it. That's right. I unequipped. Great magic weapon in favor of a fire orb that is not useful for me at all right now. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy and just get in a few free hits. Yeah, we can. Oh, well, alright. Alright, and dodge. Thank you. Oh, well. Interesting. That was more effective than I intended. I will say. The amount of knockback dealt is, quite frankly, more of a problem than a benefit. It's whatever. And, yep, yeah, we switch our weapon, we put the enchantment back on. And we try to figure out where we have to go to find Sigurd. It was almost definitely the other route that I just did not take from the bonfire. But, as long as I can hopefully get some kind of shortcut, it shouldn't really be a problem. Okay. Oh, well, alright. One, two, three, four. Thank you. And just a little more of that. Okay. Handmaid's dagger. Handmaid. Interesting. I didn't. So that's what they are there. 
these fire handmaids. How can I find the description of that? Handmaids of Prim Capital, slight amount of HP, pleasure in wounding others. No comment. And where is... Oh, it's right up there. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, but now... Gargoyle's down here, which means we should try to lure it over this way, but the handmaids are also on their way. Big thing is, I know they'll approach a little farther. So before I use... Ra Actually, never mind. That isn't true. Okay. So let's switch to... Oh, wrong thing, wrong thing. Okay. Let's... Oh, well, I... Alright, I did not intend for that. Okay. Dodge. Heal, heal. Oh my goodness. At least it, it didn't pop tears, which is some very small consolation. Okay, we gotta get behind you, and thanks. One, two, three, four, five, and get that staggered, but since you were on a wall, you actually took both hits. Dark Souls really is a fighting game sometimes. Not in the sense of just, it's a game with fighting, but all I'm saying is if getting an enemy up against a wall so that your knockback won't get them out of your own range is a valid and important and useful strategy. You're basically playing a fighting game. Okay. I'm pretty sure those are mimics, actually. Okay. Come on, handmaids. I... Ooh, ooh, I... Mmm, what are you using? What are you using now? I... One, two, three. Got a couple of you down. As long as we make sure you've already attacked... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And... One, two... Thank you. Before any of that happens, we should take these. Souls retrieved, and oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Oh my. Okay. These pokes are obnoxious. Come on, just one, two, three. Got both of them. Okay, but these specific mimics. Just gotta make sure we don't hit them. This is arguably the best place to try to farm Symbol of Avarice. So do I have any... I have a couple of Undead Hunter Charms. Aw. I should come back here eventually. But oh, this... I knew they were similar to something, and that's exactly what I... Thank you, thank you. Exactly, they're Tonberries. Thank you. And, okay, not... Okay, an Ember's right there, and then we have... I guess I could try using a Rusted Coin and just tossing two charms. Limit is five, but I guess the question is, Dual Charm, DS3, do they work on Mimics? Do they work on Mimics? Let's see, I'll try them. I'll try a Dual Charm on the Mimics. Hmm. Yep, there are two right here and they should, you kind of see, Okay, you can't really see the teeth, but they all have latches, don't they? I know that some of them only mimic chests of latches, but let me see. In Dark Souls 2, that was the case. I have some dual charms, and let's pop a normal rusted coin. Actually, first we need to equip Crystal Sage Sword in order to boost our item discovery at least a little bit. Then we put that in one hand and we pop a rusted coin and we try using a dual charm. As I know that the undead hunter charms work, but I'm not sure about the dual charms. Let's see. And that did not work at all. So let's see if any of them drop anything in addition to their normal items. It's also a nice way to get their normal item bounty. Great Shield of Glory. Rusted Gold Coin. Anything else? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, cool. And... Stab to put you closed again. And then we'll simply... Oh, I actually can use that now. It is interesting how it doesn't have any... Wait, no, no, how it doesn't have an intelligence requirement, even if it's got relevant scaling. The big thing is that it is actually possible that I might have prevented the symbol of avarice from actually ever dropping for me. 
Because it actually spawned, but I accidentally opened, tried to get the thing from the Mimic and closed it instead of picking it up. And that might have prevented it from ever actually spawning inside an enemy. It's possible. Either way, we did get the items there, which is good. I want to try that drop down real quick, then we'll have to go around, free Sigurd, and we'd actually be able to free Carla too. Because the key to Carla's cell is in Profaned. And then eventually fight Yorm. At least I need a free Sigurd, and I need to not mess up going up that staircase. That was more than a little embarrassing, I'll say. So there are a few more things around this way. First, I should switch out. I would hope not, and that would just mean that I got really lucky one time and got really unlucky every single other time. But it would be one of those things where it would just be, yeah, just my luck. So the Oni Gr Slayer Great Bow is there. I can't use that. Big thing is that I do intend to actually use a bow against Medir. Do intend to actually use Dragon Slayer Great Bow with the arrows of. Well, that's just one out. And I think we could actually get a fire wing. Dragon Torso, Dragon Worshippers, Irreversible until death. Meditation, Great Bell of the Peak by Warriors. Hmm. Arch Dragon Peak. So I'm gonna go back to Shrine and level up a couple of stats real quick. And then go the other way, because we did end up going basically exactly the wrong way. Okay. Right, right, wrong thing again. Let's go over here, and do we have any... No Estus Shards, or- oh, actually, we did get- did we get some Bone Ash or something? I might have somewhere in the dungeon. Let's see. There we go! Okay, plus A. Yeah, I forgot to actually use that thing. And I don't think we have any Estus Shards. Yeah, we don't. We'll get the last from Mothic Castle and Grand Archives, so... Let's see what we... Vigor and Vitality. I'll take those. A little bit more equip mode, which should help with stuff like hammers. Okay. Thank you. The question is... Eventually, Crystal Triumph will be a bit better, but... Hmm. Before I go back... Bio Brink, for real this time.
That is profoundly strange. Well, oh well. Back. Thank you, thank you. It's time to go back to Profane Capital. I was able to successfully use the bathroom, which is the important thing. So, we can free Sigurd and hopefully Carla too. And the nice thing is that means I can give all the... Dark tomes I've picked up to her. Because... You've been sitting around with these, but... Cornix can't do that because he's a guy, he's too afraid of the dark to do that, and these, if I give those to Arena, she'll go crazy. Actually, I'll be right back, I need something. I agree, it's pretty crucial. Oh, let me see. I'll check real quick. Let's hope they're legit. Check real quick. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice stuff. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, that, that just seems... They seem normal enough. We'll see what happens. Well, it... I, I'm pretty sure that most of that is because of glitches relating to me looking at my own... Looking at stream chat while I was in the bathroom. and Because that tends to cause some weird issues regarding supposed viewership. I mean, maybe there might be a couple more people than usual right now, but we'll see what happens. If it declines over time or doesn't. The important thing is that we're in profane capital. I'm not being negative, I'm being realistic. They are two profoundly different things. Maybe. But the big thing is, I am doing my best to make my way through profane capital. Down over here, haven't seen that. Yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna nag each other to death eventually. We're just gonna go crazy. Okay, so there's one right there. Let's take this gargoyle down and ooh, ooh, all right. I, okay. Oh my. Ooh, all right. Oh, fire is not great. Dodge. One, two. How do I want to? Oh, but that worked. Was it in movement frames or something? You know, I think I don't think it's a matter of winning. I think in our own kind of ways we would both lose. But that's just me. So how do I want to? Anything I can see down here, that would just kill me if I dropped down. So getting back inside the fan capital. Actual area with Yorm. I think the keys would be around here. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't expecting all the fire that he put out, too. Go ahead and... Okay, so if I want to fight that crystal lizard, I'll have to jump over here and... Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, I also lose patience with myself. Let's kill that guy. And we got Twinkling Titanite. Chill. So, we go over on this catwalk. What else do we find? This is not where we were before. Quite frankly, what this reminds me of is the swampy areas in the Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne. Okay, Blooming Purple, so that'll cure Toxic. So I think that might be access to Sigurd Cell. Laugh at what? The patience with me thing? That was funny enough. You don't need to feel bad. So eventually we'll fight these big hand enemies and they... Ha. Huh. It's back here. Can I find? We're going in and checking out other parts of Profane Capital. There's some hand enemies down there that are going to be weak to fire and slashing damage. So that's how I'm going to have to deal with them. It shouldn't be too bad though. One, two... Oh, well, alright. Come on, come on, and... Okay, he got stuck, which is good for us. It's another Twinkling Titanite. How many do we have now? We've got four, which would be enough to level up Izalith Staff, which could be a pretty good idea. 
if I wanted to use Dark Sorceries on Dancer, which I think I do. Let's check out a few more things then. Oh, well, I made a silly mistake. I... All right, all right, and dot. Uh, what? Okay. I did not see. I did not see that pitfall there. The good thing is, though, I'm pretty sure my blood bloodstain will be on my uh, on the upper level. Given that the bloodstain tends to spawn, if I recall correctly, basically where you were 10 seconds before you die. The game tracks your position with a delay of. 10 seconds so that if you die they can put your bloodstain there and the big reason is if they didn't do that then there wouldn't be a good way that for them to spawn a bloodstain on a ledge and make sure that it didn't just spawn in a bottomless pit or on a kill plane and therefore just become completely inaccessible okay so another yep other gargoyles come back so oh they're high and we can just Slam you a bit more, and... Oh! Alright, did I... Mm, we need to roll then again, and... What a funny attack, and... Ah, uh, yep! We can stab you even when you're in the middle of your jump. That is fun. That is fun. Okay. So all we need to do is not fall into a hole again. Where if we do, be ready to fight whatever's there at the bottom. And okay. So clearly we have... Our bloodstain over here. We just gotta make sure we don't... Drop down that hole, which was really hard to see, actually. So we got a cross, which is good. We got a rusted gold coin. And this is a staircase, actually. So we would have been able to take that up normally. Big question is, is there a ladder here? Or how would I get back up here? Is there just no way to get back up there? If you... I guess that's possible. Big thing is, is that if I've got... I might have liked to take Caressing Tears... There's going to be toxic-related stuff here. What are these bugs? Hmm. Alright. Maybe in that case, instead of this, we take Poison by Ring for now. I could see that being a good way to make this work. Oh, but also we had... Great. Swamp Ring. We picked that up, but I'm not quite sure where it ended up. Estus and Ryan. Great Swamp Ring. Bone of Flame Salamander. Descent of Demons. Boost Pyromancies. Greatly boost Pyromancies. Dangerous for the same reason. Oh, yeah, exactly, because you can't see anything at the top. That is right. Didn't you... You do have a reputation of being a good driver, right? Is that the case? Okay. Oh, but I... Oh, okay, and we can take these guys down. But these are not the monstrosities of sin, I believe. Oh, and I'm still toxic. Fun. Purging stone, and I guess I can just use Estus to go through this. No crashes. I have never crashed a car. I have slightly clipped people while backing, backing out of spaces before. But the thing about me, I would never call... I'm a good driver. I'm not a very good parker. Especially since my name isn't Parker. Wait, you've been in... Well, I would presume you weren't at fault though, right? Because you are a pretty careful driver. Yeah, exactly. It's... I mean, at that point, I, I, I would I think when most people talk about being in crashes or not being in crashes, they're referring to crashes where they were quote unquote at fault. And if if it was just other people crashing into you, I don't think that. And in the end, I guess maybe arguably the most important thing is just whether or not you're seriously injured. But if you're not at fault. I wouldn't imagine there's anything to really be ashamed about. The big thing is, if I get hit by one of those guys, I'm dying. I'm 100% dying. So I have to be good at dodging around them. Oh, Curse Bite. Don't believe I had that yet. Okay, hello, and... Okay, we don't have Flame Mark on, but Flame Mark actually didn't add nearly as much damage as I was expecting it to and hoping it to. The number 81? Because I'm in a Poison Swamp with low HP. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that going to be a channel joke now? Whenever I'm in a poison swamp, we just say 81. 81, 81, 81. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. 81. 81. Yeah, because... When we were talking about numbers last night, 
I was also talking to T-Boys about the idea of when we do our, hopefully do Six Men Elden Ring, which is at the very least a few months off, because I, of course I'd want to beat Elden Ring proper first, and I need to make sure that everyone I'd want to get involved would be relatively free. I'd want there to be at least a slight role-playing aspect. Oh, lag. That's some serious lag. Oh, I need to... That's right! I need to get the fan. The fan isn't doing anything right now. First, I need to make sure I don't die of poison while I'm moving the fan around. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. The computer is now being somewhat cooled by a big ol' fan. So, that might help things. And is this gonna... Okay, that will open things up. What I'm wondering is, are there gonna be the monstrosities of sin down here? I know they're somewhere. Oh, there they are, giant hands. Okay. You're the reliable fan. All of you are reliable fans. Okay, there you go. Not just a stupid pun, but praising my fan base. I'm doing double duty. But, essentially the idea was, since we were talking about numbers and... T-Boy said he wanted to maybe run a faith build. I said, and he liked this idea that, because of the fan service, that he could maybe try running a cleric who is really big into numerology as, as a sort of character roleplay gimmick. We'll see how it might work out in practice. The big thing is I was saying that Maybe there could be a balance, because everyone would need their own character origin, but not everyone would have to do the same thing. Because my idea was that it would kind of play into having, you know, played the game before. I would just kind of been there waiting for various reasons. But the other people could be various other things. For example, you know, some of them could be, could be isekai'd. Exactly. You can't do coke, but they do have repair powder here. How are you doing? Glad to see you popping in. We are about to fight giant hands. Not sands, but hands. So they're weak to slashing damage. I'll take that out and just swell. Hmm. But, oh, okay. One's over there, and I think I should be able to lure it out away from the others. I do not want to fight multiple of these guys at once. Why are you swollen? Okay, but I... Okay, interesting. What if I... One, two... Oh my goodness, these guys are ludicrous. Oh, wow. Okay, the big thing is, is... Okay, what if I attack the head? That's the question. Oh, oh. I mean, I hope. I can't be certain about that. Two, three, dodge, and... Okay, hit, hit. One more hit, then. Okay, you're dead. Okay, you're dead. Oh, we got the Eleonora. And two dunk pies. Okay. I guess the question is, if those guys are giant hands, and they dro they just drop their poop, do they poop out- do they poop kind of normally, or would it come out of the giant hand? Actually, I don't want an answer to that question, and I don't want to think about that any further. Pretend I didn't just say that. Okay, it's not my fault this time. It's actually not my fault this time. Oh, but I... Mm, mm, how do I get out of here? And of course, I, of course I'm course i fighting two of them at once now. This sucks. Okay. So that one at least has bit less in the way. Come on, just dodge. Thank you. Dodge. Oh, wow. Okay. Newton's third law applies to Indian food, which is... An object in motion tends to... That is very binding of Isaac. That's right. I, I should play Isaac eventually. It's one of those games that I need to get around to. I will say, as cool as it is, it what? 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 Okay, luckily I. Luckily, I'm pretty sure the only thing it dropped there was poop. Given that the Eleanor went straight in my inventory, so I'm not going to complain too much about missing that draw. Well, that was one heck of a death. Okay, the big thing is when I go back through. Actually, for one, I should re-equip Caressing Tears. Because I didn't know there would be a Toxic Swamp in there. And I do have a spell that literally exists purely to cure poison. Also, what I've got on right now... I think I was telling you about it before in the car where it's that Tears of Denial spell. Okay, and Caressing Tears, I just didn't see it. But yeah, it still meet the racks. 
But the big thing is you can cast this at a bonfire, rest to get your focus back, and then reclaim. Just still have the effect on, but right now I need to put my hammers back on. But actually, the big thing is, since the hammers are so much heavier than the twin swords, when I'm actually in... Oh, but wait, now they're misaligned because of the Eleonora axes. Living without any cares, lacerating, restore HP per hit. It's an interesting idea for a weapon, but now these, now these are misaligned. Usually, the blades and the hammers were on the same column, which meant I was able to... Just scroll down. In general, I should go and change out, as in put stuff away in the bound bottomless box eventually. Just because there's so many things taking up space in my inventory that I would probably prefer not be taking up space. Big thing is, I can just make a run straight for the room with all the hands and get whatever's at the back now. Because I've killed all those bugs and none of them dropped anything of note. I don't need to kill every single thing every single time. Okay, thank you, and hammers are good against stone enemies. Thank you, and- oh, well, wait, alright, thanks. Slam the hammers down, and I don't think I should Estus up that tiny bit of lost health. Big thing is, we c there are these holes in the floor that we could try jumping over. If we take a slightly more labyrinthine path through this area, we can just avoid them entirely and not have to try making a jump. Yep, we hear those bugs skittering around below, and I'd prefer not to deal with them if at all possible. Yeah, so that was the room we were over at before. So we can simply... And we took a bit of damage from that. Oh, thank you, and I... Oh, alright, and die. So that's something we should heal off, then. Thank you, thank you, and die. Oh, wow. I thought I'd be able to actually prevent you from attacking at all. That did not happen, but whatever. So our swords are up here, and these weapons are insane. They're probably the best pure dexterity weapon in the game. Entirely. So we can equip a bit of heavier armor now, just for a bit of extra defense against the giant hands. That should hopefully help a little, but we'll see. And then go through before the poison builds up. Okay, that bug's coming, but we can deal with you. Oh, well, not if we aim wrong. Okay. I think they were weakest to bludgeoning, but I'm not entirely sure. But since I've got equal stats, like I've said, it's always about... Paired weapons along with weapon buffs, and here we have this. And, oh wait, they don't respawn. I didn't expect that, but that's actually really nice. And only the Eleonora ones, I believe, are. Okay, you flopped over, which, oh, and you can roll a second time. Okay. Well, this seems to be a pretty good way to deal with you. One more hit, one more hit before you do something, and now you're dead. Fare thee well. Actually, more like fare thee badly, but... Yeah, exactly, they just rock poop. So the dunk pies are, I think, the only way to actually... Purging Stone's not that useful. To inflict toxic poison, which is basically Dark Souls' equivalent of bad poison from Pokemon on enemies. Well, actually, well, in the sense of it being a stronger version of poison, because it doesn't increase in damage over time like bad poison does in Pokemon. I do find it interesting that it do Yeah, more or less. It does take until the third turn for Toxic to actually meet or exceed the damage that normal poison does. As normal poison just does 12%, or more like an 8 12% of HP every turn, Toxic starts at 6 and increases in 6 every turn. So after two after one turn, 6 damage from 6% from toxic, 12 from poison. After two turns, 24% from poison, 18% from toxic. It's only after the third turn, after which you've got 6 to 12, 18, therefore 36, from Toxic, that you've even met Normal Poison. So if you're going for, for speed, you actually want Normal Poison. You know, you're only really getting more out of Toxic if you're... Okay. You need to bait out an attack. If you're really trying to get someone who's a wall down, prevent them from stalling. And, oh, thank you for sitting down on me. That was great. Okay, I... Now you're rolling. You're gonna roll over again, aren't you? I guess not. Am I not in the right place? And oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. I think I can live this at least. Yeah, I can live that at least. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's... You know, I don't really have a lot of health built. That was good enough. Oh, but I didn't have... I didn't have the right shield equipped. Yeah, because the shield I've got on is one from Dark Souls 2, and it increases soul gain when you kill an enemy. And if you're doing it with... Why can I... What is this? 
Why is this an invisible wall? That makes no sense. Toxic... Oh, Toxic Protect? Well, they just knew what they were doing. Okay. The reason I was able to beat up a bunch of people in Pokemon when I was younger is because for a long time I was the only kid who knew, what e who knew what EV training was. And then they just made it a basic feature. Okay, and then... Oh, Quirk Sorcerer's Staff, which we won't be able to use, period. So is this... Rubbish ahead. I bet that's a key. No, it actually is rubbish. Okay, that's funny. Yes. And I repeatedly pounded them into the dirt when I played Pokemon. You're talking to a nerd who won. Okay. So this seems like a place where there might be... an illusory wall? Maybe. And that's what they did. And then my EV trained shiny Garchomp that I actually got from my dad. Well, my dad got the shiny Gibble from white, no, from Black Tower in... Why is this... Why is this an invisible wall? He gave me that shiny Gibble and I turned it into an EV trained Garchomp. Because I played white too along with my dad playing black too. Because... So, I think if I recall correctly, someone gave me black too as a gift when I already had white too. And after upgrading from a DSi to a 3DS, I was sort of, well, there's a spare now. And he ended up being better at the game than me, which I guess is expected given that he was, well, an adult. But it was actually a lot of fun, and oh my, okay, what are you? You were able to totally poise lock me, that's insane. Okay, dodge and, oh, crystal, crystals, what, 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 okay. But it was a lot of fun when it worked, actually, so. Dodge and interesting, and oh my goodness, I, what, huh? Okay. One, two, three, four, and... What is that hammer you're using? Weird. Okay. So what if I... It's not, and oh my... I need to get in a place where I can... Can I try a plunging attack on this guy? Or that might be the way, except... Do oh, well, we dodge... Mm, interesting. Can we... Slash, slash... Okay, we just killed you. Unfortunately, we don't have any S's left. Oh, Logan's scroll... Oh, interesting. I didn't know that was a Logan sorcery. Sorcery's a Logan. Legacy claim stands up to scrutiny is another story, so that would have been a court sorcerer then. It's down here. It was a lot of fun. I also tried... This was much farther in the future. I tried playing Minecraft with my dad. I got my dad a Minecraft account for Christmas one year, and it was a lot of fun for the time it lasted. And the reason it didn't last is because eventually I killed him on a whim by dropping a bunch of gravel on him while he was mining. Then we just started fighting. And I couldn't hack it and ran away. And our relationship was hopelessly scarred. At least in terms of playing Minecraft. I was, I was 12 and I was an evil 12 year old. I, I, I'm kind of surprised that you're surprised. Oh, Wrath of the Gods. And why is it up there? Either way. It's not something we can use. Only in Minecraft, and not the in real life in Minecraft. In Minecraft. As a prank. I thought he would think it was funny. Well, actually, I just thought I would think it was funny. Yeah, exactly. That's... That's why I'll have, you know, 20 years of purgatory or something, at the very least. Toxic, protect, fly, and dump... Well, you know, that, that's why evasion claws exist. That's why evasion claws, claws exist. Attacking... Wait, is... Oh, there's a Jailer right there. Does that mean that there was a Jailer in... What? Okay, and I... You're kidding. That was ridiculous. And the Slight Wind did kill me. Wow. Protect Fly. That just reminds me of the, of the Sky Drop glitch, which... I presume at least one of you is familiar with? Basically, in the first Pokemon Black and White, they fixed it in Black and White 2. But I think it might have... It might have stayed banned in tournaments if you were still able to use the original black and white. But the big thing is, is... If you sky drop on a Pokemon, and then... If someone used sky drop and then someone used gravity, the Pokemon in the sky drop would come down, and the Pokemon that used sky drop would be able to do whatever they liked, but the Pokemon who was picked up would just be permanently unable to do anything, because the state of immobility that they were in due to Skydrop would never end. Jolteon with Toxic Protect. 
Shawnee Dialga with a Japanese name. Yeah, which meant they just banned it in tournaments. So they didn't have a good way to... They couldn't patch it. They didn't have any kind of downloaded stuff. So they just had to say, no sky drop in tournaments. And they did patch it out in... Black and White too, but... I mean, the big thing is that sky drop was never anything approaching an actual good move. So it didn't really matter in the end, one way or the other. Okay, so I guess if we were running into something invisible, I presume it was an invisible jailer. But I do need to get that bloodstain back, because it was pretty big. It would at least be more endurance and luck. But like I, s I was saying, Larry, about... We were talking about the possible eventual Elden Ring playthrough. And I said, ideally, I think, uh, maybe, it would be TB, the other TB, as in Tenacious Plays, and then you, Jack, and Eddie, I think, along with me. It, I was raising the question of, okay, what kind of build each would have, because both TB and you express interest in doing a dex build. Friend or fighting, leftovers. Oh, because... Right, right, because Struggle in earlier generations dealt recoil damage in a normal way instead of just... Instead of doing a set amount of damage. And I knew that they changed it, but I didn't even think about why they might have changed it, but that is probably exactly why they would have changed it. But wait, I can... Why is the invisible wall gone? Why was there an invisible wall there in the first place? You know, I'm, I'm just going to pretend that that didn't happen and let the game just happen. I'm going to let that thing play out. Off of Jeff the Shuckle. Wait, wait, so... Was that something Jack was running? I, I'm not entirely familiar with Jeff the Shuckle. What's the story behind that one? I'm a fake fan. Oh, oh, okay, you... I don't think I ever faced your Shuckle in Showdown then. Now you tell me about- yeah, Stanley was his Porygon too. Okay, you tell them about Jeff the Shuckle then. That's your story to tell and I'm not familiar. Was that- was that a Shell Smash Shuckle or- Or a Power Swap Shuckle? Were you running him defensively or trying to run him offensively as a meme? Either way, Sigward should be through here. Is there, there an invisible wall or- hmm. Contrary Shell Smash Bonding Ban Infestation- well that- that's not really a gimmick, honestly. That just works. Okay, Jailer's Keyring, and I think that would be... Jailer's Keyring is to most of them. Prison, Mindless Hollows, or Unrealized Gibbering Fools. So how are we going to get inside Sigurd's cell? Hmm. I feel like there might have been an invisible wall or something. Attacking where he's stabbing in the back. So I guess they would have uncloaked when they saw me. That- that's not a bad set at all. That's not- that's not a meme. I mean, it's not the most amazing strategy, but it would work. Big thing is... Apparently, Profane Capital is... How I'm supposed to act as this cell. I gotta look. There must have been something I just didn't see. It said that to access Sigurd's cell, you have to go through Profane Capital. So there must be some kind of invisible wall that I just haven't found. Or maybe... You know what? Screw it, I'm just looking that up. Sigward. Sigward of Katarina. Is there an invisible wall or... Full dungeon, do not need to talk to him. Two chests, old cell key, bonfire air, headless gargoyle, toxic buildup, roof of the church, Logan cell. Open window in the wall, roof towards the stairs. Jump from the roof, leads to the cell. And the wall that you need to jump through. Covetous. Okay. So I just need to do a bit of Minecraft parkour. I think it might have been in here? Or was it? Or no. It's an open window leading to some cell. So how am I going to find my way in? Oh, it's, it's this. Okay. Friend ahead, jumping required ahead. Thank you, thank you. Good indication. And that didn't work that time. Let's hope it works this time. It'd be funny if I had been at really low health and I had taken full damage, that would have killed me. So there we go. That's the benefit of a dedicated jump button. That will be meaningful to some certain people. Okay, there we go, and open that old cell key, and now we freed Sigurd. Then we can free Carla too. And we had a warrior. Hello, friend. 
Like Aldrich, Halloween Savior, deepest gratitude, token my thanks. Oh, a tie net slap, nice. Go on ahead, on road to take, duty fulfilled very soon. So, when we go to our boss fight, we'll see him again in other contexts. Okay. And we got Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, which is the one that increases item drop chains, which should be useful. But, that should mean we can pursue some things over in Irithyll Dungeon. There's a vendor who we need to free, and I believe I should be able to open up the door at the very start. The annoying thing is that I went all the way through up to the boss gate, and then realized that I'd gone the wrong way through Profane Capital. And, okay. So over here was one more locked door that I was never able to open, I presume. Yep, Jailer's Key Ring opens it, and do I hear someone coming after me? I hear a regular Jailer, but let's see him right now. Okay, literally just one rusted gold coin. Talk about adding insult to injury. Okay. The big question is, what the best way to go down and take on the... Well, first, I should put on Tears of Denial. Is there a bunch of Jailers down there? So those guys, their gimmick is, for people who aren't familiar, they rapidly decrease your max HP when you're in their line of sight, and they have their lantern held up, which, if I recall correctly, is very similar to a, speci a similar gimmick in Demon's Souls with these jailers who are also literally illithids from Demon's Dungeons and Dragons. I just said Demon's and Dragons. Okay. So we're going through here. We gotta find our way back up. Hello, hello. At least the rats die really easily if we hit them that way. But the big thing is, we gotta go up the ladder over here. I guess I could have leveled up a couple of stats with the souls I just got, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Hmm. Just keep on going, and we're, we're gonna be able to drop down, go through the sewer from before, and then we'll be able to free Carla, the child of the abyss and the dark pyromancy sorcery etc vendor maybe i might actually like to spend the souls to spend on her spells it's an idea that said i'm not sure which ones she has that i might actually like to use yeah the tartaglia of the abyss mm -hmm. even in dark souls i can't escape genshin wait so that thing didn't have full hp what gives Big thing is, if I die while talking to Carla, Carla herself will die, and I don't want that to happen. That might surprise you a little. Oh my goodness, I- Oh my- Oh wow, okay. Well now you're dead, which means we can get out of the way and heal before they- Okay, they- That rat didn't even manage to hit me, which is good. One, two, and did I stagger it all, or- Well, I clinged off the wall, which is not- Not good at all. Okay, so we'll kill all these guys, but first we got a flame mark again. Every little bit of extra damage is going to help us take these jailers out. So how many are going to be in one spot? Aranara. Oh, oh, interesting. That's, that's cute. And does that stack at all? I'm not sure. Well, I... Let's just kill these guys for now. One, two... Oh, alright, I... Okay. Weird. Okay. So it does seem like the HP drain actually stacks. I'm not trying to escape Genshin, it's just... When, I, when I'm playing Dark Souls... I'm not, I'm not expecting Genshin to be busting down my door. It's not exactly a complaint, it's just... An expression of profound surprise. Oh, but that... Oh, okay, the, the lever's... In a little alcove in the wall, which... That's interesting. Yeah, I almost missed it, and frankly, I almost fell down the empty shaft. That would have been less than pleasant, but oh right, I need to put on tears and then get my FP back. It is easier to forget than I might like. Okay. So we're gonna go down, and frankly, in case we die again, I'm gonna set the elevator back up. Hmm. Hmm. So got that going. Got that going. How are we gonna do this thing? Lord of mercy. In the end, the big thing is, I gotta rush in and be a little aggressive so I can take down the Jailers, but I can't be too aggressive because then they would just kill me. And that would not exactly be the most...
pleasant result of our trip. Especially because, well, clipping Ring of Sacrifice would be the most cautious option, but at the very same time, having Pontiff's right eye would help us take down the Jailers a little bit faster, too. So we'll see how it ends up working in practice. I just... This may surprise you, but I don't exactly want to die here. Said so I do have tears and the... Oh, I should equip... Northern Helm. That's right. Okay, die, die. Good damage! Good damage! Okay. More rats, more rats. What's a shock? Not wanting to die? Yeah, exactly. You know, my behavior my behavior contravenes that, doesn't it? You know. If I really didn't want to want to die, maybe I wouldn't be playing Dark Souls. Okay, one, two, three. That is so good. That is so so good. So then we cart this up again, just to make sure, and where is my bloodstain right now? That's the real question. So it's right there, and we have some jailers right here. So let's just kill some of these guys, and one, two, and oh my, oh, okay, oh, okay, roll out of the way before you do that, and oh, how can I, how am I, what is, why was I fat rolling? I was pretty sure that their flame only decreased Estus recovery. Well, you know, if we lure some of them in here and get our health back. Okay, some are coming over. That should be useful. In the end, taking these guys down isn't bad if I'm more cautious, but... I just want to go in here, get Carla back, and... Weave this awful place and never return. At least during this playthrough. I will eventually have to return in... New Game Plus and higher when I do that on my own time. Because like I've said, one day I want to go through all the New Game Plus playthroughs, get to maximum difficulty, and then, and then, play through the game with absolute maximum stats. And I think that would be pretty fun, but... Oh my... Okay. Luckily, we didn't get hit by their branding iron, so we aren't taking... We're not slowed down or anything. We just have... Mm -hmm. This HP drain buff going on right now. And oh, you can see me, you can see me. That sucks. So, probably gonna have to reapply flame market. And I see, are you coming up all the way through here? No, you turn back at that little chamber. Okay, okay. Fueled off a good deal and regained a bunch of our health. So let's simply keep going through. And this jailer is in this chamber, couldn't join back with his friends. Too bad, too bad, you're dead now. Good riddance. And then there's one more, and then it's just freeing Carla. Hello, friend. Not really friend. But actually, there are... There's one more over here, and I think I... That's either a wretch or a rat. I think... Is something gonna be chasing me out, or... That's the question. I think there might be one of those... If there is one of those lycanthropes over there, and... Oh, another jailer, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, but what did I... What? Okay, and... You're kidding. Excuse me. Huh? That's stupid. That's so stupid. <sighs> Whatever. I hate Eurythal Dungeon. I hate Eurythal Dungeon. Maybe more accurately, I hate my own stupidity when I play through Eurythal Dungeon, but... And the Aristocrat's Mask. What is the description of that? We picked that up. Aristocrat's Mask. Nobleman delighted in its plump features. Few survivors inhabiting, serving under Sullivan. Screams that emanating have helped them forget their own home. So they are devoted sadists. That's certainly something. The reference to plump features actually reminds me of the... Fat Officials. That's actually their name from Demon Souls. So it's another Demon Souls reference. That was one of the things people did criticize about. Mm. The difference between Demon Souls and Dark Souls. I mean, Demon Souls and the Demon Souls remake. Is that the version of the Fat Official enemy that Bluepoint made... In the original, the Fat Officials have these bloated purple faces that... You can't really tell whether it's their actual face that's been distorted by dark magic and de demonic influence... Or whether it's literally a mask. In the Demon Souls remake, it's very obviously their actual face, and it's covered in pustules and is pockmarked and pitted and decayed in a way that is more 
It's less sort of cartoony, weird, and frightening, and more just viscerally disgusting. The direction that Bluepoint took with the remake is generally, for better or worse, kind of making things look gross. And a lot of it is just... They had to fill in a lot of details, because the original Demon Souls was a PS3 game, so it didn't have as much of the way of... Oh, you're kidding me, you're kidding me. Okay, well, we, we got absolutely murdered by these rats. Oh my goodness, okay. So now they're coming out here, and we can use... Yeah, it... It's just... It's a difference in visual philosophy and art direction. In general, and... I think I've talked about this a little before. In interviews, Bluepoint talked about how... They didn't particularly care about... The art direction of the original Demon Souls when they were making their remake. Partially because they said they had to kind of fill in a lot of blanks. In changing a PS3 game into a PS5 game. Which is legitimate. But there were also a lot of changes they made because they just didn't really respect the original art direction. And that was something they also admitted to, that what they cared about was quote-unquote emulating your memory of playing the game rather than what the game actually looked like. And that's to be fair in terms of upgrading the art quality, the visual quality and fidelity. But I think it's something very different in terms of, and to be fair, I am at least part regurgitating others, other people's opinions here. It's a bit different when you're just improving visual fidelity versus changing the art direction entirely to match what you think are more modern sensibilities. Those are two very, very different things. And one has a bit more artistic integrity than the other. Okay. Well, we didn't get hit by the branding iron again, but still in a pretty bad position. We killed two, and a third one should be coming up here, but again, we do have to wait for the debuff to go off, which takes a lot longer than I might like. In the end, dealing with these guys originally wasn't that bad, mainly because we also had the other side areas to go into and kill things, and we didn't just have, you know, all we want to do this time is free Carla, and when it's like that, you know, we're not going to the side areas to get items and kill ratchets. If the jailers give us the debuff, all we can really do is wait for the debuff to disappear, because we're not doing anything in the side areas that really justifies doing stuff and- Oh, what? No, you're kidding! What in the- And we lost all of those souls. Oh my lord. I really should have quit that ring of sacrifice. I'm an idiot. Oh! God damn. Okay. So in other words, tears basically does nothing for me here. Whatever. Whatever. I just- I wasn't expecting that other jailer over by Carla. That's the big thing. At one time, because I had everything, I was fine. I was fine. But then the other jailer showed up. The big thing is, I can't afford to be too aggressive. Because, given that literally all of your movements seem to be literally made half as fast, when they've got that buff on you, not just your running, but even your attacks, and that branding iron's on you, I literally cannot afford to actually try to attack them after they hit me because they're just going to go for the grab attack and it's going to kill me because it seems like during the grab attack their hp drain is still active you know i can't count on them just doing a big amount of damage to me procking tears and letting me go because they're draining my hp even while they're doing that grab well you know i could complain and whine and moan all i like but it's not going to give me those souls back whatever in the end Maybe it's good when, you know, when I die and lose a blood stain, that makes the game more challenging. And maybe that's good. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's a good thing. It's not a good thing. But now it means that... I'm not gonna have everything 18, which means farther away from 19. It's just... Uh, uh, so many times, it just... It's just, whenever I have enough to level up, I need to level up. I... I cannot afford to try to overextend myself in this game because it's just... This game is too hard. The game's too hard for me to do that. It's harder than Dark Souls was. It's harder than, D than Dark Souls 2 was. Harder than Bloodborne. It's just the most ball-busting Souls game by far. At least for me. Okay. One, two, three. And just these guys are so strong. It's not just that they drain your HP from a crazy distance. They just take a ludicrous amount of punishment, too. It's just... stupid. Okay. 
No, I'm saying that to prevent myself from swearing. Okay. The only thing that makes me cry are especially emotional Genshin story class. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to violate Twitch terms of service. Okay. There you are. But it's just... Even from behind, you were... I don't even think it needed a line of sight. It's just, if I was there and you were doing your red attack, the HP is draining. Whatever, I... No, it does seem to require a line of sight, actually, but even still. Okay, yeah. Fine by me. Oh, and they drop simple gems. That's interesting. One, two, three, four. And let's dodge out of the way. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah, see, it just... What are you doing? Oh, it seems like even the actual attacks are slower. So how am I gonna... One, two, three, and die, and just... Is it costing more a more stamina roll, too? Kind of seems like it. Well, I'm not. But I'd like to be. I'd like to be. Okay, well, whatever. I just... This is crazy. It's honestly kind of ridiculous. Okay. Let's go around the other way, now that we don't have severely decreased speed. And then, yeah, there's gonna be another one right by Kara. I really should have just... I have nothing else to do with that Ring of Sacrifice other than, you know, not lose bloodstains. I, I should have used it. I really should have. Okay, well, let's just kill you. One, two, three. Thanks. Okay. That's going to make it really annoying to buy her spells, too, because I was probably going to spend them on spells. Okay, so let's just one, two, three, four. At least the Lycanthrope goes down easy. Okay. So now we free Carla, and then we go back to Firelink, and we buy maybe a spell or two and cry. Or not. Metaphorically cry. Hi, Carla. Hello. Uh, Hello. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. Forgotten? I didn't even talk to you. Good to know that a skinny little heretic. heretic? So maybe painting goatee related? Hmm. hmm. Oh, not a jailer. Okay. Except my apologies. One of those leeches. For mistaking you for one of those leeches. Very, very gaunt. So, what business have you here? I want a teacher. Monstrosities and... What did she say? I skipped over a little bit of that dialogue. Carla DS3. Carla... A lot of monstrosities, and I'm no exception. Offer I'm help. To save, save me. But I'm guilty. Wretched child of the abyss. A wretched child of the abyss. Tartaglia. Is that something you can forgive? Sure. Nonetheless, oh, really? no ordinary. You are no ordinary man. Very Tired ordinary. of imprisonment. Result, I will accept your proposal. And there we go. Back to Firelink, and we can give some of those scrolls to her now. Okay. Actually, I want to see what Kornick says if I try to give him the Kawada one, because he can't take it. I wonder what he'd say. As for the Grave Warden, he said it was too dark and he needed an another teacher would be better. Let's keep looking. Kindled and... Let's see, Tom, Kawada, Javi here. Ancient deity, Kwan is a god. Which is the last of them? Return to Isle. Can I accept it? Which is in a mistress? Pure upon such a thing. Never mind. Dark, untouchable, teach it. Forbidden, nearly anything else. Deep sorrow. Wait, what? Something you're burdened by deep sorrow? Let's see. Forbidden, afflicted. So Carla is over this way, I believe. Should be able to have her teach us dark stuff. Not over there. Where is Carla? Oh, right down here, tucked away. Hello, Carla. Ah, oh, there you are. Here I am. As I said, I am Carla. How are you now? No. What shall we do? My sorcery, detestable sword. Dark sorceries. Wicked one. Dark, you are no different. Truth remains the truth. Privy to this knowledge, secret between you and I. Let's talk, harm the end of Antoon. Darkness, pure into it. Self reflection, ruinous nostalgia after you entirely. Bring you no scorn. Mm -hmm. So let's see, dark sorcery. So all the dark sorcery she already has. Affinity, can't use that. Can't use that. Dark edge, mother to daughter. So from our mom, or I assume. 
or swung it more than once. So is she on Kindle? Did she attempt to take her own life or envy or love, tenaciously pursue? Nothing but misfortune. So if we give her only pyromancy tome, she complains about only pyromancy tomes. Pyromancy tome. Fascinating pyromancy. If this is your wish, the best I can. Master her once. Grave Warden, Pyromancy Tome, Darkness will suit it to me. Radical Sorcerer. Nothing but Pyromancies. Goodness. Wiki says that's a complaint, but frankly it seems less of a complaint and more of a provocation. The Braille, Divine Tome, Earthy Thinking, so-called Miracle, but it's dark. So stick with me, please, don't torture me. You have to ask again. How could you? Why to you? Tell you this tale, my first time. No sniggering should I err. Little suggestive, frankly. Okay, there we go. And now we can warn all these. But it just says dark sorceries, but all of these are other kinds. These are pyromancies and dark pyromancies and a fire whip and dark blade. We can't use or they, any any of these things I could actually use. The only thing maybe would be black fire orb. Oh, also black flame. That could be a good thing to try using against Dancer, actually. There's also Gnaw, but we don't have Kyphus Chime and all the Dark Chimes. They come from Wathrop Castle. Should wait. Deep Protection. Can't use that either, but some. Um, protection Worship amidst such horrors. Originally peaceful and sacred, but it's sex working in the deep. And that, like I was saying before, the deep is sort of a metaphor of stagnant water representing impurity, which is a very Shinto thing. The fact that they were associated insects is an example of that. They're basically just mosquitoes. Rapport. Mm, not all that good. Dead again. Can't use that. Hollow Realm Society. Blessing something one must ponder. Vow of Silence. Strange Swordsman. What in Silence of the Londor. Can't use that. Willian. So we see Yuria, and we also meet Elfried in the DLC, but we never meet Lillian. Blackfire or Black Flame. We should take Black Flame for now. Black Flame, Bear No Shadow, Impenetrable Fires of Humanity. So, Prentice, Black Flame is actually, it was the one Dark Pyromancy in Dark Souls 1. And what's interesting about Dark Spells in Dark Souls 1 is that they all deal physical damage. And mechanically, that was done almost certainly just because they didn't have any kind of... They didn't have Dark Damage at base in Dark Souls 1, and they didn't want to or couldn't add a new damage type in just DLC... I wonder if they might actually do that in Elden Ring, given how long it's been since. It will be in the Land of Shadow, and I feel like if they wanted to introduce Dark Damage, they could do it there. That's that. To be fair, Black Flame spells and Black Blade seem like they would be Dark Elm in any other Souls game. And I think four damage types for elements is already as much as they're willing to do. It's the most they've ever had. In... Any given Souls game. Four non-standard physical damage types. And four, four elemental. I guess in Bloodborne it raises the question whether you count blood damage, which is what firearms and Shikige and Bloodwater deal is. A physical damage type or an elemental damage type. Because in terms of resistances and... Well, the big thing is that physical gems literally increase the damage of blood damage. But at the very same time, it kind of occupies the role that a fourth element would, narrative and gameplay-wise... It's an interesting question. But the big thing about it is... As I was saying... They've never had five elemental damage types. And I don't really think they'd ever start. Okay, the big thing is... That in the midst of my yapping, I literally forgot to apply Tears of Denial. Which means... You know, pretty soon we'll get... Coiled Sword Fragments, so I don't need to worry about wasting these homeward bones. But as I was saying... As I was saying... They might add dark damage, but I'm not predicting it. The big thing is that I think they'll add actual sleep spells. Because there isn't a single spell in Elden Ring right now that allows you to actually apply sleep via magic. I think it's quite possible. Especially since we saw things in the DLC trailers that suggest the possibility. You know, in the interest of humility, I won't say good. I would say... Continuous and somewhat distracting. Demanding. Maybe engrossing, but that might still be a bit too much. Mm -hmm. I can't let myself get a big head. How would I carry it? Okay, but we did go the wrong way, I think. 
So that over there, we're gonna have to turn around and go past Sun. How did we want to get? Right, it was the other. Go down this ladder and make sure we don't encounter that other gargoyle. This is where we went to free Sigurd. Okay. But as I was saying, they maybe could add another damage type. I don't predict it. I would presume it would probably be dark. Again, because the land of shadow. But maybe they might title it shadow damage. Because it raises the question. Because fire, magic, and lightning damage kept the same names, but they also represent pretty similar things, at least in terms of natural forces. In Dark Souls, lightning is also a manifestation of the power of light, and arguably, therefore, time, in a way that it isn't in Elden Ring, but it's still manifested as lightning, which is why they call it lightning. So it raises the question of maybe they would change its name to Shadow if it really just represents something entirely different. I'm not sure. Big thing is, the boss fight here... There's a weapon that we'll get in the arena that's specifically suited for the fight and literally nothing else. A stroller and put- wait, put what in a stroller? What in a stroller? Okay, dodge it, thank you. It was easy enough to dodge, and we got the stagger. Thank you, and no more gargoyle. Goodbye. Big thing is we gotta run past, hope that these fireballs from the handmaids don't get us, and the camera made us go the wrong way and get hit. Well, it- then I wouldn't be able to see where I was going. What would I have to do? Put a drone camera screen, put an iPad in the stroller, and use a drone camera or something? This is getting increasingly preposterous. So let's put on the Cellsword Twin Blades again to kill those handmaidens, and I just... Oh, those are two levels totally down the drain. It is what it is. At this point, I'm not even sure I'll get my stats to 20 by endgame. But that would make things interesting for the actual run. A shelf with wheels. Oh, like I'm in food service again. Goodness. That's a fun thought. Not. Oh my goodness. I. Mm. One, two, three, and. Okay, we killed on that, but. Can we. One, two, three. Get down, busted gold coin, and. Handmaid's dagger. So now we gotta switch out to our. Train hammers again to kill that gargoyle, and then we'll go through the boss bug, and. There will be a special cutscene indicating the presence of a certain person we saw earlier today. Dodge and... Okay. One, two... Oh, that hit me. Okay, and... Thank you. So these ones with the flame hammers seem to be a little weaker. Not complaining. So we've got our Tears of Denial off. So we'll put that on because I'm not going to be doing anything enchantable or enchantment related. Visions of the Warrior. Let's take off those hammers. Should be able to pick up a very useful weapon giant ahead. In fact. In fact. Okay. Let's traverse the fog and meet our friend. Rendezvous. So this guy, Yorm, under presumably a different name, was originally the tutorial boss. And his friend Sigurd has come to put him to rest, so he fulfills his duties as a Lord of Cinder. Yorm. Old friend. Pointing the sword, too. Bit of aggression. I, Seaford of the Knights of Katarina, have come to uphold my promise. Kind of see facial features underneath the hood. It's just proof that he's not a Dark Souls 2 style giant. There we go. Hello. So Sigurd will. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. So, he's chasing after me instead, which, okay, you can roll out of the way of that, and as you see, you didn't quite see it, but Sigurd's got another one of these Storm Ruler Swords, so we need to find and equip our own, and it's conveniently right here. And, okay, so two-handing and using the weapon art, and can we... No, we need to hold it on longer. How long do we... How do we... How do we do this? I don't know how we do this! How do we... Oh, with a... Wait, what? How do we... Wait, don't die. Please don't die. No, maybe I should, in the interest of not failing this... I literally don't know how to use this weapon art. Yeah, I... Okay. This might have been a little anticlimactic. But... 
The big thing is, he was doing that big wind blade. I need to figure out how to activate it. So you see we got that. Oh, it's just... I just wasn't holding it long enough. Okay. Alright. So there's the answer to my question. But that deals truly ridiculous damage to your arm, so... Not a first try, but at least we didn't die. I'll pretend that we take these. Okay. So we go down. We avoid as many enemies as possible. Honestly, I could just... I could... Just run for it. I could definitely just run for it. At this point, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't care enough. But yeah, we... We're okay. Yeah. Going through Dark Souls 3 with... 18 Vigor is pretty crazy. It's for absolute lunatics. Okay, dodge, dodge, and go down. And I think the handmates can't hit us anymore, and that gargoyle isn't fast enough to really reliably give chase. The only thing I can do it is while flying, and at that point it can't really pursue us adequately. So let's actually let the sun shine upon that word of sin. Can't really chase me, so we'll just go over here. I think we might want to kill those mimics. But I'm not really going to be doing covenant farming that I don't really need. And you repeat that, so... Let's see if we can get behind and use the weapon art. Hello, friend. Hello. And... There we go, and... Strength of Storm. There we have it. Good stagger. Okay. And, oh, but... Hmm... The charge time is long, so we need... Sigurd's help, and then we can double it up, and maybe keep some chain saggers. So when you go, we can cut down, hit the head, and the stamina cost of that is high. Funny gimmick boss fight. Might be Ember now, but that doesn't do much. Okay, the range on that wasn't amazing. The big question is, how much? Okay, but that did stagger. So as soon as you stand back up, well... Use that again, and chop you down. You're basically just at max range. Oh, hello. Interesting. Okay. And then we hit you again. Always aim for the head. And... Big thing is, Sigurd is clearly still there, but I'm wondering... I can't see a health bar or anything. It's clearly still going, but... I don't want him to die, because that would mean... Probably mean not getting his items. Okay. Simple, and... That should be punishable. And... Sigurd got the kill! Good job, old friend. Yay! Is he going to sleep? Cinder, you are the giant. Cinder's of a lord, and... Oh, that one looks very different. Got her ember back, and... Good amount of souls, giant slain. There we go. Hello. the end of your quest line. It seems I am in your debt once again. Well, you dealt the last hit. My thanks. It's kind of settled. I could have not kept my promise without you. Likewise. Now, for a final toast. Our third and final sig, bro. To your valor, and my old friend, your... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I made the sunshine. Did not mean to skip that. Fist bump. Nice. Oh, I could repay that. I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only so. thing you do really after a nice toast. Lovely. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. And is he sleeping or? Oh, it. Now I'm being teleported to Rothrick Castle. Oh. So would that, would that be us or the Twin Princes? Either way, we're getting ported now, which means no more bonfire. I kind of hope that bonfire is available now. Hmm. So the closest one would actually be Vort's bonfire. Okay. Let's see how this ends up working out. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Emma. And now she's dead. Guess we got summons. Very dark, Moon. Prince Mothric, 
What does that circle around you? Well, oh, alright. Thousand of vows. Oh, so she was basically intending us to help Lothric take the throne more than... Oh, she dropped souls. That's crazy. Thousand of vows. And a not insignificant amount either. So let's... This is going to be our last one for now, actually. But may as well get a couple level ups with what we got. The big question is... Where is Sigurd now? Because I know he leaves his pure shield and his armor and his own storm ruler somewhere, but I'm not sure it's in there for fan capital. So take that, a bit more endurance, that's good, and we need about a thousand more souls for that one more level of rock. So let's pop a small soul. Unknown Traveler should be good. Oh, but interesting, and then... Four fading souls. I mean, not for one more level up, but it did really hurt me. But yeah, if I'm fighting Dancer, I'll probably end up doing it with Isola's staff. Because Dancer's annoying and I'm weak, but if I stay far away and spam deep souls, it might not be so bad. We can actually definitely need some souls to do that, so let's use. Let's use one of these. Which is going to be on that? How much is it going to take to upgrade Isla's staff? Reinforce, take that on. Isla's staff, and can I. Isla's staff. Okay. I can take it up, but I need more. A few more souls. So let's actually use. Hmm. Two of these should hopefully be good. I'm not quite sure. That'd be. Let's see. Should be enough. Being very economical here. There we go. Basically just enough and a good more. And this is going to be our best option for dark sorceries. Spell buff says it's only 100, but... Can't imagine that's accurate, but... Got to look at the description of Storm Ruler, which is... Broken Blade, known as the Giant Sl Slayer, original strength of Storm, brings giants to their knees. No one wants to help too, gave one of the humans who doubted him. Which must be the one that ended up by his throne somehow, other to a dear friend, which would have been Sigurd, facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. He also got his Cinders, which we may as well place, left by the giant Yorm, turned his Cinders, became a giant Lord of Cinder, put the profaned flame to rest. Full well that those who spoke of him as a Lord were quite insincere. So as a giant, he was a ruler of men, who never trusted him. Truly a tragic figure. But we had no option other than to send him back. So now we've put our Yorm Cinders, which, like the others, is a head, but a truly massive skull. So Yuria might have something new to say. Either way, this weapon is not especially useful. Let's switch back to something which might be more useful. There are many things that would be more useful. Numbers are there. Just gotta remember where they are, and Isla's staff is... Spell buff is... It still says 100, but... None of them are really displaying anything particularly accurately. Still, I'm pretty sure that will be our best option for Dark Sorcerers right now. Ah, Wooden Leech, Vows are Sworn, Deserving Lord of Hollows. The strength to claim the fire is thine. Rest the fire from its mantle. Mm. All Londor, Impending Lordship. Oh, Play the usurper. I sit from its mantle, moment comes, old dawn sustained by the linking of the fire. No more, deserve a new heir. True face of mankind. Oh, so I suppose that that. That's kind of the closest thing to going beyond light and dark. Claiming light for the sake of dark. Because you can also. You can. Link the fire or end the fire if you get the eyes of the firekeeper, or you can summon the firekeeper to the end of the fire and then kill her for the dumbest ending of all. But oh, so Yorm's bonfire was actually already unlocked, so we didn't need to light it. So we can go back, and I think Sigurd might be here. There's also something on the Earthal Bridge that I might like to take. Has the left that there and here? What's very interesting is that this throne is remarkably similar looking. What are all these carcasses doing here? 
I guess those would have been the humans, which is why... Oh, they might have brought the Storm Ruler to try to kill him and force him to link the fire. Storm Ruler and Pure Shield and another thing, the Katarina set. So now we have two Storm Rulers, now that we even needed one, really. And they're identical. It would be interesting if one was slightly different and had a different description. You know, a Storm Ruler that's actually always good that you get from Sigurd. As opposed to the one that's only good during the boss battle that you get from the throne, but it's whatever. So only three there, but plenty here. So there is... back where we invaded... Well, we were, where we were summoned to help Cirrus originally. Since we killed Crichton a second time, Crichton's set is going to be here in the middle of the bridge, so we may as well take that. You can see Cathedral of the Deep over there and the Abyss Watcher stuff over that way. It is pretty consistent geographically, so Crichton Steel Mask and the Mira set. Hmm. Let's check out the description. So Crichton was actually a guy from Dark Souls 2. And we did decide to kill him and help out Hates. Deserter who fought an order, criminal sentenced to death. Crichton never removed it. Here a chain set. Chain mail, heraldry, stag, set against a blue field. Deserter wore this attire most religiously. Hmm. Stag set, and I think... Dragon Slayer's axe. Infamous deserter used it to slay men. Because some of the dialogue from Kill the Cartographer in Dark Souls 2 of the map guy suggests that... Big thing is, we can go back to Vorts. That's going to be the fastest way to get to... Dancer, I believe, so the Bazin of Vows will be helpful. So do I have Dark Watch or The big thing, Dancer's got a really strong grab attack, which I don't want to get hit by, and... Wait, 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 is... Oh, evening has come. Hello. But I don't believe this is the Dark Sun Eclipse. It's just that daytime is passing, now that we've, we've killed three Wards of Cinder. Check out that Bazin of Vows real quick, and that that's your beheading knight. Lothric knights take their vows from Melody now. Empty practice. That will summon Dancer for the fight. Dancer is weak to... Weakest to dark, among other things. So... I guess we could test out whether Deep Soul or Black Flame would be better. I have a feeling that Black Flame might end up being better. We can test out Isla's staff, as well as... Black Flame is actually melee, which does suggest to me it'll probably be better, but we'll see. Hmm. Got our Isla's staff for our Dark Sorceries, and our normal Pyromancy Flame for our... Wait, but actually, could I... I've got enough to take the Power Flame to plus six. So in the interest of juicing every little bit of damage we can, let's go and do that first the most accurate comparison, and that will determine how we fight Dancer. Then I think... I might try going through Consume King's Garden. That would be interesting, because I wouldn't be able to fight him with something like Lightning Spear, because I don't have the stats to use Lightning Spear. Could get closer if I hadn't lost those big bloodstains. Yeah, so... That's a plus seven. Most of my other weapons, relevant weapons, are at plus six. Ah, or, or an equivalent level. Oh, but right, we need to go down to Mr. Cornix. And we don't have any tomes to give him. We got all the tomes. Let's reinforce our flame, and that doesn't take much at all. So just, I guess, in the interest of spending as little as possible, we could just use five fading souls. Sure, whatever. Okay. Slow up our power flame, see where it takes my adjust. And that... It's not actually increasing the spell buff. Weird. Do not. Well, whatever. Then we'll go back. What's very interesting is that in the Ariandel DLC, we can get the Pyromancer's Parting Flame, which is the only other true Pyromancy Flame in the game. There's also a Curved Sword, the... There's a curved sword called called the Demon Scar, which is an option for what you can turn the Demon Prince's soul into. That said, I don't think I'll use either things it turns into, which 
is actually the weakest pyromancy flame. It's just you can also use it as a sword. But, but, as I was saying, the pyromancer's party flame is lower base spell damage. But it also has a trail of fire, which makes the damage higher as long as the fire trail, which is a melee attack, hits. So it can be theoretically the best option if you're using pyromancies in melee, but if you aren't, it probably isn't. But most... And these Lothric Knights are a joke now. That's fun. So, just dodge and take you down, and good old Drain Hammers. How do we want to do this? All we gotta do is continue onwards and... Huh. The ladder's down there. If you really want to, you can do a huge sequence break and get to Lothric Castle really, really early by killing Emma for the Vows and the Vows. Like, you can manage to kill Dancer first thing. Oh, we didn't even have to interact. Beheading Knight. So, does that imply that that Knight is actually trying to behead himself? And all the lights have gone out. Fun. And yet, Vortzel described him never being far from the fleeting Dancer, quote-unquote. And this is the Dancer. That was the suggestion that the Dancer was nearby and... Dripping? I actually didn't know about this part. Oh, but I forgot to use tears. I forgot to use tears. Well, whatever. That is really, really weird. Was she... Yeah, exactly. Kind of like Vort. Kind of getting summoned in. Hmm. Okay. Well, alright then. It's gonna be one heck of a fight, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Let's just take that off and... Hmm. Guess we can take tears, but she's coming in, and I... You're fast! You are fast. Don't like that, and... Dodge, and... Oh, no, you... And of course we got grabbed. Of course we got grabbed first thing. Come on, just... At least we... Didn't die. Didn't die. Didn't die. And that grab attack is probably her most infamous thing in her arsenal. Let's just see how much Deep Soul does to, does to her. And... That's actually not bad at all. And Black Flame is dodge, dodge, and... Okay. Thanks. Boom, and... Okay. That... Hmm, okay. It's gonna be spamming Deep Soul. It's gonna be Deep Soul. I'll have to do a stay out of the way, and she is an infamously hard boss, so... I have no qualms about doing it like this. It said I should actually do some, like, steady chant. Okay, Steady Chant is up, and have that, which is good. Cool, and dodge. Thank you. And, oh, goodness, I... Come on. How are we gonna... Oh, is that always burning, or... Hmm. Steady Chant's good. Just gotta... What are you doing? Interesting. Hmm. Dancer, dancer, dancer. Thanks, thanks, and... Oh, goodness, and I... Dodge, dodge, and... Ha. Huh. Thank you. Now, being able to keep our distance is making this a lot less troublesome. And I dodge and... Mm -hmm. Oh, but I need to use that again. Thank you. Thanks. And one more, one more, and... Do oh, well, wait. Come on, come on. I, I just don't want to die. Don't want to die. Mm -hmm. And probably need to... Do oh, all right. And dodge, dodge, and... Huh. Luckily, I can use this to space, more or less, but... Oh. It's all about keeping that distance. Hello, friend. And... Oh. Oh! Thrust? I was not expecting that. Okay. Hmm. And dodge. Thank you. More deep souls. And another one. Thanks. We need more of that. Oh! What is... What's going on now? Oh! Because you weren't even using the other... Oh! I didn't even notice that you weren't using the other sword. Okay. Cool. One, two, thanks. Okay, all right. I imagine that that's gonna be gone soon, and that didn't even hit. That didn't even hit properly, and just... Ah, uh, wow. Uh. And... Okay, nice. We outranged you. Just can't get greedy. Can't get greedy. Got up. Mm-hmm. At least we have a lot of focus, actually, but... Ah. Uh. Hmm. Starting to run out of Estus, though, which is significantly less fun. Okay, let's dodge and... Oh, okay, I didn't expect that to be able to hit me. Thanks. 
Hmm. This room is big, but it's also not. The pillars are weirdly easy to get stuck on, and I don't like that. Okay, dodge it. One and... Okay, that's a good attack to try to punish. Come on, we just can't get too greedy. Greedy at all, really. Oh, okay, fun. And now we don't have any SS left, which is bad. Just dodge. And... Uh, if we manage to... be smart about this, this shouldn't be real trouble, but... Hmm. Just... Oh, well, we died. Okay. And now that Ember's gone. What's in fun? Big thing is... Big thing is... Honestly... No more Deep Soul. And I'm not using hammers either, I'm just... I'm just gonna use Black Flame. It comes out fast, the damage is good. I don't need to bother trying to outrange her. She closed the distance too quickly. The casting time on Deep Soul isn't... Isn't crazy slow, but it's slow enough that I would prefer to... Also, I should wear more armor. Casting time on Deep Soul is long enough that... I would prefer to just use Black Flame, because she closes the gap cold fast enough that... There's no real benefit to trying to do things in melee. I mean, at range rather than melee if she's just gonna... Close that gap. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks. Just, oh, nice. At least the damage is basically nothing. Okay. So, it's time for Black Flame on Dancer. See how well it works. Hello, Lothric Knights. Die. Die. Goodbye. It is kind of funny how few souls these guys are dropping with it. Okay, alright, and... Come on, come on, and I should... That's this up a little more for that fight, and... Lothric Knight Armor. Hmm. So we take off the hammers, and then we have to figure out what we want to wear instead. Guess Nameless Knight, maybe, and then some kind of gauntlets. Actually, what I could do is just wear some kind of actual armor. You know what? Fire Witch Armor. If we're going to be using fire, we may as well. It's got Dread. Profane Flame of Irithal. Holy Knights, Heart Swallowed by the Profane Flame. Let's simply keep going with Black Flame and see how it works against Dancer. So we have this right here. We got one sword out right now. And dodge. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right! The Lingering Hitbox. Thanks. That's a true one tap. Okay. So always dodge back or at least left. That delay. It's like I said before, big flop at playing Dark Souls 3. Which boss will break him mentally? It was the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. I think it would not be unreasonable to try to get behind the boss. And at that point, I really wouldn't really, really have to worry about the grab attack. Though to be frank, I'm not going to be need- I won't need embers for that much more, it's just- There are two more invasions, there's Creamhelm in Untended Graves and Livid Pyromancer Dunnel in Ariandel that actually require having an ember up in order to invade you. All of the others going on in Ring City are going to invade you, ember or no, which means that I don't really need any kind of- I don't need embers for anything other than just having more HP. So I can reasonably use them now to get more HP, which is definitely a good idea because I don't have Vigor. I just don't have Vigor. Okay. And hello. Oh, wow. that Those come out really fast. Okay, well, die. Die. Okay, and there we go. I'm gonna drop anything or... Guess the real question is... Would be, do I want to heal up before the boss fight? Because the question is, would I be able to live a grab attack from Dancer? And... dodge, thanks. Cool. Good damage, good damage. And... Okay, most of these attacks... Okay, the range on Black Flame is low, but... Hmm... Yeah, getting behind is a very, very good strategy. And never mind, never mind. And oh, but I, that consumes a lot of FP. I hmm. that said, I also hmm. 
Dodge and thank you. One, two, three. If I miss, it's worse. So we're going to do our best not to miss. And it's interesting how much you kind of slow down and stalk, so to speak. And there you go. You got your other sword. Let's just boom. Thank you. Easy enough to avoid. And dodge. Dodge. Thank you. One, two, and... We took a bit of a risk, but that's fine. One. Hmm. Another Ashen Flask. Dodge. Thank you. At least a couple... Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. And... Oh. What? Okay. You know, we were doing well for ourselves. We were doing very well for ourselves. And that, again, that is the weakness of... Tears of Denial, if they just hit you two times in succession, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, that DPS was actually insane. I was not expecting it to be that good. Though to be fair, Pyromancy does exist in this game specifically to be for, you know, effectively the magic equivalent of the quality build. So it does make some sense that it would be dealing good damage. The FP cost was high too, and the range left a bit to be desired, so it makes sense that it would be doing good damage, but even still, she isn't even all that fast, at least until phase two. It's really more about her reach. So if I can stay behind and otherwise, the big thing is that when she did that big jump slam attack in second phase, I didn't expect there to be a follow-up, and that did, that was what ended up being the death of me. Author Knight Armor. Hello, friend. Dodge and slam you. Slam that down. I guess... This time, I'm not gonna try Embering. If I fail this time, I'm gonna try Ember for the next attempt. But for this time, it's just... We're just gonna do more Black Flame. Mm hmm Hello, Dancer. Hello. Just, we're gonna go for a grab attack, and... Oh, well, whatever. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Thank you, thank you, and... Dodge, dodge, and... Dodge, and... Yep, this phase, that's punishable pretty well, and... Thank you. Hmm. But I... Oh, right, we don't have enough FP. That grab attack would have been obnoxious, and... Wait, what? Okay. Hmm. I... Okay. Mm hmm. That's back up. Epic... Epic dancer moment. That... Dodge, thank you. The signaling on that was quite nice, actually, so... Hmm. Dodge that, and that should be... Hmm, the timing on that might have been a bit annoying. Okay, luckily you're going around the other direction, and... One, two, and... So basically seven, maybe eight, depending on how you want to interpret that. Dodge, and... Okay. Okay, wow! Okay. The big thing is... Though, to be fair, I think that would have gone through my tears. If I ember up, I think I can manage this. If I ember up, I think this is manageable. But Dancer is an infamously hard boss, especially because she kind of exists to be an optional beefgate, so to speak, for early Lothar Castle if you do things that way, which, you know, I very plainly did not. I guess the question is, if I... If you go to Lothar Castle that way, does it also make time progress to Eclipse? I mean, to evening, to evening. Because it is interesting that they do have a slight time progression system in the same way as Bloodborne. Because, like I was saying before about Yorm possibly being the tutorial boss, all of that's from a leak document that I saw a bit ago that was confirmed possibly by a guy named Lance McDonald, who does... He's a cut content and data mining guy for Souls games. Does a lot of stuff with Bloodborne specifically. Or at least did. He actually, very recently, he managed to dig up some stuff relating to... Early beta builds of Bloodborne. And, oh, that's also... Oh, just like a humanity, you can use that as a way to gain HP in an emergency. And that's fun. That might be an idea. But as I was saying, originally the way... The route between Gaskell and Cathedral Ward and Odin Chapel was actually really, really short. 
But they had to make it longer because the PS4 couldn't load things well enough. Which was interesting, I'll say. And uh, I should heal that off, probably. Maybe. And that didn't hit at all. But, mm hmm Maybe. Dodge. And what are you going to do? You're going to... Come on, come on. And that hit. That's good. Dodge. Thank you. And... No oh, well, all right. That's time to... Use two kinds of flasks and... Okay. Okay, that didn't hit, which is good. Good and... Okay, luckily we somehow managed to dodge out of that, even though we definitely did not do that correctly. Thank you, thank you, and just... Are you gonna... Okay, there you go. Oh, wait, what? Okay, cool, I guess. Weird, and there you go, and you're taking that, which means now we can... Oh, how are we gonna... Mmm, dodge out of that. Mmm. Luckily you're stuck. Fun, okay, cool. And then we can run in. And running is probably a good way to do this. Okay, and just... Run in and dodge, dodge. Mm. We need to be really good about using our Estus here now. Just want to avoid messing things up. One, two. Yeah, we can go for a second. That's one of the few attacks where I think going for a second is actually reasonable. Dodge and. Mm. Okay, couple more, couple more. Are you going to do your dance now, or. What was that attack? Oh, is that actually. Is it not enchanted yet? Is that a third phase thing, or what, what, okay, please, please, I need, I need more S's, so luckily I don't have, uh, dumb idea, quite frankly, quite frankly, if I had just tried to burst her down there, I could have done it, I really could have done it, oh, whatever, I, I could try using drain hammers, the big thing about that, though, is that I wouldn't be able to be able to equip actual armor. That's the rub. And she is some decently weak to bludgeoning, but at the very same time, it... uh huh? It's a thought. String hammers and bludgeoning. The issue is that I don't have anything. I don't have any dark pine resin, or and I can't use dark clay. That's for certain. Do I actually have? I don't have any human pine resin, which would otherwise be a good way to take her down. We're, we're chilling, we're chilling. Fun boss, though. Really fun boss. I... I can't forget whether she's usually on best DS3 bosses list or hardest DS3 bosses list. Frankly, I bet for both, but... And thank you for the shield dash. That really made my day. And... Oh, but right up. I, I was really stupid back there. I... Forgot to put tears up, and now I need to do this all over again. Yay! Okay. Let's pretend like that didn't just happen. Or you can make fun of me. Or you can also make fun of me. It's also a perfectly valid option. So the big thing is, is... Black Flame is fast. It doesn't have much stamina consumption. You did, you blinked. But... Hmm, the upgrades and all, and... Hmm. It's worth a try. Guess the question is... Yeah, at this point... And quite frankly, they're faster than Black Flame 2. Let me just see what her resistances are again. Whether Flame Arc would be better. The answer of the Boreal Valley. If you look up Dancer, it just says Dancer of the... If you just look up Dancer of, it auto-completes the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Okay, so she's actually... She's weakest to Dark by far, but Fire will be good too. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for staying. Staying a while, too. So I will simply put up... Maybe Dark Flame could be okay as a backup. Yeah. Black Serpent is an interesting idea, but... Then if we're using hammers, and we've still got our tears effect, but how do we want to... What do we want to unequip? I guess, yeah, we'll put Deacon... Actually, Archdeacon Holy Garb, or... Firekeeper robe. Sure, we'll wear, we'll, we'll wear the Firekeeper robe. We're a Firekeeper now. And we'll put Power Flame in the other hand and see how well this fares against Dancer. There's a good chance that this is better DPS. I'm certainly hopeful. Yeah, I... Come on, come on, slam down and take you out. Yeah, that especially with Flame Arc, I imagine that this would be comparable to Black Flame, and it doesn't cost FP, and it comes out 
a good deal faster and can also be combo. And I guess the question is whether Dancer is staggable, staggerable at all in any way, shape, or form. Which I'm not sure about. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Two, three, four. Come on, come on. Okay, we do have the shield up, which is nice. And one, oh, but yep, the shield bash for the counter. The break is really, really annoying. But an actual stance break doesn't have to deal with that, so. Mm -hmm. Either way, we're going to try Embering one more time. Got a decent enough number that I don't think we have that much to lose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So let's try this out and pull the sway mark, put our funny shield back up, take the drang hammers out and see how we can hopefully pummel Dancer into submission. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, oh, and interesting, it's... How do I... Mm, I... Mm, one, two, and it's comparable. It's actually about the same, but it only stamina costs compared to... Definitely, for the start of second phase, I should be able to cheese things harder. We'll see. And, oh, we actually got it. Oh, but no, no stance break. Come on. Oh, wow, okay, all right. I don't know if I should try using tears again, or... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use tears again. She is gap-closable enough that... Well, okay, okay, fun. Okay. Uh... Still got that out. This is actually a good deal harder, frankly, but... Dodge, thank you. One, two. Dodge, thanks. Dodge, oh, all right. And a couple more. And that's close to phase two. Yep, that's phase two. All right, so we just got to wait for you to... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, oh, but... Interesting. The time it took me to get back up was really, really bad. Okay, so... One Ember Wasted, two... It's gonna be Black Flame. It's gonna be Black Flame. Which means we're equipping Nameless Knight and... The Fire Witch set again. And then just going through, I suppose. It's 9.0, so actually we need to take that off. We cast Tears. Epic Dancer moment. That's life, I guess. Uh -huh. Bring that back, go through again, kill the bosses on the way. Have Black Flame ready in order to take her down, and... The big thing is that 4 Ash and Estus should basically be exactly enough to kill Dancer if I don't miss too many Black Flames, and there's still a bit of room for error. It's just I can't be too stupid. Luckily that- oh, and they dropped something that time. Hello. That roll attack is quite strong. It actually combos decently well into the normal combo. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. Battle of Hammers. Then let's just Roll and slam the hammers down. And thank you. There we go. So then we unequip the hammers again, ember up again, and pray. Pray that it works this time. Yeah, but we wouldn't get an ember restored this time because we, we're not restoring anything. That said, I think I should be more willing to actually use the shield. I honestly keep forgetting that I actually have a shield to use. And Bloodstain's right there, so... Oh, hello, Dancer. What are you gonna do? Okay, so we're behind now, and... Luckily, that doesn't hit, really, at all. And... Good damage on you. Thanks, Dodge. Thanks, Dodge. And... And it comes out really good after a roll, too. And this... Best option by far. It's anyone who's really weak to... Fire... I mean, dark damage is... Prime target for this, and dodge. Thank oh, but I, I messed that up again. And, yep. Yeah, one hit, one tapped. Stupid grab attack, and I... Okay, cool. Heal, heal, and... Mm, how do I want to... Okay, whatever. One, two, and dodge, and... Oh, well, I... Delay on that was god-awful. Okay, so... 
I guess the big thing is, always dodge left on Dancer. Because otherwise I'm going to get grabbed, and that grab is going to kill me. Mm -hmm. That and there, and... You know, in the end, if we really wanted to, there were embers we could buy from the Shrine Handmaid. It would just be a really, really silly way to do this. Mm -hmm. There's also the possibility of trying out... <clears throat> Gnaw on her. The issue is, is that he could have pretty good bleed, and the bleed buildup is completely independent of anything associated with the weapon. But the actual damage of Gnaw, which is one of the benefits, is not going to be great because we don't have any dark scaling catalysts. I mean, dark scaling chimes or talismans. Because there's Kythus Chime and there's Sunless Talisman. We could. I guess we actually could try getting Sunless Talisman, but we would have to actively kill Cirrus, and we didn't do that. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to be until after Twin Princes that Cirrus' set is going to show up in the Pit of Hollows with a corpse, because we didn't kill Cirrus. That said, we could have actually killed Cirrus if we wanted to, because... Oh, but that's right! We should equip... Since we're not actually doing normal attacks, we should equip... Polana Ring... Which would be... Which one was it? Witch's Ring and then... I guess actually... What spells do we have attuned? Oh, Black Flame's in there, so I can't afford to get rid of that. That sucks. But this should be good for now. Actually, we're going to be hollow one time. We're going to be ugly for this fight. It's whatever. Hello, hello, ugly. I'm ugly now. And right, we can put on an actual helmet. We'll take Nameless Knight, and Paras will get a good boost. We can try spamming Dark Flame on her. We don't even have our Amber, but actually this should be okay, maybe. Hello, friend. Dodge it, dodge, thanks. Yeah, that got us out of the way. Oh, 426. Yeah, that that's making a pretty significant difference. Okay. One, two, and three, four. I... All right. Okay. Fair enough. And one, two, and dodge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and... Okay, that was the eighth, basically. One, two, and... Oh, all right, I, all right. Take that and dodge. Oh, stupid. I got too greedy. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the damage increase from the rings has been exceptionally useful. I will say that much. Kind of, it's kind of beyond argument. Okay, so we can do this. Hopefully she will get in a decent place. Okay, dodge. And thank you. And, well, we missed. Okay, our damage is really, really good. How do we want to... Hmm. Let's just hit one and... Hmm, thanks. Oh, interesting. Well, one... Okay, alright. I was not expecting that. Okay, so you're gonna spin again, aren't you? Are you? Are you? Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge. Thanks, dodge. One. Goodbye, Dancer! Okay, that wasn't all that bad. Soul the Dancer. There we go. Yeah, that... Once I remembered to actually put my darn rings on. It's good we didn't have the Ember, because that restored. And now, that ladder should come down. Hi. Gonna do that? Make that bonfire. Oh well. Do we just have to call? Oh, it's because we have to kill her in order to place the vase in. So here's the way to Wathra Castle. And once we actually. Gonna be a few pus of mans we can kill by some Wathra Wyverns at the start. So let's go that we have Flame Mark. So actually, I suppose. Given that Dark and Fire are both really good for us. And yep, it does behead itself. Oh, and the Baz and Caps keeps its weird statue blood. So is that actually... It's red, well, that's red blood that was just so thick as to be black flowing down the sword, but... Is there an actual knight stuck inside the statue, or... Do they have a reservoir of blood inside the statue for some reason? Least macabre Dark Souls statue. Okay. Cool, I guess. Shut up. So finally, on to Lothra Castle, which 
God willing, might mean, well, I'm not going to be fighting Twin Princes today, but I might be able to get to Gundir if I go through Consumed Kings. And then, I guess the question is, do I go to Lothric after, well, as in, beat Twin Princes after or before Arch Dragon Peak? Big thing is, I can level up twice. Before I do something stupid again, I should spend the souls. I can re-equip some rings. Untrue Dark for one. Not fair on ring, but Untrue Dark, human appearance, and then we put Pontiff Eye back on if we are. Going to be using weapons, because magic is for boss fights. Weapons are for... Weapons for mobs. Thank you. Let's level up a bit. And thank you, thank you. What do we take? Okay, we've got this now, so it's actually all there. Quite honestly, a lot of me just wants to. So if I leveled up Intelligence and Faith right now, would it take my spell buff up at all on my... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Stupid. Okay. Thank you, thank you. What's the spell buff on my power point right now? Right now it's at 133. Welcome, Let's see what happens. So... One, two... Let's spell buff, because the big thing is if I get my intelligence to 20, I can use Chaos Bed Vestiges against Dragon Slayer Armor, which would be really, really good. Now it's at 137, which, yes, is meaningfully better. Nice. Next level up would be about 1,200 more souls. So let's actually pop the biggest soul we have and see how much it gives us. So that's decently close, and if only they told us how much was per. Whatever. And then maybe we could use two more of these. Cool. That's good. Hmm. So let's level up one more time, and I suppose we can level up... Actually, strength versus... We barely don't have enough. Okay, so let's equip to Rang Hammers just to see how AR might change with Dexterity versus... Because I'm pretty sure that even with Refined, Strength Scaling is still a little bit better than Dexterity Scaling. Big thing is that increasing Dexterity would also... help sell swords if and when I want to use those. So, this should be enough for one more level up before we go over to... start of Lothric. Let's see, Strength versus... 248 versus... No, it's actually equal, at least for now. That'll help with Cell Sword, which is good. Yeah, we should at least be able to get to level 20 and everything, but let's see what happens with the rest. I am satisfied with what we've got here for now. We're doing good damage at a decent pace. I, I'm glad. So allow me to go up the castle, maybe? Let's see something real quick. I gotta put this in the other hand so that I can use Karthus when the time is relevant. Then I guess we take uh, this off and put Deacon, ba Deacon back on. Cool. That'll be good for now. Check something real quick. Yeah, because in the base game we've got Arch Dragon Peak, Consume King's Jordan, Untender Graves, and Barring Kill, and we've just got Lothric and a bit rest. Mm hmm. Lothric and the Grand Archives. Uh, it's it's interesting. It's an interesting idea. Either way, there should be a dra some wyverns, not dragons, but wyverns, and then what? Okay, that was laggy. With some pusses of man attached, and you kill them by hitting the pusses of man, and here we are. Death ahead. Therefore, try pure luck. Well, there are things on the sides over here, and I'm wondering where they lead. Let's be a comfort. And that does not open from the side, which means it's time to get another notepad document out and start notating. Where are things I can't find are? Okay. High wall. One does not open. Open by dancer. Okay. And in great detail, too. It'd be nice to find a way to show that on stream, but what I. Oh, and another one of these knights. Okay. Try pyromancy and pairing and then destroy. Very warrior. I... Is this a cathedral knight or a Lothric knight? I think it's a cathedral knight. Oh, but I. It's. However, that I might like to remember when to use tears. I am also just a fool, but also it's kind of tough. Sneak up on this guy and then just batter him down. This one's got a mace? Interesting. Hello there, hello. 
Oh, no, it's a Cathedral Knight. Is it? Is it? Or... No, yeah, this is a Cathedral Knight. Interesting. Well, we can just kill you while you're putting Blessed Weapon up, and there we go. After all that struggling, Cathedral the Dean. Finally got our vengeance. Large Titanite Shard, and... This leads to... Be wary of enemy. Let there be stealth. So this, this is going down, and... So what is this leading to? Is it just pointing out the Cathedral Knight, or is there another enemy down here that I just didn't see before? Oh, but that... Goes down, but you can also hop off midway. What is down here? No, seriously, what's down here? Is that a Puss of Man, or... So we have a Puss of Man, but... Hmm, until the weapon buff expires, I think we should still... Oh, this is Consume King's Garden! Okay, cool. Fun. But if we just keep on... Oh my goodness. Okay. Slam it. Wow, alright. And the Toxic killed us. Okay. So what that tells me is... What that tells me is... One, remember to put tears on when you spawn in. Two... Oh, because in that case, I can go to Consumed Garden before I go to Wathwick Castle. It's not entirely sure how they connected. So Osiris is weak to... Cons Osiris, Consumed King. It's weak as the Lightning, which I don't have a really... Actually, actually, there is a good chance that I can actually get... Basically just a 20 fade to use. And he's exceptionally weak to lightning, resist most physical. Yeah, and that would be the first time I can deal lightning damage all run. Yeah, I could get lightning damage, but right, I also need to attune. Caressing tears in place of black flame. Caressing tears, and right by there, cool. Right by tears of denial, multiple tears in one place. But as I was saying, and that is interesting because Antidote turned into Caressing Tears from a Sorcery to a Miracle in Dark Souls 2, but it became a... Den Tears of Denial was originally just Denial in Dark Souls 2. It's still a Miracle, but it was a different spell. Then... Hmm. It's the Guardian. The Consumed Kings. Hmm. Hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, and you should be buffing your weapon now. I think. And no, no you aren't. Alright, and what? Die. Okay. Now you should buff your weapon. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Well, either way you're dead. Okay. Hmm. These are like gauntlets and other watch time and shard, but I do like how the levers here are actually a bit different. I think there might be an illusory wall somewhere in Consumed Kings. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, and it doesn't appear like we can get on top of that, or if we could... Really, lag again. Maybe I should turn up my fan a little bit, if the heat is getting to it. That might be a little mo bit more pick upable by the mic, so to speak. We'll see how that works. And we can roll out midway, which I suppose we'll do. Quagmire! Holy crap, Family Guy reference in Dark Souls? Okay. Holy crap, Wallace. So, we've gone down here, and this is probably a better way in. Okay. This is... Oh, an Estus Shard. That's good. That is, I believe, the second to last one we need, period. So... Go down this way, and... They have really gone hard on the Poison Swamps. Oh, we can actually upgrade our Power Flame, among other things. The question is, can I get on there? That part over there. So let's take cell swords. Or do I upgrade cell swords or do I upgrade something else? That's the question. Let's actually use the steel mask. So what if I tried jumping on here? Clearly someone could do it, but I don't imagine that. Wait, it's a liar. Don't give up. Oh, so this was just for fun. Okay, cool. And now we're in the poison swamp. I don't like this. How do I want to? Mm, I can barely, barely get out of the way. So let's put Flame Mark on our Cell Sword Twin Blades and try finding those pus as a man again. But where are they, so to speak? There's one over there. Did it only show up if I came through this way? They spawn in only if you come down through here? I suppose it's possible, but it's still weird. And if you go on here, 
No more of that, but... Now that way it doesn't seem to be anything, it's just poison as soon as you step off the ladder, though. Caressing tears. And what is gonna happen? I wonder if there's actually something underneath here. If I send that up and... No, just... A pitfall to my certain death. Okay. So it does seem like maybe going through this specific area is what aggroes or activates the pathing of some of these pluses of man. Either way, I think... Pyromancy's fun, but what I really should have done was... I don't know, maybe take off Flaymark and just... Go for something I could lob at him from range. Because they do totally just... Oh my goodness, I... Alright. Die, die, and... They do stagger when you hit them with fire, but it's obviously a lot more useful when you do it at range. Because you don't have to worry about any kind of... Retaliation in any way. Even if the damage is theoretically better this way. One, two, three. Okay, because they... Well, at least the DPS is good. And my lord, did they make an awful noise. Okay. This is interesting looking poison, I say. Is that... What is that? Well, whatever. Once we kill these pusses of man, is that... A slug, or is that... That's definitely a slug, not Aldrich Flash. Big thing is, we gotta lure that pus of man over here. I die. And... Oh, my... Okay. Interesting. Get over this way. And just... Dodge, dodge, and... One, two, three, four... And wait for some of that to come back, and... Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just... They're incredibly unpredictable, and it is crazy hard to tell what's actually an active hitbox on them and what isn't. Either way, we should use Carthus again. The buff is definitely about to run out, so... In the interest of not getting up... You know, stuck up a creek without a ladder, we should... Do that, and two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. I am very, very glad that I have a good way to dispatch those guys now. And, predictably, they are very slashable and very burnable. And, oh, another Cathedral Knight. Fine. It is interesting that there are Cathedral Knights here. If I wanted to be meaner, I'd say, sounds like unfinished content, but I don't think that's all of it. Titan Knight Chunk, yeah, so this is going to be a good way to level up my items while I prepare. Yeah, because I could use that on, if I got another, then I could upgrade Cell Swords and the Pyro Foot in a bit. I did appreciate how generous, how incredibly generous Dark Souls 2 was. Oh, Human Pine Resin, that would have been nice on Dancer, I suppose. How incredibly generous Dark Souls 2 is with upgrade materials. Because I was able to have a lot of weapons just going around to switch between. In Dark Souls 3, it's kind of possible, but not as possible. And I do miss that more than a little. Just because I was able to really, really target enemy weaknesses in a way that I particularly enjoy. And that's just not something that's as possible in this one. Oh, thanks. Okay, dodge. Luckily, as long as you stay away, it's not that bad. It's still really annoying. One, two, three... Four, and dead again. They are some of the loudest enemies in this entire game, I swear. That said, Consume King's Garden isn't that big. Yeah, most of these things are pretty vulnerable to fire somehow, so... Wretch ahead, guess not. So Toxic, and there's that other Cathedral Knight. Just there are items in here, and I want to make sure I get them. Especially since a lot of them are... Oh, Dark Gem. Not bad, but not amazing. And then... Cathedral Knight in the middle of that dice. Hello! And another one needed. Okay. Big thing is... Toxic buildup. I'm gonna have to deal with that by way of... Karthus. I mean, Tears. And that is, actually... The buildups... Frankly, it's probably because of the stats I've got. Well, frankly, I should... Duration of this, put poison, no, not stone plate. Poison back, back by back on. And oh, I could have I could use Dark Clutch too during during that fight if I really wanted. Human pine resin, not bad, not bad. But uh, die slug, die slug. Oh, but is toxic not Toxic res is not affected. Interesting. So there's no toxic bite ring? That is profoundly strange. Okay, well, I guess it does make sense given that Toxic is, you know, 
It's supposed to be worse than poison, but still. Can't imagine this is pleasant. It's not pleasant. Okay, and oh my goodness. At least we can tears this off, but still. Mm -hmm. Get a bit of SS healing up in here. Let's see what all these items are. This is two black fire bombs, that's whatever. And more toxic and shadow set, so for the ninja from Dark Souls 1 and onward. Okay. Hmm. It's just. We've gone through a surprising number of poison swamps today. Yeah, it's one thing for there to be a poison swamp in the forest area. I did not expect there to be a poison swamp in Profane Capital, and I didn't expect a poison swamp here. It's just. Today is Poison Swamp Day, I guess. I feel like I should find a way to turn that into what I name my VOD, because I'm running out of good Soundgarden songs. Well, not good Soundgarden songs. All Soundgarden songs are good. Excuse me. Soundgarden songs that I've listened to and would feel comfortable naming VODs afterwards. Because if I name a VOD after a Soundgarden song I haven't heard, that makes me a fake fan, and I don't like that. Okay, so... Seems to have gotten all the items over here on this side. And then there's the Cathedral Knight up there, and I think... Yeah, Drang Hammers, then Flame Mark on that. I don't remember whether the Cathedral Knights are specifically weak or specifically resistant to dark. Frankly, before I know for sure, I'll just say neither. But, but... That one message did say use fire, but... Goodness knows how trustworthy that might be. Okay, dodge. Hmm. What if I... Two, and... Oh, all right, and... Starting to run out of Estus. Well, not started, I've just run out of Estus. Okay, well... Let's hope you get your... Oh, now you've got Perseverance. I don't like that. Dodge, and... Oh, wow, okay. Maybe I should go. Maybe. Or, at the very least, I should use Tears, and... Oh, not enough, not enough of that. Fun. So, let's just... Oh, well, I'm dead. Alright. Hmm. So, time to try this again. I presume that the best thing to do would be making a beeline straight for the Cathedral Knight that time. Is this... Are you back? Welcome back. You came back just in time to see me die. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. So, I'm in another poison swamp. There's a third poison swamp in this game. Not just a poison swamp, but a toxic swamp. The only actual pure poison swamp was Faron Keep. Every other swamp has been a toxic swamp. Just crazy. So actually, what's over this way? Hidden path ahead. Ring ahead. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Can I... What? What? Huh? Is that some joke about Elden Ring? 81. 81! You're right! 81! Okay. So let's just interact with this bonfire again. Chill out a bit more. Mm -hmm. Then I can simply go back to Consume Guarded and pray to whoever's going to hear my prayers that the other Cathedral Knight doesn't kill me. If you remembered it, then yeah, it is a channel in joke now. Congratulations, Tenacious Boys. Where do I want to? make this work and happen. Hello, Cathedral Knight. Let's just pat you down and hit a bit more and oh goodness. Uh, okay, that should be close to the time you want to use your blessed weapon. Thank you, thank you. You're gonna, yep, you're gonna use blessed weapon, so we'll just kill you. There we go. So it's about half health, maybe a little bit less. Frankly, this would have been an opportunity to uh, Use that Estus Shard. Well, to be fair, there should be a bonfire somewhere here. Honestly, half of me wants to wait to kill Osiris until I've got 20 faith and therefore the ability to actually use Lightning Spears on him because of how weak he, weak he is to Lightning. It's an idea. Oh, and there you are. Hello, friend. Puss a man. Hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, well, we... All right. I... The DPS of Twin Blains is still better than that. I all right, and what? What? Okay, cool, cool. I all right. Uh, I dodge and one, two, three, four, 
five, six, and one more, one more. What? Oh, please, you die, die, die. Come on, get up, we kill. Okay, well, oh, what? Cathedral Knight? Cathedral Knight right there? What? What in the? What in the? You're kidding. Dude, we need to get that. We need to get that. We need to get that. We need to get that blood stain. We need to get that blood stain. Even if we, even if we die, we need to get that blood stain. And take that. What? No, what? Huh? That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. The prop popped up and I pressed it. What? The fact that the Cathedral Knight even saw me is ridiculous. I didn't even think you could see me there. Stupid. Well, whatever. I... Honestly, at this point... At this point, I... Ugh. I'm gonna explore a bit more because there are materials in there, but that was really disheartening. Well, we got into a side area that was Consumed King's Garden. It leads to a boss, Osiris, who's the old king of Lothric. And among other things, among other things. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Question is, if I popped a bunch of souls, how much could I level up? Eh, probably not much. We should level up. How much do we... Hmm. It's a plus six. I think, actually, I'll upgrade... Pyroflame? Upgrade Pyroflame or upgrade hammers? We have exactly enough right now, and... Uh, uh, I mean, Twin Blades. I think upgrading Twin Blades is going to be better in a moment. How much will that cost? Let's see. Sulcer Twin Blades would cost 990. Oh, Hajime Machi Oh, that's fun. The one with the cat? Either way, good to see you popping in. Glad to see you're doing well. So the name of soldier should be enough? That oh, that's more than I intended. Well, okay. Let's reinforce. We're doing okay-ish. It's painful. Sharp and a good amount more damage. That's good. So in that case, we will use the hammers for the Cathedral Knight, use the twin blades for something else. I kill the boss. Move on. I killed a couple of bosses. Now I'm in a side area trying to maybe go to another boss. It's complicated. Yeah, yeah, are you feeling any better after yesterday? That was, and I guess more importantly, has something been done about the precarious shelf situation? Okay, cool. So we will simply have Karthus ready for beating up that one Cathedral Knight. That said, upgrading the flame would somewhat increase the damage we dealt to the knight. But upgrading the cell sword should be better for the Puss as a man if we use Twin Blades against the Puss of Man. Well, hopefully shelves if you fix them correctly or take them down if they fell on your head. I don't know. Many ways to skin a cat. And there you go. And okay, cool. Now you're gonna be Oh wait, you're not gonna be trying to Now you're enchanting your weapon. Good. One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye. My sword. Well, the sword did fall on me. The sword did fall on me. Well, to be fair, that was my fault for getting all tangled up in it. Normally, as long as I'm not close to it, it shouldn't be a problem. That is what people said. Because they didn't have much sympathy for me. Now, maybe they were all, he's just, he's just a liability. If the sword falls on him and he dies in a funny way, at least it's good for humor. I don't know at this point. I don't know. The question is, if I take off Untrue Dark, would it make the weapon buff show up, or...? That was a lot of damage. Yeah, that... That was a dark time in my life. That was a dark moment. Okay, so... The Untrue Dark Ring hides the particle effect, but I guess... It doesn't change things if you take it off. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's put on a helmet. Titan's Mask. Then use Waymark again and try not to die this time. Yeah, my Dark Souls moment. Where I risk death. Okay. Let's just kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, the damage is much better as a result of that. I just wish I hadn't missed that initially. One, two, what, what? Okay, one, two, three. So you can't be interrupted after that, out of that attack chain, weirdly enough. Weird. You know what, you know what? If we're here, if we're here, I'm killing everything. I'm killing everything. I want to show off those swords, and I want those darn souls back. Please. And die, uh, and... Good stuff, good stuff. Kill the slugs, kill the slugs. 
Balanced on two feet? Wait, who? Oh, the Pussa Man? Well, what I'd probably assume, actually, my guess, is either that the, the actual Puss part is constantly doing a kind of counterbalancing thing, or, and this is a more interesting idea, that since they're so bloated, there's a possibility, actually, in my opinion, that they... Well, I... That was embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. Well, thank you. I I saw that. I didn't want to brag about it, and I didn't want to jinx it, but it was nice to see. But I think there's a possibility that they might be buoyant. Okay. So we're going to go through. We're going to try to get as many of those souls as possible. Maybe find another root out or a bonfire. You know, I'm pleasantly surprised that you're saying that. You know, I, I, I have to take these rare compliments as they come. Okay, well... Well, I don't think I... Did I pick up that other bloodstain? I think I did. But it's... Well, to be fair, Consumed King's Garden is not entirely... It's a side area that we can access now, but there's an argument to be made that you're supposed to go to it after getting through at least a little bit of Walthrop Castle. There's a good amount of Titanite in there, and I do want to get as much, much of that as possible for the sake of upgrading my stuff. Big thing is also, I've still only got Drang Hammers and Cell Swords as my decent weapons. Because I don't have the 20 decks for Drang Twin Spears yet. And I eventually will want to upgrade those once I get the stuff for them. So, oh my goodness. Well, yeah, but... It's it's inelegant to obsess a bunch about numbers, really. That's fair. I, a lot happens. A lot happens. And I was in pain, really. So we're gonna... There you go. So we can take it down. And there we go. I would really do wonder if I had... Oh, a great mace. If I had tried using the... It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. Pat Pat. Who's Pat? Patrick? From, from, from Spongebob? My name is Patrick Star. My mom ma made myself a sandwich. My mommy named it Fred. Pointy, 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 pointy. I forget the rest of the song, but it literally killed people when they performed it, which was a really good gag. Okay. Let's see. Who Who is your favorite SpongeBob character? Gun to your head. Gun to your head, you had to choose a SpongeBob character to be your favorite. Who would it be? Oh, my. Okay. Wow. All right. I. Hmm. And what? What? Okay. I. No, 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 no. Okay, and I... Of course the Cathedral Knight's coming out too. I I respect that significantly. I significantly respect that. I, what the... Oh, but the... Oh, the Cathedral Knight's fighting with... Fighting with the Puss of Man. Or the Puss of Man is at least fighting the Cathedral Knight. This is getting really tough. Right, right, because you did karate. That's right. I mean, karate. Karate. I have to be... I have to be... I have to be a weeb. Be a weeb about this. So I. Mm, mm. So where did the Cathedral Knight go, and where is that guy going? Mm. Life in hell, 81. Literally. Literally. Peak 81. Oh, were you saying. I presume you were also saying that to remind me that I was slowly but surely dying. Which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Let's heal up a little 81. 81. So, we should probably get our tears back on real quick. After another flask. This is really painful. It's just in the end, I don't need to kill that Cathedral Knight, but... If it's there and I can kill it, I should. All sorts of things around here and- Oh, but I forgot to- Forgot to use that Estus Shard, whatever. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, but I- Okay. Oh, well, all right. Are you going to use your... You're using your buff now, which means we can kill you. Can... I would say Patrick. In part because I would say... I, I respect that significantly. But I would say... One of my favorite Spongebob gags, period. And I think Larry might have been there. As it, Basically what happened was... When Spongebob and Patrick try to become real mature men in that one episode... 
one thing they try to do is they say they want to develop a taste for freeform jazz. And they play an actual real jazz song that's called Pressure Point. And that, that's announced by Patrick. Patrick is the one that says they need to develop a taste for freeform jazz. But the big thing is that my middle school jazz teacher, I put that song on as partially a joke to see if he'd recognize it, and he did recognize it because it is, it's just a serious jazz song. And that was one of the wildest things I've experienced, period. So, and it was in part because of Spongebob, so... I gotta thank Mr. Mr. Patrick for that. Okay, so more pus as a man and a side area. It was. It was a very amusing thing to have happened. So let's put up flame arc. I mean, tears of denial again. The interest of hopefully not dying to this guy. This. It's definitely a bit silly, and I'm probably over. I'm definitely overextending myself a little. But all these pus as a man, I really just want to kill him. Okay, hello, and then we run in, slash, two, three, four. Okay, the running attack is my best bet by far. I can run in, and oh, well, all right. I and no more no more of that, so just run in, slash, and two, three, and who is spitting at me? Slugs are spitting at me, I guess. Where are the slugs? Time night shard, and we need more flame mark. We need more flame mark now. Okay. Luckily, he didn't pop tears, but yeah, running in is... Running in is the move. It's the move. So we got a bit of the souls we lost back. The big thing is we're at, We need seven more level ups before I can... I'll probably take Faith to 21st. The big thing is that would allow me to actually use Lightning Spear, which would allow me to hopefully, you know, kill Osiris in a decent way. Maybe. Oh, come on, I... I don't want to fight you here. I die. One, two, three, four, and just run, dodge it. What? Okay. All right. I, interesting. I. All right. So what if I? What if I go over here? What if I go over here? What if I use tears? What if I use tears here? How far are you gonna go? How far are you gonna go? I do need to find a way back. There's got to be a side entrance to the area. I'm almost sure of it. Let's take off caressing tears so that it doesn't kill me like this. Don't need to go for the slugs, but these pusses of man are going to be a good source of souls that I do not want to pass up. And I, oh right, I didn't have that clip right now. And we'll just, oh well, all right. I don't, oh please, I don't have enough now, do I? Do I not have enough? Don't think I have enough. I've got just enough for one more tiers of denial. So let's just do that real quick. I think we can run in and kill, and then after that, I will try actually ignoring things. Okay. Let's run in and slash, 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 and oh, but we, the fire was gone. You're kidding. That was the absolute worst time to do that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I'm overextending myself. The big thing is we killed that cathedral knight. So, I'm fine. I did what I wanted to do, which was kill that cathedral knight. So, the drang hammer's back on in the interest of taking down the initial cathedral knight. Yeah, there was that one door, that one door that didn't open from the side. I would presume that that's going to be a way to get deeper into Consumed Goon's Yard faster, but we'll see. Just got to see what I can reasonably avoid. Other one, be switching to Cell Sword. Cell Swords. One more, t one more tight night chunk, and I can upgrade Power Flame a little too. The interest in striking the buff, because the big thing is that Parting Flame is in theory the best one for damage from pure pyromancies, but the highest spell buff is on the normal flame, which means the best power buff. And it's actually not that far away, but still, it's worth thinking and talking about. Are you going to use your buff now? Yeah, you are, so kill. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just being able to kill it quickly makes so much of a difference. It's not even close. Frankly, f uh, you know, let's put on Ring of Sacrifice. That's a, we have two anyway. We got one from there, so... Don't want to risk things for no reason. Crichton's is... And right, that's actually less than Pontify. Cool. So we'll put on that while we're going down. Switch back to the shield and... Drop down here in the garden. Consume King's Garden. In Boston. 
I don't even know why I made that joke. Okay. Oh, right, I did say that my sister is actually... She's going to college in Boston. Which should hopefully be fun. So, we just run in slash. One, two, three, four. It, it was a bit inscrutable, I'll say. Dodge. I'm a little, even a little nonsensical. Two ends. So run and slash it. One, two, three, die. I'm free. Well, I'm free. I'm free of the pussy man. I'm not going to be so crass as to say that I'm free of my sister. Okay. Though she might be free of me. Yeah, she's definitely going to be free of me. So let's put the hammers back on and put this back. I will say the the drag hammers honestly their DPS isn't it's a little bit better arguably and the stagger is really good but at the very same time the very same time let's see if we can backstab the weight increase over the cell switch wind blades is pretty meaningful and not in a good way let's backstab this guy there we go there we go and how much damage uh, when you get up we can go for a few more hits and oh well we all right that should be blessed weapon maybe. Yeah, okay, well, alright, dodge and... Hmm. You're gonna buff now? Yeah, you are, okay. Die, die then. Goodbye. Thank you, farewell. I do find it interesting that those guys in the stronger Lothric Knights use Blessed Weapon pretty much from the start of the game, but it takes a pretty long time to actually get access to... to Blessed Weapon yourself. It's... And it's cool because it shows up, it's, oh, they have this buff that makes them stronger and also it heals them. When I'm, you know, I would like that. And then they make you wait. It's actually a pretty interesting and funny move, but... Because you actually get it from a Braille Tome of Miracles that you can get in Lothric Castle. Point of view, yeah. It's about perspective. And it's about not wanting to say things that people might hold against me on stream. Okay, there you go. Getting close. Dodge and... Oh, okay, alright. Uh, interesting. One, two, three, four, and... Dodge out of the way. Dodge out of the way of that, and... We should try to normal S this up. Oh, we're rolling, rolling, rolling. Hello, hello. Just dodge out of the way. One, two... And we missed, but that's dead anyway. You know, I really do wonder. I didn't die. In fact, I chopped down that... Puss a man pretty handily. I'm kind of proud of myself. Sorry I disappointed you by not dying in a stupid way. Yeah, exactly. See? See? I know you so well. But either way, we did get one more Titanite chunk, which I think would be best to use on. Well, I don't know. It depends on whether I... I guess getting Drain Twin Spears could be good eventually. That said, I don't know how much... How many enemies are left that actually use... Who was... What noise was that? I feel like somebody has to use some kind of blessed weapon. That's not good. They okay, run in and slash. Thank you. Two, three, four, and one. Okay, dodge it. Uh -huh. Dodge. Oh, goodness. I dodge and dodge and... Oh, please. I dodge. I oh, my goodness. Please, please. And heal, heal. Mm -hmm. Just dodge, dodge it. Slash, slash, slash. What? What? Excuse me? I just... I don't need to fight those guys all the time, but... In the end, in the end... Maybe this counts as grinding. Maybe this counts as grinding. It probably counts as grinding. Big thing is... Got another Titanite chunk, and also, I... I keep forgetting, I got an Estus shard. This is the second to last Estus shard I need to give Which should be helpful, but... We gotta go to Andre, and that said, we're already gonna be going over that way to... And plus 10, I believe, is where the flask max out healing-wise, which isn't going to be all that much more using capacity. It's about a 50 more health period, but... Reinforce, and there we go. Now we've got... 14 total uses. So, we should use another chunk. So that would be some of those. Okay. So the best way to do this most... Economical would be one of those, and then five, three fading souls. Let's use this real quick. Prayers. Come on, come on, come on, and 
reinforce the flame, and a little bit more spell buff, which, though to be fair, usually due to the way absorptions and resistances work, can be a lot more relevant than you might think, just a tiny bit. So we're going to go back, we are going to not mess things up this time, honest to goodness, honest to goodness. Like I said, I don't have that many more things to use embers for, period. I may as well actually use an ember, so that I don't die as easily to the various enemies in here. Yeah. Oh, but that would be stupid, because that would get rid- I almost lost- that would have been really funny. I almost destroyed my own bloodstain by accidentally using the dark sign. Now that would be truly ridiculous. Oh, but that was the wrong tear spell. Caressing tears, tears of denial. Why do you need multiple? You're silly. Okay. So we take that off. It would have been. I would I would have needed to clip that. In no small part because I would have, that would be the only way to make that experience even somewhat worth it. By the way, I would expect we'll get a little bit more damage off of this now that we have a little bit more level on our Pyroflame. And therefore a bit more spell buff and a little difference can actually make a lot. Let's see if we can sneak up at all. Can we? Can we? Oh, no we can't. Whatever. And slash, smash, and a little bit of a difference. There you go. So, one, two. That actually added up over time. Pretty significantly. Because normally that final hit I would have dealt would have been... It would have needed basically both of those hits, but it really only needed one at the end, so... A meaningful difference is being made. The big issue is that you can't really chain stagger the pus as a man, which I don't like. Yeah, they do they do seem to have a period of in, immunity to stagger after they recover from being staggered by fire, which I don't quite like. But in the end, I've got tears up, I've got more health by way of an ember. This shouldn't be horrible, horrible. We'll see. But either way, I probably should re-equip this. Make a sacrifice. Just for now, just for now. That bloodstain got very, very big. I would prefer not to lose that thing. Slash. One, two, three, four, and... Now that's a good damage increase. Slash, and... Oh, what? Okay. All right, no, not... One, two, three... That, that, was, that was a meaningful increase. Wasn't anything crazy, but glad I got that. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the secret with Dark Souls. The areas might be quite small, but if you keep dying a bunch, they start feeling a lot bigger. So another plus of man is right here, and here's my blood stain, which means I should probably re-equip Pontiff Right Eye, which would be good for taking down that other plus of man, and also probably put Crichton Mask back on. If we're going to be using. This right now, and oh my, well, okay. That dodge was not timed very well. So, this dodge, what, what, I, okay. One, two, three, four, but I, oh goodness, I, I'm on, I, what, slash, oh my goodness, come on, you just, one, two, now you're dead, okay. So, huh, don't have enough for Tears of Denial right now. I only I had a bit more attunement. But, oh, wrong flash too. At least that did. It wasn't totally wasted because we weren't filled up yet. Let's go kill a few more guys and see what we can glean from this terrible, terrible place. Okay. More pusses. Well, you know, I hate them. So, that's what's going on. One, two, and dodge. And the toxic's there, but. I guess I could take tears, maybe, and now we're toxic because we got caught on geometry. So fun. But, uh, oh, but we don't have, we don't even have enough to use caressing tears right now. That's funky. So then we put our shield back on and try to kill this guy. Hello there, hello. And, no, what? What? Okay, I, that was really stupid. Silly, okay, dodge. What? What? Okay. Big thing is, I need to, let's reapply flame arc. In case it would have expired, because it very well might have. Okay, slash and two, three, four, and just dodge out of the way and go for a slam. And, oh well, all right. Dodge and 
Slash, slash, slash. Goodbye. It's a question of how much there is, because it... Okay, I thought there might have been a lingering item, but no, that was... It's just a trick of the light. Great! And good damage, we can go kill other slugs, but then there are... So that one Cathedral Knight, and if I'm really going through, I may as well kill a guy. I've lost so many souls that I can afford to do a bit of pseudo-grinding. I will not be shamed. I refuse to be shamed after all the all the pain and suffering I've been through. Okay. Come on, come on. Thank you. Though, frankly, I'm the only one who would care anyway. <laughs> my principles are, for better or worse, entirely my own. Let's do that. Still got tears on, but we do need to switch out too. Cannot change it this time. Put hammers back on. Again, it's going to be interesting once I actually get Twin Spears to see like, who I end up using them on, because I'm pretty sure that the only things that would really be weak to thrust would be something like a Ravenous Crystal Lizard, though to be fair, in Untended Graves, there are two Ravenous Crystal Lizards that you fight at the same time, which would probably mean I'd want to use that there. Yeah, weapon for basically one fight, and I think at least some of the Lothric. One of the Lothric brothers is basically weak to pierce. So that would be a good idea, but interesting. And, oh, wrong, wrong side for the shield. Alright. Thanks, thanks. And crush, and you should. One user. There you go. One, two, three, four, and there you are. Big question is... And yeah, we've got more than enough large titan to level up Twin Spears as soon as we can actually use it on things. Maybe in that case, I should just upgrade them right now, though to be fair, I wouldn't be able to see the progress of them increasing in... Wait, what? An actual random mound maker? Excuse me? Oh well, I guess. Hi. Interesting. Well, clearly you're going for a fight. Hi there, and oh, well, I slam and what? Okay, what, what, what? Okay, interesting. And you got those bolts. I. That was profoundly strange. I was not expecting that. And, well, I. Mm, I. Mm, I. What? What? Huh? Okay. Billy with an E. Well, I. Mm, gotta see how we can dodge. And, what if I spin and can we? Can slam you down and you mother son of a. And I'm totally out of Estus now too. Frankly, what I should do is just see if I can unlock a way back real quick. Yeah, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you, see ya, see ya. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Open that door or something, and then... Is this going all the way back, or what? By the way, clearly he's trying to send us down, so... Okay, but I can't interact with that yet. So how am I going to... Where does this lead? That's the question. Shortcut ahead, but be wary of enemy. So where is this? Clearly he's chasing me, so... Titanite scale, what if I... I don't want to do this. Well, clearly he's going to be chasing me through here, and there are the thralls, but... Shortcut ahead, be wary of enemy. Presume that this is the door. Yeah, this is the door, okay. I was not expecting that random invasion. Okay, cool. Alright. Hmm. I guess we could try just running around in circles, but... Come on, just... There you are, there you are, I guess. Huh. Fun. Hello, friend, and just... Oh, well, we... All right, and... What, what, what? One, two, three, and... Slam, thanks, and I... What? And I... Mm, I should try Carthusing, maybe. Dodge, and... One, two, and... Three, and... What, what? Huh? That was bizarre. At least I got the shortcut. This is in a very convenient place, too. The big thing is just... Oh, but I was Ember, that's right. That's why he was able to invade, because I was, in fact, Ember. One of the first times I've really actually been Ember just for the sake of it. Well, we got our stuff back, so I'm not complaining. We're chilling. Oh, I... I didn't notice that. that that's vile. I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen, because I know that in Dark Souls... I'm pretty sure that in Dark Souls 2 and 1, maybe... Well, as in specifically, I'm pretty sure you can maybe use the channel or Strident, if you have it, to buff enemies if you're an invader, because they do count as your allies. 
Because they basically just have a very standard team system, quote unquote. But aside from that, aside from that. I didn't think there were relevant things with enemies with buff invaders. Just straight up. Okay. Thank you. Let's just level up a couple more stats. And oh, it's starting to take more and more and more. Huh. Well, strength will be good for our hammers, but need a few more level ups in order to get lightning for Cyros. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep on going. I don't have a lot of hard souls left, so quite frankly, I should just keep going through the area and see what I can maybe nab. But, but, I've got a good amount more damage on these hammers, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's very, very strong. So we'll simply proceed upwards, try to grab a few more souls off them. Go back through that shortcut, and now that we're embered, we don't exactly have anything to worry about now. But, oh, right, we forgot, we, we forgot to use. Honestly, if, if they hadn't invaded me after I'd already burned through basically all of my Estus, I probably would have won that fight. I was able to take out more or less half of their health, health whenever I actually managed to land that special weapon art combo with hammers, which was really, really nice. The issue with that, frankly, is it's usually not that consistent, but that invader was slow enough using Guts Greatsword, which was slow enough that I was able to actually counter with a roll attack and continue into a full combo after dodging one of his attacks. The issue is that sometimes he did a follow-up, and also just I couldn't reasonably trade because, you know, no Estus. It is what it is. Hello, hello, and thank you, thank you, and crush, crush, take you down, and are you gonna buff? Yeah, you are. Not anymore. Goodbye. Cool. And more of that. And we go around the other way, and there are thralls, who I think might actually be... I would probably be better off using Cell Sword for this little segment over here, so that's what I'll do. Hello, friends. Not. And the thralls are down there, and what are these people? I'm not sure. Oh, just very standard undead, but when they're in a big group, they become a little more aggravating. Blow darts, and what was on here? This is... Oh, another Titanite chunk, but hmm, I would need four for another upgrade on something, so I guess it would really just be draining Twin Spears at that point. Not bad, but still. So there are more coming up. Yeah, there are. Okay. Comes out fast. Means the Thralls can't do much. That is good. So who else and where and why? Oh. Hello, Thrall. Slash, slash. Oh, but oh, we clanged off and that was not great. So who else and where? Oh, that's not it. Wire ahead, so... There might be an illusory wall somewhere in the garden, but I'm not entirely sure. We do have, and this looks a lot like normal high wall, too. Mm. Clearly, when we went down the elevator, there was something partway through. But yeah, the big thing is going to be seeing how far we can get in the garden. And then... Yeah, because if we get to the fog wall, I'll probably turn back. I mean, I guess I could try fighting Osiris without access to lightning outside of resins. But frankly, it's kind of a non-starter. So over through here, and then you keep going down. What is over this way? And what might this be? Is this illusory? No, it's not. What is back in the garden? And then, it's over here. Dragon scale ring, and that, I believe that protects you from backstabs. I'm not entirely sure. Yep, it reduces. Okay, fasting the dragons, consume king, dispatch and return, resilience, divine protection of the dragon scale. Hmm, interesting. And there you are. Hello, hello. And how would I be able to get down there from here? Hmm. This lead to the same place as that, or that's the question. Oh, presumably it would, and this is just a way to avoid having to deal with all those pus mans. I think I'll, I will probably get to a fog gate, and after that, I think. I will return to whence I came, go through Lothric until I get enough souls for a lightning spear, and then kill Osiris with that. 
as I... Oh, and there... Yep, exactly. This is where I was before. So it does just loop around here. Mob enemy be wary of miscreants. Oh, but lots and lots of cathedral knights, but miscreant. So is someone going to try to sneak up on me or something else? Other way, let's do this. Actually, didn't have Crichton's equipped when I was doing cell sword stuff, but it doesn't matter. The end. Okay, well, I... All right, and... Okay. Slam, slam, slam. Oh, wow, I... Interesting. That was shocking. And I... Oh, and I'm stuck. Not fun. And... And now I'm dead. Okay. Hmm. So, yep, I need to be really... I think I could try to get a backstab on it if I approached slowly enough, but I approached too quickly and from an inopportune angle. It's an idea. It's an idea. I will simply rest again, kill more things, and... This shouldn't be a problem. Retrieve that bloodstain, figure out where the fog wall is, pick up a few more treasures from the area. Kill... Osiris... Later. Slothric. Right, Walthric Castle's boss is Dragon Slayer Armor. And then that, Grand Archives, is Twin Princes. So, go over there and... Yeah, but the big question is... Twin Princes or... Hmm, Twin Princes first or... Nameless King first. And the interesting thing is that Nameless King is very weak to Dark. Which could lead to taking it on via... Maybe Black Flame, but maybe depending on how fast he is, I could try using something like Deep Sword, Great Deep Sword, maybe even Black Fire Orb. Frankly, I think Black Fire Orb would probably be the best, because it... You know, Pyromancy is something that does deliberately scale perfectly, pretty much, off of both Intelligence and Faith. The Intelligence and Faith scaling on Dark Sorceries is always a optional sort of second string thing. And these thralls actually... That kills those smells very, very well. Okay. Oh, but I forgot to put the shield on. Whatever. Throw axe. If I was really farming, that would have been nice, but whatever. And two. Die, die, die. Then we're going to have to re... Rebuff, but that's fine. Isn't really anything down there, I'm pretty sure. I probably should check, because when I went up the elevator, I was running from that non maker. And that would mean, among other things, that... Frankly, it would be really funny if that mound maker was just sort of, okay, as a mad spirit, I have the choice between hindering you and helping you. Let's just go fight Osiris. Because what they could have done, basically, is just, we fight Osiris, and if I do badly enough and start getting weak, they just kill me. That would have been really funny, too, but instead they were just sort of, okay, normal invasion, normal invasion. I'm going to ignore the unique mound maker mechanics, because who cares? Don't mind me, I'm just... I'm just coping and seething and molding. So, that way and that way. Nothing over there properly. It's quite dark in here, actually. Mm. More than standard Lothric. Okay, down to the hammer, and then... See what we can nab from. Yeah, can we get a backstab off on that guy? Can we? So I think that that might just be the Osiris Arena. Not entirely sure. So if I go really slowly and then just... Go for a backstab when I'm close, could I? Yeah, I could. Okay, cool. And then I might be able to kind of choose some things if you're two, three, four, and... Oh, but you don't seem to be staggerable, which is very obnoxious. Okay, cool. Heal and... Well, we... What? Okay. Hmm. Well, all right. You're fun. So that greatsword one would obviously try to join the fight from the side if I try to just go for it that way. Try to just run straight through. That's not an option. But, mm -mm. And I will say, it's not an incredible, not an incredible consolation that Tears lets you survive an attack when you get one tapped anyway. Maybe I could try something like Twin Swords, but Bludging is definitely going to be my best option against these guys, so... Pedro Knight's here. It's a bit of extra souls before. And now, so... Let's just kill you. Hello, hello, and... Oh, wow, okay. I was not expecting that. 
And, oh, okay, interesting. Not in a good way. Just, okay, roll over, buff, and one, two, one, two, one. Oh, but we, that went really badly. I, mm, go for the explosions or what? And I, oh, but I, what? Oh, please, I, what, what, what? Huh? Interesting and not in a good way. I, that went about as badly as it could have. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. So maybe I won't try fighting that Cathedral Knight. Yeah. At least it didn't break tears, but still. Okay. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go take down those thralls. Definitely to reflect flame art, probably. But at the very same time, I think that even unbuffed, it should be well enough to kill most of the enemies over there. This. Fire hammers are cool. Honestly, they're probably the coolest weapon I've used in any Souls game. Even if people call them rockets, it's just... As cool as greatswords are, hammers are cooler, dual-wielding hammers is even cooler, and then you light them on fire. Honest to goodness, I think they're probably the coolest thing I've used, period. Hello, hello. You go over there, you're chasing after me, and oh my goodness, I... What? What? I... Okay. Huh. Not you, and... We can... Okay, with the buff, that makes the difference between life and death, so that was about 30 damage equipped, which is not bad at all, actually. Huh. I just... There's only so much I can do. There's only so much I can do against these enemies. So we go down here, we drop down, avoid all the other enemies, try not to die to the greatsword guy this time, hope and pray, get that buff up that we probably could have waited a little longer. I don't think, within 90 seconds of right now, either that Cathedral Knight will kill me or I'll kill it. So I'm not worried about messing things up that way, but let's see. And I'm pretty sure that you can... Crystal Soul Spear comes from Osiris' soul too, but I'm not sure. Entirely sure, because I know it's... I think it's White Dragon Breath on one hand. And, oh, but I messed that up, messed that up, and... Uh, thanks, and I... Dodge... Okay, interesting. So, you can only get one hit off at once, but... Oh, you actually staggered. One... Two and oh, interesting. Uh, what and uh, okay, heal, heal, and dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, heal and one, two. Uh, please, uh, dodge, dodge. Okay, dodge. Mm -hmm. Come in, why don't you dodge, dodge? Okay. What if I? What if I? One, two. Oh, oh but I, I was so close, so close, so close, so close. And I, uh -huh, I hate this guy so much. And I dodge, dodge. And what, what, what? Okay, interesting. I, okay, come down or something. Come down, why don't you? We come down over here, we can just preempt you, preempt you, and... Okay, there we go, that was very, very narrow. Luckily, this is normal water, normal water, I don't have to worry about poison here. That was worse than it had to have been. And then we got another Cathedral Knight over here, and then I presume that might be Osiris? Maybe, but... Oh, oh my goodness, I... Okay, I... Dodge, dodge it, uh, 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 mm. Okay, heal Dodge, dodge it, dodge... Stance is bad, bad, bad for me, bad for everyone. Except him, except him. It's really good for him. Okay. And then we can use tears again, just as insurance, dodge, and heal, heal. Just don't kill me, 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 and... Oh, but I... Mm, weird, weird, weird. We need to cart this flame mark again, and... Uh, pain, pain, and suffering on planet Earth. But if we drop down over here, we can use the drop. Now this... In the end, I don't really need to be fighting, fighting these guys, but still, I... Okay, but I... Mm -mm. One ends. Let's go for a three-hit combo. I know you won't do anything else, but I... Dodge. Oh. One. Dodge. And, oh, well, at least it didn't kill me. I was really expecting that to one-tap me. Okay, well, whatever. I, and of course you trap me, trap me, trap me. And, what, what, what? Not... Okay. Please, please. And, oh, not Ashen, not Ashen. I mess that up, mess that up. Mess that up big time. And, come on! Okay. Maybe I, maybe I, yeah, that's definitely Osiris' place. Once I get that, once I get that bloodstain back and kill that knight, I'm just gonna chill. I guess the real question is, would the knight be able to go inside there if there's no fog wall? Because it's actually very possible, though some of that is true to the fog wall logic, sometimes you get them through even with a fog wall. There are enemies in dark, there are enemies that can get through a fog wall in...
As in, against Abyss Watchers, some of those Guru enemy can actually get through a fog wall and join the fight in a weird way, because the Abyss Watchers, kind of like the Dark Race, will actually, I wouldn't say prioritize, but they'll try fighting the Gru, and the Gru will fight them. So you can use them as an impromptu ally, albeit you have to deal with them trying to hit you as well. It's an idea. It's a possible option, but it's a silly one. And and I'm pretty sure it's the easiest to do the very first time you go in the fight and don't have to deal with the fog wall being in the way. But it's an interesting idea. Okay. Once I kill all those guys, I should have enough for a couple more levels, so... Yeah. Six more level ups and I've got... Six more level ups and I'll get 20 faith to use dragon stuff. Well, not dragon stuff, but to use... It's fun how they have incants. To use lightning spear on Osiris, which should be the best way to deal with him, I think. He is an imitation dragon, basically, and therefore has lots of lightning weakness. I right, come on, come on. Okay. Thrall Hood, and then one more Thrall should be here somewhere, I think. No, I killed them all, I think. I hope. It's just... Those Cathedral Knights are honestly crazy. They were bad enough in Cathedral of the Deep. And frankly, in Cathedral of the Deep, the Greatsword ones were actually the least annoying. Because... The annoying part in Cathedral was honestly less their damage output and more their defenses. That I didn't have a good way to get around their defenses and their shields. But if I... Oh, frankly, what I could do is maybe I could try chain backstabbing. Yeah, okay, yeah. It won't be as good in terms of DPS purely, but... Chain backstabs and trying to use the shield, because it is a good shield. Just in terms of being a shield, too. So we'll try that out. It'll be a little different than what we were doing, and hopefully... You know, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing again and again, expecting different results. If we try something different, we might actually get different results, and not have to be crazy. Maybe. Put our shield back on, and then... Let's actually just see how much damage this... That's still good, actually. It's not quite as fast, but it's not as silly. Okay. Let's get our stuff back and... We can definitely backstab you. Move in close and... Gotta be really just slight on the joystick. This is what we need to do, this pace. And we're in the proper position. There we go, and... Oh, well, we... Never mind! Okay. Cool, and I... Alright, and I... Well, I... Okay, and... Dodge. Okay, the shield is actually working really, really well. Okay, but I need this, and... Heal, heal, heal. Bonfire, I mean, Estus, Estus. Is that not gonna see me if I go over here? No, he's not. That's good. Okay, no, no, he is. No, he is. You know, you know... Maybe I run. Maybe I leave this accursed place. I think that's what I do, actually. I think I just ditch. I play ding-dong ditch with those Cathedral Knights and go over to actual Lothric Castle to hope that things are better there. Yeah, okay, cool. Don't have any Homeward Bones left, so you have to take the long road. Just keep mistaking that for Undead Bone Ash. By the way, it's only two more Undead Bone Ash until we max out our flask. And quite frankly, it isn't going to be all that impactful, because we're already Oh, basically getting full health back from any given flask, and it's going to be a while until we have enough attunement that a Ashen Flask isn't going to put me to full two. Oh, alright. That's life. So, defeated and bruised. Battered, bruised, black and blue. We return to Lothric Castle. Well, actually, we're not returning because we haven't been there proper yet. We're going to Lothric Castle. Also, given that we have... Given that we're not going to be running into poison, I presume, we can and should. Well, let's see. Walter Castle. Is there going to be a bonfire pass here, or tough enemy ahead? Definitely just a really strong Walter Knight. We can afford to put Fire Orb in our final attunement slot. One more attunement slot would be really nice. I guess. But we're not getting a lot of summons, and I really don't want to have to... Farm Silver Knights for ears, so... Simply, simply another dimension added to the challenge. So, we can level up one more time, and I think, yeah, Vitality, probably. 
I mean vigor, vigor. There we go, and a good amount more HP. Low level vigor, low level vigor. There we go. The well flame scott being. Then we can attune flame orb in place of that. I mean fire orb in place of that, and this should be. Oh, for flame flame, it's flame slave, which is good, which I actually use. Zoom by fire, born in the sky. Incinerate knob at human flesh. I wonder what that means. Oh, but actually, bursting fireball might be. If I can get them all to hit and really run it as a shotgun, kinda. That would probably be the best way to run it. Against that puss of man, we'll see. Is there gonna be a couple of pusses of man in the area attached to the Wathrop Wyverns? The fastest way to kill, yeah, Vort and then the Dancer. She doesn't even have a name. It's kind of sad, actually. To kill those wyverns is going to be to kill the attached pusses of man, and then... Yeah. The best way to do that would be a really good pyromancy, and I think Bursting Fireball should hopefully fit the bill. We'll see. Hmm. We got Tears, we got Flame Arc, we got Karthus. I mean, we got Bursting Fireball. I think we're in a pretty good position here. Honestly, I could make things easier for myself even more by equipping an actual fourth ring instead of the one that just makes me look actually human, but... Drip. Always drip. Let's make sure we... Oh, what is this? A red-eyed Lothric Knight. Oh, and are they buffing... They are buffing that guy. I hate that. I hate that. Let's kill this guy, then. Roll and slam. Die, die, and... There we go. Thank you. Buff should be gone. Buff's gone? Bu is buff gone? Wait, what? 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 Okay, I... Interesting. I was not expecting that. So, big thing is, if we dodge and slam it... What? Okay, cool. Well, we can totally stagger you. That's good. I guess I wonder, would using a... Can't path on all that well. Dodge it and hit, and... Oh, I... I okay, cool. And... Are we gonna... Mm, are we gonna... Want to... What? Uh... Okay, please. Uh, you are tough. One, two, and one, one, two, three, four, and spin and slam and that that was good actually. That was quite good. And then what if I? Mm, I probably want tears back and maybe I, maybe maybe I don't. Maybe I. Well, I'm dead. Okay. Well, that got tough. But definitely finding a way to chain stagger him would be good. I feel like. Hitting him three times with just the paired light attacks is good DPS. I wonder if, if I went for the combo that I keep using in PvP, the main reason I use it in PvP is because it actually guarantees every single hit hitting. Because no, the way poise and stun works in PvP is fundamentally different, so that you can't just stun lock enemies, stun lock other players to death. But you can guarantee two hits normally. But if you do L1, then L2, then R2, you can guarantee all of those hits in a way you normally can't. So it's different. And the big thing is, that tome over there is O, and now you're... Oh, come on. You've gotta be kidding me. Dodge and slam one, two, and dodge, dodge. And... All right, I... Okay, cool. Thanks, I... All right. Let's dodge and dodge. One, two, three, and... Slam, and that dealt 656, which actually, I'm pretty sure that deals a little bit less than just the full normal combo. And I... Mmm... You're tough. Dodge it. Well, I... Mmm... But what if I... Big thing is that I can't afford to try the attack after one and... One, two, three, four, five, six, and... One, one more one more needed. One more needed, and I cannot afford to let this be the end, and I... Dodge it. What? 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 what uh... Please. Once you die, I don't think you'll come back. Presume you won't come back, but I come on, just out of my out of my way. Thought I'd be able to hit you through. Now, that would suck. That would really suck, wouldn't it? Well, now it, come on and through the shield, through the shield. Well, you're dead. What are you gonna draw? And pillage corpse and just a large shine knight shard. Okay, I guess it's this a tome. It's just a soul of a crest falling knight. Well, that was incredibly anticlimactic. I think there's another bonfire right up here. Or relatively close. I think I saw something about 
Originally, what's interesting is that Dark Souls 3 had some kind of ritual system where certain enemies you'd be able to... Oh, come on. I... You're kidding. I hate these guys so much. Certain enemies, you could stab these swords through their corpses. Not weapon swords, but ceremonial swords like that sword we had in... In the Henri cutscene. And use that to actually spawn in a bonfire wherever you like. And that didn't make it through, and the Henri thing is the only relic of that system. But it... It's an interesting concept. Okay, but I... Oh, really? Another one? What? Big thing is... Who's going to respawn and where? Because this is becoming kind of ludicrous. Okay. Let's just turn it along. Uh, uh, how much for the next level up? It's 36 for a 5, so... Four more level up, so an okay-ish amount of souls. It's nothing crazy crazy, but... Huh. I'll rest again. And to keep as much Estus as possible, frankly, because if I if I die, if I die, I'm S O L. Okay. Hmm, and I'm losing that relatively big blood stain. And oh, you're kidding! That guy comes back. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get good at learning how to fight him if they're just going to end up coming back. Okay, all right, and dodge. One, two, one, one, two, three, four, and dodge out of the way of that, and dodge. Mm -hmm. Gotta figure this out, and just one, two, and one, two, three, four, and mm -hmm. two, and if you go for the one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, that's doable and tolerable. No! No! Ah! Oh, I just... That is a big bloodstain gone. Stupid. Whatever. It was only like 16,000, but still. At least, I know how to fight him. The answer is, I can really only afford to get two attacks off at once, which is dodge the first couple of sword swings and then use a couple more, which is really, really annoying. You know, maybe if I really wanted to, I could actually try, quite frankly, well, I could try pairing him, but I think the best way is actually just going to be using the shield. And using the shield, and trying to just make his attacks bounce off and trap him that way. It's an idea. But it's just crazy how this... What? Uh, what? You're kidding. One, two, and I... One, and I... Broken? You're really... You're kidding. What? Okay, so honestly... I don't have a shield. Or at least not this shield that can actually take his hits well. Maybe we've had a great shield or something, but... The degree of just pure relentlessness we've got there is kind of crazy. I... The only thing I can really afford to do is... Just dodge the first two sword swings, wait for the third thrust to miss me if they go for the thrust use basically two attacks, he's running seven to dodge out of the way so they don't just immediately kill me afterwards and I have. I've I was not expecting it to be this ridiculous. It, these are these are literally trash mobs and they're still crushing me. I what? Okay, you can attack through the door you can attack through the wall, but I can't? You're kidding. One, two, three, and just at least they don't seem to gang up too much when I'm just doing that, but still, I... Oh, please. One, two, thrust, and... Mmm, okay. Okay. Moving close. One, two, and slam, but... Oh, but I... I got to... The roll put me in front of him instead of behind him. And I'm not sure whether it was an input error. It was probably partially an input error. But I think I might have gotten partially stuck on the coffins on the ground, which is not great. You know, in theory, what I could do is just run through until I hopefully find... Yeah. That's what I want to do. The issue is that that first room... That first room... The Lothric Knight aggro's well before you're anywhere close to the buffer. So, it's really hard to go in and actually kill him. It's tough. 
I... Uh, you know, always. You always go for the mage first, but... If the mage is, is guarded, and that's why, you know, that's why they guard their mages. To ensure that their buffers don't die, but I... Really, really, okay, cool. Thanks. So this is how we do this thing. Thank you, dodge, dodge, hammer, hammer, and slash, slash, smash, oh, but I... You're kidding, you're kidding, and I... What, what, I... Oh, I've got to be... I mean, in the end, it's, like I said, do I really need to be fighting this guy? Not really. Dodge, dodge, and hammer, 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 slam, and... Oh, but I... Mmm, whether I can regain that in time is questionable. I I really need to be methodical about this fight. And dodge and... Oh, well, I did not expect that. Didn't expect that. Big cross and two and... Cannot come on two, three, four, and... Let's go for a couple more just to be fun. So actually, I can't afford to go for the full combo, but... At least this guy doesn't have Estus. If this guy had Estus, I would... This would be impossible. But I... Two times... Two times damage HP and boys. It's insane. The big thing about it is I can't go around. I shouldn't actually be locked on. I shouldn't do any kind of lock. Because if I lock on, I think that's messing up some of my roll direction. Five-ish minutes. Is that... That would basically just be... They're, they're using Sacred Vow, aren't they? I would think. Yeah. Because when, when we do our Elden Ring playthrough, as soon as we get access to Golden Vow, that's going to be first priority in every single fight. Having you cast Golden Vow. Okay, so let's just bait them out in one and... One, two, three, and... Thank you, thank you, and dodge, and thank you for that. Oh, but not a thrust that time? Interesting. Two, and slam. Oh, but I messed that up. Dumb, dumb. Okay, cool. Heal, and one, two, and... What? Uh, go in, move in. One, two, and... Oh, but I... What? Okay, cool, cool, I guess. And... Oh, but I need to heal in badly. Two, and... Oh, uh, what do I... Dodge, and... What? What? Okay. I hate these guys so much. I, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five. Thank you, and then just dodge. Thank you. So I can go for three if I'm smart about it, but emphasis on smart. Okay, die, die. That took way more than it should have. Okay. So we've got a few more of these guys. We just gotta make sure we don't have to fight two of them at once. That's the thing. Hi, buffer. One, two, die. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So there's one over there. One more might drop down. Hate this guy so much. You have no idea. And let's just make sure they dodge and slam it. Oh, but I, hmm, that shield slam is really, really annoying. But I, I couldn't hit with that. But it's just uh, let's heal up. Tears could be nice, but we don't have what we exactly need for right now. Dodge it. Okay, dodge it. Oh, please. Uh, dodge. Slam. And out of the way. Okay, so countering that slam is actually very doable. But another one. Another. What? You're kidding. Huh? What? I... Frankly, what I should do is run. See who I can fight and where. When are they going to stop? When are they going to... Okay, so this one is going to pursue me through here, I think. Huh? Maybe if I just... It would be funny to destroy spam bursting fireballs on them. It's, it's an idea. And, huh. It. They're keeping their shields up, so it's not all that effective, but. It. It's okay. Just gotta make sure they charge in when that happens. Got lots of flasks, which is good, but. Uh huh. Very, very fundamentally silly way to do this, but. Oh, and. Good amount of damage if they catch you when you're not shielded, so. The Pyromancer. The Pyromancer. And boom. Good damage. Ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is back to full, so. Heal and. And of course, you put that up whenever it's relevant, so. Mm -hmm. Said, I don't imagine there will be all that much more. Said, free aiming could be useful here. Let's just see how well we. Oh, but you can actually. Poise lock with that. Interesting. So, so well, we can kill you this way. 
Oh, but if you stay away, we can't exactly make that work, can we? Aw. First and fireball. Some of you are close to death, that's good. Won't pretend that this is a particularly interesting way to do it, but if it works, it works. Okay. And we have you. We got you. Die. Come on. You're right, I don't have Shield of One equipped right now either, which is a little annoying, but whatever. I thank you, thank you, and a couple more should do it, and thank you. Just one more hammer thing. Should be fine. We get in here, get in here. Thanks. What if we just... Thank you, and... Mm, can we do a jump attack with both hammers? That is the question of the day and the hour. Dodge it. What if we... What if we... Slam, slam it. There we go, finally! That took a lot of stupidity, but... It worked. But it's just... Be 20 intelligence and 20 faith before I actually get to... Dragon Slayer armor so that I can use Chaos Bed Vestiges on it because of how weak it is to fire damage specifically. But if I. Hmm, it seems like there's anything over here in that study, seemingly. I presume there should be another bonfire somewhere around here. Either way, we killed a bunch of knights. I'm happy about that. Oh, and there it is! Our Lothric bonfire. Cool. Yeah, if we just got a bit further, maybe we could have even gotten that. Uh, gotten that bloodstain back. Well, whatever. Okay. And, yep, we see them going that way, and I'm not all that interested in fighting anyone right now. I think, is this just going to look out over the Lothric Cathedral? I think that's what it's called. Yep, right down here. Hello. Back where we were before. All that just for nothing, really. I'm a shortcut, and... Interesting. It just leads back there, but it's not like there's anything to get from that. Okay. So now we continue onwards into Lothar Castle proper, and hopefully don't humiliate ourselves too much. And is this a mimic? No, it's an item. Hood of Prayer. Who is that associated with? Oh, I assume that would be Emma's set. Look at some illusory walls somewhere. Titanite Chunk, and that's... That will be enough for Twin Spears in that case, once I actually have the decks to wield it. Oh, and we got... Some pilgrim butterflies over there, that's fun. And I, oh, interesting, and the soldiers are quite annoying this time around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question of the year of the hour, of the millennium, is... Mm -hmm. How much am I going to be able to level up by the end of Lothric? And also, should look for some illusory walls, I think. There should be at least one here, and I think that the Mimic in here should hopefully give me Symbol. Wiki said something about that, but I'm not sure how accurate it was about it being a failsafe properly. We'll see. Twinkling Titanite, and who just... Oh, interesting, you are... Oh, Wing Knights! Wing Knights and I... Okay, you're basically Snow, actually. Hi, and I... Okay, and I... Alright, and... You are interesting dudes. Some dudes and I... Oh, I went the wrong way, I went the wrong way. Tried to go out the door and it didn't work. At least these guys are- what? Okay. Come on, just die. Die and- what the- what? Oh, please. Uh, annoying. Come on. So some of these guys, they're supposed to be wing knights, patterned after angels, which is fun, but... Some of them actually do have wings, actual wings, not most of them though. And the range on that being bad is hurting me a little, but- oh wow! It's not expecting that much damage. Literally. Closest thing to a snow fight, basically. Okay, and are those going to come back, or what? And don't think you're staggerable, are you? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. The ascended ones have actual wings. And, oh, cool. Spin. And and they drop their axes sometimes, I think. And, well, we were close, but no cigar. One hit away from killing them. That was more than a little embarrassing. You know, the more deaths we get, the more chances we get to get souls from the knights we kill. Alright. Fun, I guess. Put our tears back on and kill everything around the winged knight before we fight the winged knight. It's quite frankly a lot of the reason that fight went so badly is because there was that one other guy who just came in all the surprise and just sort of, hello, I'm in this fight too. I didn't like that. I really did. So, hello there, hello friend, and, okay, hit, and, oh wow, I, 
Thought I would have dodged that, whatever. That fire crossbow dealt a lot more damage than I expected, really. Okay. One, two, three, four, and oh, the, the dark side equips already up. Nice. Guess the question is, if I've gone to Ring City through Ariandel before actually progressing the game, would, would, the Dark Sun equip, equip appear in Ring City? Because I'm pretty sure it does appear there. Putting them in one swoop ahead. Okay, cool. Break the shield and hit a bit harder. And then, oh, someone is using, they're trying to use an Undead Charm on me. Liar ahead, well, goodbye. Farewell. Tie Night Chunk and, oh goodness, that's more than I might like. And we got three Tie Night Chunks, so we got one more weapon to go up and, okay, no, they did actually hit me with the charm successfully. I didn't see that coming. Then anyone behind here, or, no, it doesn't seem like it. Hello there, Executioner. And swing down, and, oh, well, we, I thought we would have gone for a plunge attack and it just didn't work. Okay. It is interesting how these guys are basically all high wall enemies, just much stronger than before. I like that a lot, actually. It's interesting. So you're throwing things, and we probably want Flame Mark back now. Around now. Yep, it's gone. It's gone. That means we run away, we put our Flame Mark up, and we try to kill this guy. Okay. How do we want to dodge and hammer, and one, two, three, four, and we need one more attack. Two, and that's it. That's it. And they, they drop more than they did in High Wall, but it's still a lot less than I would expect for enemies in a, in an endgame area. Because without DLC, this and Grand Archives are basically the end of the game. Who just threw a firebomb at me? I'm going to talk to your manager. Oh, that was probably just... Uh, hmm. Oh, but it still wasn't a one-hit kill. Interesting. Oh, it's probably decaying nature of... Pontiff Eye, and dodge. Interesting. Oh, but what? That didn't... Okay. Two, and slam that, and one more. There we go, and another. Thank you. You took a lot of punishment. Okay. Which Titan Knight Shard? Nothing I really need right now, so, uh, whatever. Then, over there. Oh, that's just empty armor. Fun. And, okay, you're up there throwing things. What's on here? This is... Hard Soul of a Weary Warrior. I don't think they can see me from there, so what's here? And you're coming up. Two, three, four. The Stagger on Drang Hammers is definitely its best aspect. I actually have enough to take something to plus eight if we really felt like it. We do have one slab. Lord no less than their previous legendary weapons. Hmm. So another Wing Knight's going to show up relatively soon if we go down here, so we should... Try to get the drop on him when he literally drops down on us. Hello. Hi. And is... There you go. Okay, cool. So, one, two, three, four, and... Slam it. Okay, well... His pillars of light were less than fun to deal with, so... Let's just run. Don't want to deal with that too much. And slam, and... One, two, and dodge it. Mm, dodge it. Uh, chain spin is a cool attack, but... And forget whether they're Twin Axes or only a drop from them or something you can just get as a treasure item, I'm not sure. By the way, it could be a cool thing to use eventually, but I... Okay, one, two. Are you going to use your magic or dodge and dodge and... Okay, cool. One more, one more. And you're dead. And you're dead. Okay. An okay amount of souls. And another large Titan Night Shard that, again, I do not particularly stand in need of. That's life. So let us simply climb up this ladder and continue in our fantabulous journey. Okay. Fantabulous because there's Fanta. But wait, a wizard wall ahead, so a hidden path ahead. Oh, thank you! That was great. Freaking sweet, Lois. Okay. Hidden path ahead, yep, in fact there was. So in this, this is based with a Nisandra painting. Winged Knight, oh, it's just a Winged Knight painting. And nothing happens if we try breaking that. Makes sense. That's where we were before with that bonfire. This is worse than the time I played Dark Souls. Sacred Bloom Shield. And then it's him fighting O and S and just not knowing how to use the pillars to separate them. I feel like... I know that one time I 
try to figure out what it'd be like if there was a Genshin bit in Family Guy, and it was what I came up with was really, really cursed. But okay, I'm gonna look up, look into the illusory walls real quick. Illusory walls in Dark Souls Three. One in Walthrop Castle leads to in Osiris untended grades. Oh, because Osiris counts as Walthrop Castle. Okay. On the set, no, from the bonfire. Oh, wait, fire barracks, illusory wall. So there's actually nothing in profane capital. That's a surprise to me. Well, whatever. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. When it talks about smoldering, it talks about illusory walls. It doesn't talk about the breakable floor. Oh, it was just he was the traveler, and I made a cursed a cursed joke that I would prefer not to repeat here. I could tell you it in private, or. I think you could find it if you went back through the old server. But the important thing is that it was really, really cursed, and I am not proud of what I made. So... How am I gonna get back up there? Where is the butterfly, actually, in the armor? Still remembers its sporting haunts. Oh, but there's an another bonfire right here. That's a surprise. There's another thing back up top there, and I'm wondering how I'll get over there. So what is this? Dragon Barracks? I do think... It'll probably be soon. Dragon Barracks, therefore probably Dragon Slayer. Another Amber, that's nice. Let's tears it up. What we need. Five more levels and then I can get either Chaos Bed Vestiges or Lightning Spear. And that said... Gondir's aggressive. If I tried keeping my distance and ended up using a lightning spear on him, that could be a good way to do it. Especially since, let me check the rings I've got. I've got at least one miracle related ring. There's the Kareem ring. I mean, Morn's ring. Morn's ring and Sun's firstborn. So, and all of these are... These are basically identical to each other. 0.7 for the smaller one. 1.0 for the bigger one. I actually like that. I like that they made sure there was, you know, some level of equivalence there. Don't need one magic build being simply stronger than the other. Oh, that looks kind of like an Artorias sword. Should have let us pick that up. We're going all around and... Back over here, I imagine, might put us back on top of, top of the rampart. Let's kill these guys. We can do it. Two, three, four, five, six, and... Okay, actually, well, oh, what? Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Big damage. Okay, and... One, two, and... What? Okay. No. Wow! Okay. Huh. So I'll just pretend I didn't do that. That guy is an absolute lunatic. Fine by me, I guess. Fine by me, I guess. Yeah, but it's just one tap, no more tears. What is he, baby shampoo? Okay. Uh, go over here and go up the other way. Try to find another way to somewhere, and that is not a way we can go. So how are we going to get up top on the wall? Maybe this way or the other way. I imagine those stairs might actually lead to each other. So there are wyverns here, so I think plus a man suit too. It's an idea, but it's just. One of these Lothric Knights is inevitably going to wake up and beat the crap out of me. I don't know which one it is. It's going to be a very unpleasant surprise. At least we haven't run into any more and it's just been other kinds of trash mobs, but still. Let's go for a backstab on this guy. We can do it. Oh, but no, we can't. Two, three, four, and... Oh, but I... Mm -mm. At least these one, the spear ones, we can just bait, dodge the charge, and dodge. And thank you. Slam that down. Get out of the way, and... Huh. That would have worked, too. Come on, come on, dodge it. Slam, slam it. Oh, what, what, a, what, what? Okay, interesting. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Spears are cool, undeniably. One, two, and slam, and what do I, what a, slam, and another, 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 and hit, and there we go. That took more than it had to. And right, we have the wrong shield equipped, or whatever. Okay. What's on here? This is, oh, a great lance. I'm pretty sure I can't use that thing. Spiked Mace, and Great Lance is a pike. Right, so they do have 
great spears and here's pikes. Well, I actually could use that, it's just... There isn't really much of a reason to, frankly. How much for the next? 3, 6, 4, 5. So this might actually... This seems like a guy. It's not! He's dead. Okay. Okay, we got the wyvern over there. And yeah, it's gonna be... Fireballs all the way in. Okay, cool. So that possum man is... Oh, wow. We gotta figure out a way to deal with that possum man. Make their possum man show up, and then we hit that. But I... Uh, Clearly, the way we want to do this is there should be a drop down somewhere. Drop off the bridge and we drop off the bridge and then we go around the other way. That's how we do it. I'm so smart. Not. Okay. No, thank you. Now we have. We've actually got enough to upgrade something to plus A. I might actually do that in Pyroflame, frankly, given all the... I mean, I use Karthus a lot, and if I'm going to be trying to use this to kill the dragons, I mean the wyverns, that could be good. Go around this way, it would probably be the fastest way over to them, I presume. So is someone going to try to impede me, or okay, somebody's shooting at me, but clearly they don't... Okay, and one of those executioners, so... They worry over here, and... Wait, what? What is that god-awful noise? Two, three, four, and... Just don't... What are you... What is- oh, a puss of man is here! Excuse me, I- alright! Oh, but I- This is the perfect time to try Bursting Fireball. Perfect time. Okay. Come on, and I- oh, wrong thing, wrong thing. Also, what I should do, probably, is... Put Pyroflame on one hand so I can have a shield up, one for defense, and one to get more souls, so... Hello, puss of man, hello. We are going to end your miserable existence. Wait, this- Oh, Fire Orb would probably be better, honestly. That sucks. Oh, uh, we may have made a silly little mistake, and... Uh, alright, alright. Yeah, I... Hmm. The shrapnel effect is cool, but... Can only do so much. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll... Do that, get a level up, upgrade the Power of Flame, hope that something good happens after that. But it's just, uh, a normal Fire Orb would clearly be a better way to deal with them. Yeah, at least we can keep our distance, so that is the one consolation here. In I'm having to speak up because this thing is so ungodly loud. And there we go, it's dead. Okay. Good amount of souls, too. Then, do they respawn or what? Titanite Night Chunk and Titanite Night Chunk. Okay, that's really nice, actually. And, well, we... Mm, we should have done away with you already. So we can just... Rolling required ahead. And what is... Okay, we're back here. Don't think that puss of man can chase us. I may be about to eat my words. Okay. One, two, three, four, and... One, dodge... Okay, thanks. What did you... Twinkling Titanite and two of them... Two of them at that. Okay, and oh, knives, knives, I don't like that, I don't like that, and one, two, three, four, at least these come out fast enough to preempt their actual slash attacks. Oh, there, hello, and did I actually get you, or what? Not, mm hmm so I'm, weird, weird. I'm staying away from most of those guys, then, and I, come on, I, of course you made that work, you, what, what, and I, die, 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 okay. This should lead us around this way, and hopefully find some stuff. Drags ahead, and how much Twinkling Titanite do I have? Still not enough to upgrade something else to boss 3, but that's fine. Just in case we run into something else, let's put tears back up, but yeah. Three equip Fire Orb, put something else on. Ambush ahead, be wary of above. That doesn't sound good to me. Let's put the Power Flame back on here, and. Oh, fuck. Carthus Flame Mark, and then yeah, just Fire Orb on the other side. Uh, hello. And there you are, there you are. One, two, three, and a few more hollow rogues. One, two, three. But there are only three or so, which isn't all that bad. There you are, let's just run in and slam on your button. Not if you go behind me, but you died anyway because my tracking was just that good. Fine. Okay. And this is right here. Lord Soul, the name of Soldier, and this is clearly how we get back up on 
this rampart, I think, unless... Oh, another winged knight. Well, that's not fun, really. But actually, you've got these big axes, so... Dodge it. Dodge it. Oh, but you... Interesting. Inter okay, all right. And I... Dodge, dodge it. Do oh, well, I... I just went the wrong way. That's what happened. Dumb. Okay. Well, among other things, I've got enough to upgrade a couple of items, so... I think I'll take... Yeah. I could level up... There's Cell Sword, and there's... Right, and you have that Dark Sun Equip symbol to the top left of the actual castle. Really big in that symbol. I'm gonna go back, we're gonna level up a few of my items, and re-equip Fire Orb, and hope, pray, struggle, in hopes that something actually works with something. The big thing is... I can take that. And I think... What are Wing Knights weak to? Winged Knight, DS3. DS3. And how well of Lothric in there? Weak to... And they're actually incredibly weak to Dark. If only I had another attunement slot so I could put <laughs> Black Flame on there. Well, whatever. I, It's fine. So, Drang Hammers and a bit of... Maybe I could try Human Pine Resin just for the first kill. Ah, just good, wasn't he? How much do we need to take Drang Hammers? A bit higher. Could do Drang Hammers. That's actually eight right now. Oh, we did... I don't think we up actually upgraded Drang Hammers. No, they, we did. They're both a plus eight, but... Take a couple of things. No, no. This is... Cell Sword's it. This sword is it. Mm -mm. Cell Sword out again. So much is a plus seven, so we could take in a plus eight, and I do think. <laughs> do think we'll choose Cell Sword over the other options, frankly. These two of these. I think that'll give us 16,000 souls, which should be a decent amount for what we're doing. It's basically perfect. Okay. We're gonna level up our hammers, then level up our. And being able to actually see it not grayed out is good, but oh, we need a tiny bit more. Hmm. <laughs> In that case, I think another one of these Trauber Souls could be good. I alright. Thank you. Reinforce. Make these hammers even stronger, and we don't have the Twinkling Titanite or Omri Sword yet. Don't need the Thrall Axe. It's a funny idea. It's looking deadly, but coming a lot. Now this, it's taking a lot more than the Seltzer Twin Blades. I guess it's a rarer weapon. Makes sense. Go and that would be about 191, I think, at max. Don't have enough chunks. Then I could use a slab. That it is by far my best weapon. Quality scaling works well with enchantments. Right now, at least reinforce the flame and no more spell buff. Well, at least that we see. So either way, it should help when we, I don't know, boost our stats a bit more or. Who knows, really? Whatever. Okay. Then and then and then we could... Uh, let's see. Toon spell. We should put Karthus on here so that when we're fighting the Puss of Man, I can equip the Pyro Rate to kill them faster with Fire Orbs, maybe? Guess the question is, let's see real quick, if I unequipped this ring, spells removed, if I put this back on, would I get Flame Mark back? And I don't get Karthus Flame Mark back. Interesting. That is important to know for later. Go back to the Dragon Barracks and go back down over there, try to find that Winged Knight. Fire buff should still be good, even if it isn't perfect. How many swords with abandoned? What are they? DS1 PvPers? Quite frankly, probably. So we go up. Maybe I actually want to, quite frankly, put this ring on for now. Yeah. Then we can... Hmm. Probably put the Pyro Flame over here. We're going to be hopping down and fighting. Those other guys, we should just drop down here. Possum Man will be soon, but... Where are you? We're over there. We can toss the Fire Orbs. And... And there you go. And that should do a... What? What? Excuse me? Excuse me? And I, Oh, I forgot to put tears on. That's dumb. But can we... Can we... 
toss that down and yep that is a lot more damage by a country mile okay cool all we gotta do is toss our fire at you that easy cool not complaining okay. so actually in that case Definitely got to put tears on, but first of all, mm, what can I put in place of that? Actually, nothing right now, frankly. Mm -hmm. So no tears, but again, no we have our sacrifice ring, so we can just kill the other pus of man for a few more souls, I guess. Dodge and thank you, thank you. Cool, cool, and Ash it up. You are in a bad state. Cool. Toss that again, and oh goodness, I oh my, mm, I okay, cool, and toss, toss, and thank you. The time that just right, so that it keeps you stun locked, and oh that didn't quite work. And I oh really? Well you're dead. Goodbye. Fun. Pick up the item, and I assume we're not going to be using that many more pyromancies until we get back to a bonfire again. So it'd be a good time to use tears. That was strange. Well, whatever. Come on, come on. Let's simply cart this it up again, put them back on our funny hammers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The damage is truly impressive on that. I'm happy with it. It said there should be an ambush around here, so we'll have to deal with some of those hollow thieves. So get over here, we want to fight as few of you at once as possible, so one, two... Oh, but with the upgrade, it's a two-hit kill. Oh, that is really, really nice. Now these guys don't really stand a chance now, do they? Hopefully. Jump down and one, two, and one, two. Thank you, and one more of you. Gotta get that blood stand back now. Move in and slam, and... So the slam attack does pretty much exactly the same damage. Makes sense as the... And we want a Pontiff. Pontiff right eye again. Pretty much exactly the same damage as the... Normal, just Paradel 2. That was more or less what I thought, but it's still nice to know for certain. There we have it, and a... One good night over here. Dodge and... Mm -hmm. Good night, Great Axe, and... Dodge it. Oh my goodness. What the Sigma. Okay, I... Alright. Hmm. Gonna come down here, or what are you gonna do? You don't seem to be all that aggressive when I go away. But did I... So got this up, which is good. Come on. What do I want to deal with you? And where are you properly? I mean, maybe I could try spamming fire orbs or something. I want to be really funny, but... It... Okay, and one, two, and dodge, and uh, but I, oh, please, I dodge, and how much are you got? Mm -hmm. What? What? Huh? Okay, I thought I would have outranged that. I guess not. We need more tears. We need more tears, and excuse me. Huh? You're kidding. How far are you going to pursue me? Oh, whatever, I, okay. It seems like this might be, nope, nope, never mind, and I, what, what, uh, Please, you've got to be kidding me. Gonna fight me in this pit, or... Not. So this seems to be where... Where you end your pursuit. Huh? What if I... What if I... Mm -mm. Come on, and... So the overhead slam is actually... This one ends. The most punishable attack by a country mile. Damage is good, but it's just... Dodge and... One, two, and... Dodge... It's the only attack I can really reliably say. I can counter this. Dodge it. Oh my. Oh wow, I can. Can't counter that. Okay. It's just. My moveset is so fundamentally limited right now. Or in the sense of. Things I can actually punish are very limited. Two ends. What can I. Slash it. Okay, we need to. Oh wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that much damage from that end. Mm, all the way, I. Okay, and oh my, what, okay, luckily I lived that, but really, really, I, ah, oh, okay, that's just somehow briefly didn't work, weird, two, and 
three, four, five. Uh, dodge. And, oh, okay. Being a bit more aggressive could help us with this, but that buff is going to run out soon. Dodge. And, one, two, and one, two, and three, three, and one, two, dodge, and dodge, dodge. And, okay. That was exhilarating. Winged Knight Halbert and the large Titanite Shard. I think that Winged Knight probably... I think that Halberd was a guaranteed drop from that Winged Knight. Let's look at the description real quick, if we can find it real quick. That is Winged Knight Halberd. Swore themselves to the angels, thick heavy bullets, same one human strength, chain spin, so that's what they were doing. And I think we, ha we actually have enough strength to use if we really wanted to, it's just don't really want to. Okay, not much to glean from it. And let's just go over and hit you down, and two, three, four, now we've gotten all the way over here. It's just the sniper crossbow. Time for revenge. Yeah. Okay. So then in that case, the best way to get back to that bonfire would be going over here. Then we could get at least a level up. I think the chances of me being able to actually get to where I want to go, so to speak, as in should be able to get to 20 at Intelligence or Faith by the time I fight either Osiris or Armor. Because in the end, that's kind of the real reason I'm going through here. Get more souls. And more treasure, but, you know, counts. Decent amount more FP. Vitality, uh, it's not going to let me wield anything more. A lot better, but this will allow me to make better use of the flasks that I have, because... My Ashen Flasks are filling up my focus bar all the way. Which means that a significant portion is just getting wasted. Getting wasted? Well, you know what? When I can equip Great Swamp Ring and Pyromancer Ring... Is it Isolith or is it... Let's see. Is it called again? Got that over there and... Yeah, Witch's Ring. Witch's Ring. I can equip both of those without any real, real trouble. But I do have to take out I do have to take off the ring that makes me pretty. And that does make me sad. Okay. So we're gonna keep going. We went through that side area. You know, Italians love side areas. It's the only thing that gives them purpose in life. That's what I learned in history class, at least. And then we can mm -hmm. I, I will! I'm gonna be ugly now. Okay. Witch's ring, and then. Put Pyroflame in the other hand and toss a bunch of really strong fire orbs at all of these guys. And we do have our tears up, which is really good. Hello there, hello. And it broke a lock, interesting. And 506, wow. Okay, cool. Then more of that. As long as we can stay away, it's just. The fact that five fire orbs take down this enemy. And I know a lot of it is just because it has really strong fire weakness, but even still, it's really, really good. Big thing is, if I went down here, I would end up missing a lot of stuff. Oh, but maybe I should use Great Combustion. I don't know. I'll have to get back down here eventually anyway, so... Then we put our Pyroflame back on here, and we... Hmm, car this flame market up again. If only we could do it without anything in our hands and just enchant our bare hands. Now that would be fun. So now the executioner's coming out, which means we run away from the guy who shoots things and try to... Oh, but he's repositioning. That's not fun. See how best we can fight him. Okay, and just one, two, three, four, five, and one, two. Oh, but we need one more. I don't like that. Uh, okay. Maybe, oh, but I... Spin it. One more, thank you, goodbye. I could have used a Fire Orb, but that would require taking Pyroflame off of... Off of my... I would, it would require taking the shield down, and I didn't want to do that. Okay, get over close, I can totally stunlock you if I can get in at least once. Swing, and then one more, there we go. Don't have a fast enough recovery to compensate for that. And then we're getting close, and we'll be able to burn down the pusses of men on the dragons. I mean, the wizards. 
You know, in the end, it, does the distinction really mean all that much? Does the distinction really mean all that much? Yeah. Endurance, vitality, luck, and then one more level up, either faith or intelligence, and we'll be chilling. So that should be the Wyverns, but they're... Priority number one has to be the Wyverns, because after that we'll be able to go on the bridge pretty much freely. And there you are. Hello there. Oh, and you're throwing things again, and it's another Undead Hunter charm. How predictable. Okay, cool. Then just dodge out of the way of you and hit you with a hammer until you die. As one does. Very of critical foe. So is that the... A foe to use critical hits on her? You would think they might say try parrying. But that is what they said about Solovan, be wary of critical foe. That was because you should use critical attacks on him. If we've got those rings, and we can hmm, try some stuff against some of those wyverns, but which one is... Huh. Okay, so this arcade area is pretty much safe from the dragon's fire, but what else? And I, Oh, I... Oh, uh, another one of you? What? You're kidding. You've got to be kidding. I... Okay. How is there an Outrider Knight here? Whatever, I... Okay. Dodge, dodge, thank you, and I want to and dodge. Oh, thanks. And fire is good, so it's dark, and I dodge, and I. Okay, blow it up. I'll just take you down anyway. Pyromancies won't really do anything here, but that's whatever. I, okay, dodge and hit, and dodge and hit, hit, thanks, and I. Oh, please, and I dodge, slam down, and. I was not expecting to say you here, you imbecile, and I. One, two, and what, dot, dot, what, no, no, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We will run through again. We're going to put sacrifice ring on because I am not making that mistake again. I guess if we're going to use a few pyromancies, just to take out plus a man, we may as well have pyromancer ring on, maybe. I just, there's a chance that it kills me. Fred of the Voreal Valley. So does that make the other one we've seen so far shaggy? Since there are only three, then who would miss out, Daphne or Velma? Okay. I guess maybe that means that... Maybe that means that... The Pontiff Beasts are variations of Scooby and Scrappy. I'm taking this way too far. Okay. How do we wanna... Well, there you are. Thanks. And you're gonna transform, aren't you? Go ahead, turn into... Turn into a big guy. Then we... Mm, yep. It's actually a pretty big damage difference. I, I'm surprised. Those rings make a really huge difference in how much damage we're doing, and some of it might be because of how relatively weak we are right now, but even still, it's still kind of crazy. So, I guess Pontiff's Ring would be a good option. Yeah, it's... We've really gotten into serious mode. We can't afford to care about how pretty we are anymore. Okay. Now that's, that's how you know that things have gotten serious. They take off the pretty ring in the interest of, you know, not dying. Okay. Then, more executioner guys. Get over here, and there will be another one after I kill the first. Okay. Get over this way. Begging you. Just don't get in the spot where- wait, what? What? Huh? Okay, get over here. Get over here. Who's gonna chase me how and why? One of you has to chase me, and of course someone's throwing stuff from up there. It's so annoying. You will be able to kill him eventually, but just... What are you doing? Come on, just one. And... Go for a jump attack or something that I can counter. It would be. Frankly, it would honestly be more embarrassing to die pretty. Because you only like it when I kill ugly people. So if I die while I'm pretty, you'll be sadder. Well, that one was funny. The part, the time where I died naked, that was that was that was peak. There was no problem with that. And then and then another one, and you're gonna throw a firebomb at me, or I don't think so. Okay. 
So I go for another shot and... I, did that have any homing or what? Whatever. Gotta get our bloodstain back and then kill that Outrider Knight. I think that one is gonna drop the Irithyll Vapier. They all use straight swords, so it's weird that any of them drop anything different, but whatever. Okay, get that bloodstain and we got Pontiff Ring and our either Sacrifice to, though to be fair, I think. We should figure out something else other than Sacrifice Ring. Now that we've got that back. Something that would actually help me fighting that guy. I guess I could try using Human Pine Resin, maybe. I don't know. I don't have anything doing. Yeah, because if I could equip Black Flame right now, that would be really nice. Whatever. So what is a ring that I could really use? Stamina when guarding attacks, but they're not guarding, and there's a real stance. A real stance one. Huh. Damage negation is not going to be good for me. You know what, we'll take, we'll take a wood sword. Take a wood sword ring. That should be useful for us. That said, I should probably reapply Karthus real quick. This should hopefully be good for us. Okay. Oh well, oh well. And where are you dropping down from? So you just spawned in, basically. Oh, but no, you were over there. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on, you. Wait, actually, I think that might be the Poke Sword. No, it's not. It's not. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Oh, my. What? 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 I, okay. Interesting. And then we go away and try to... Mm, I might need tears again. Might need tears again for that. What? Okay, that was stupid. I wasn't able to use my Estus because I walked off of a cliff and it canceled the Estus animation? I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. That's ridiculous. Whatever. Okay. Well, maybe actually I should. But not having Dark Moon Ring is hurting me. Viscerally. Actually, what I could do is... No flame arc at all. Just, we go for black flame. Because the Pontiff Knights, I mean, the Outrider Knights, which aren't Pontiff Knights, are also very weak to dark. For whatever reason. It does make you wonder why, because none of them really have enough of a sort of god association that you would think that'd be the case. But in spite of that... So let's put our... Both of our pyromancy. Well, actually, right. We, until we get our stuff back, we need to have Ring of Sacrifice on. Cannot afford to cut things as close as I was before. Put our pyro back on and kill that guy. You know, I guess I could try to just kill him before he transforms, but that didn't work because that missed. All right, on. Okay. Then we. Keep on tossing fire orbs at you until it's no longer an option for us. Cool, and oh, well, you weren't stunned that time. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. So now we switch this out for Pontiff Ring again. So we gotta kill those executioners, and I am slowly losing my sanity. And I do mean slowly. I, I do mean slowly. Gotta lure some of the executioners over here and, uh, who can I deal with? One and, one, two, and three, four, five, and a couple more, and, okay, even without Karthus, that does reliably kill. That's good. Gotta lure you over here and, come on, executioner, I don't want to have to deal with you having range support when you're fighting. Two, three, four, and, oh my goodness. All right, I guess. One, two, three, four, and... Gonna shoot me again. Uh, well, shoot at me, and then I'll dodge, so you won't shoot me. One, two, and one more, because flame mark isn't up. Okay, cool. Let's Estus up, and then get our blood stain, and then equip our two pyrolated rings, and this should slaughter that Boreal Knight, I would imagine. That's there, so let's just switch to this with our shield up, and oh, right, there was. One more guy, that's right. Okay, whatever. One, two, three, no four. No four needed. Then we, maybe if we really wanted to, something we could do is unequip the hammers and then equip better armor. It's an option. Button and then fire, which was good before. So it's dark armor. Dark armor. There we go, dark armor. Oldest red eye invaders served a primordial serpent. Don't remember if I actually got that from the. Dark Wraith I killed or not. 
whatever. And you're over here, hello. Just dodge it. Oh, interesting, and all right, hit and, oh, okay, and dodge and go over there and, wait, oh, we don't have enough Estes for that, okay. Right, well, we don't have enough FP. Should have done that before. Okay, so then we, we're gonna come back up here. I don't really wanna get Frostbitten too bad, so. And what if we hit you and, okay, damage is really, really good, but I, mm, other things. The good thing is that until that happens, we can't be Frostbitten again, period. And that, mm, I, all right. Dodge, dodge, and dodge. Okay. Really, really good damage against this guy in particular, but hit and mm, mm, hit and boom, and he died. Took some damage. We got the Earthal Rapier and took that guy down. Thank you, Pyro Rings. Okay, so the question is, what's next? There was, I believe, a no monster ahead. Is this a mimic? Then it's not a mimic. Twinkling Titanite, and what if I punch it? Not a mimic. One of these has to be a mimic then. Twinkling Titanite. And thank you, thank you. And this is treasure, so clearly this is a monster. Presumably. So without a buff, I feel like Cell Swords is probably our best option here. We're overweight ratio, which means we take that off then. Okay. Come on, and what is. Neither of those are. Okay. I know there's a mimic somewhere, and that's what I'm getting all worried about. Spirit Tree Crest Shield. Then is there... There is nothing over here. Huh. Other than just that Boreal Knight and a few chests. Okay. Cool. We did go in that one illusory wall beforehand. The other one's around Osiris. So I guess the only thing left to do is find a way to actually hit those wyverns. I guess. Huh. Really get down there all that easily. Yeah, we could have tried using something like Flash Sweat. That probably would have worked, but... Hmm. Where do I go to kill the Wyvern? That's the question. And they do try going stuff, having stuff go back over here, and it does still hit me? What? Okay. You are insane. What? Okay. So that was a trap. Or in the sense of... I needed to probably run through the other side, and that would probably put me in the place. But I don't need Dark dark Flame attuned anymore, so we'll put you with old, I mean, Karthus back on. Karthus Flame Mark, and then we switch to the non-armor we were using before. I guess Archdeacon Gar would work a little better. It's trippier, too. And we put our hammers back on. We cast our stuff. Still looking goofy, but that's life. I mean, in the end, it's not nearly as bad as earlier Souls ones. I really just look old. Okay. So I... Oh, right, but it's not in the right hand for now. Oh, but to be fair, we're just running up. And, mm, yeah, because Flash White could be good, but I'm not intending to actually really get hit by anything in the first place. Okay. So we have that, and I guess we could probably try making this work. Among other things, what we could do is just kill this guy immediately. Unless we miss, which we did. Come on, and... There we go, okay. Not nearly as many souls, but at least I don't have to deal with that garbage. Okay. That was simple. Then we, I guess we could put on... Bring a sacrifice again, just because we have a big blood scene we don't want to lose right now. I I should have learned that far, far before, but you know. Better to learn a lesson late than not learn it at all. Then we fire on our hammers and... Oh, what? Okay. Oh. Didn't expect to be hit there. Then we can put our funny shield back up and we're the executioners over, I, I presume. Hello, hello. Get down here, go to a place where the arrow guy isn't going to shoot at me. Thank you, and one, two, easy enough to stagger, and one tiny additional hit needed. Thanks, and oh, you came down here. I was not expecting that. And, okay, decent enough. I think that's the guy we saw before in the area of the Outrider Knights, so. Come on, come on, just get over here. 
fall into my trap. And, okay, cool. Two, three, four, and what? What? Uh, okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and now you're shooting, but we can get out of the way in time. Then, and then. Once that bridge is just safe to cross, things will get significantly easier, to say the least. Okay. So we need to get that bloodstain back somehow. And it's down there, which is not a great place for it to be in. So in that case... Yep, thank you. We're gonna wait for that to go. It's in the safe spot. Wait for all of the fire to disappear. Oh, but you're gonna keep doing that until... Well, that sucks, doesn't it? So we need a really, really poor runner. Okay. Dragon is bored. Okay. So then we just go over there, get that, and try to run up, and try to just jump until... Yep, that was very, very close. Something else on the other side, I think, which I imagine would be the way to actually hit those dragons, but we'll see. Okay. Once so those fires are gone, we run. And if that dragon is more or less forgotten we exist, so we just... For a runner, get through and see how far we can get and... Okay, alright, and... Thanks, 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 and dodge, dodge. Okay, that was brutal. That was very, very brutal. So, I think... There's gotta be someone guarding this spot to make sure the dragons aren't just trivial to find and kill, so... Come on, and there's you, there's you, and... Oh, thanks. So that blew up a barrel, or was I? Huh. Let's see, and... Oh, interesting, fun, and I just gotta dodge, dodge, and, mm -hmm. there you are, there you are, just die, die, one, two, and someone query, there's at least one more here, okay, and all these guys are normal hollows, so I, okay, dodge it, dodge it, ah, that's annoying, and you have, you're still dead, good, huh, where am I gonna go and kill that wyvern, well, this is fine, Two more things, and is that a... Oh, right, that's the Puss of Man right over there. You can access it through that little spot. So that's how we're supposed to do it, and... Okay, cool. Just use, and there's an item here, clearly. Another item here, or... Uh, barrels. Black Firebomb. Then a couple more hollows, and then once we hit that Puss of Man... That'll be our weak point to use to kill the dragon. Okay. See her right there. I'm a soldier, so it's a dragon that's been, to an extent, I suppose, tainted by the abyss? Guess that's kind of like a deer. Okay, cool. And, oh, okay, and I, alright. Die, 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 and just a bit more. Just a little bit more. Yep, okay. Fire arranged battle. I guess so. I guess so. So in that case, we will... Equip our pure pyro stuff again, both of our rings, and got our blood seat back, so that's chill. Witch's ring, and which I believe that's actually basically the orange chart ring too. Okay, we don't really need flame arc anymore, we're just killing these guys. Clearly we see some of this over here, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. Plus a man, and did that hit or what? Did that... Okay, 32. So how am I going to activate that plus a man? Eventually it's supposed to activate. And... Where is... There we go. It's completely stationary. Which is good for us. 506. A bit more ash and flas. We aggravated its abyssal sore, I suppose. So we don't need to get any level of close to it. It doesn't have a single ranged attack. All we gotta do is keep tossing fire at this guy, and then the dragon will fall with it. There we go. That, yep, dragon's gone too, and good amount of stuff. Time that chunk, or time that shard. So the question is, how do I get over there on that side? To get rid of the other wyvern, and therefore make the bridge passable. You know, that's what you use pyromancy for. Use pyromancy, honestly, on enemies that are very specifically weak to fire. Works on a lot of things, but 
there's something with a specific weakness, you know, that's the best time possible. Oh, but I... Who is coming? There's somebody coming. It's not good. So I imagine that I have to get over. So there's the gate, and I have to open something. What is that shadow over on that side? I hear somebody. And that person is... Silver Weary Warrior. Okay, and now they're one of those red-eyed Lothric Knights. That is not great. Hmm. How many more dudes are over here, then? Exactly! But, to be fair, not everyone plays with a build that really has any access to elements outside of resins. So it doesn't get used as much as I do. And as much as I think it should. Because you could use resins or something to deal a bunch of fire damage to it and stun it, but... The best way is just spam pyromancies. Warrior of Monsters, so there it is. Don't have any of our stuff right now, so... There we go! Three and... Hit... Oh, but we don't have Pontiff's Ring right now. Okay. Fine, I guess. One, two, and... Oh! Well, that actually is really, really... Po really poise breakable. Not expecting the Mimic to be as vulnerable to poise breaks as it ended up being. Okay, and... Okay, did we... We didn't kill it, but... Got close. Now we can heal up and prevent that from killing us. And what's in here? Are you going to drop symbol? Are you going to drop symbol? Let's see. Tighten that scale and no symbol. I think if you... Reload the area, maybe. So let's briefly try quit and reloading and see if it makes it show up. It's possible. Possible. Because what the wiki said is that if you don't have it, but that just might mean if the drop never spawned, because we spawned the drop and just failed to pick it up, which would mean no symbol. It's supposed to come out here. Maybe, I guess, just the last one in the base game, which I believe would be the one here normally. Wait, what? Did it count as if we died? But it didn't even... There was no ring, and we didn't die. That's bizarre. Whatever. Take that and put on pretty ring. Okay. Pretty privilege ring. And then I... Hmm. Feels different somehow. I can't exactly tell how or why, but this place is... Seems a bit different. Oh, well, we don't have our tears up right now. We're back. We're so back. And die, die. Oh, but I... Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Silly. Uh -huh. I guess the big question is, now I can run through the back area, but I still it's still going to take a bit to make that all work. Okay. Well, that means we use this, and then... Yeah, we don't need the pyro rings if we're just going to use a ranged fire to just kill that puss of man pretty instantly. But we should still re-equip and go sacrifice. Okay. This is... We really are in the endgame now. I am afraid of what the DLC will be like then. And one of the dragons is now gone for good. Except this guy here. Hello. But... Wait, can we just... Yeah, we can just run through. Because it's dormant until the other dragon wakes it up, I think. How are we going to make that work? Huh. Interesting. For here is, okay, an amber. Not bad. Other items that will also... I guess they'll take all these embers. It is funny because... Presumably all these embers came from... Just people being burnt to crisps. Burnt to a crisp. Well, I guess it was plural. It would be burnt to crisps. I should be shot. Okay. Oh, but we don't have we don't have flame arc right now. That's right. Whatever. Okay. We do have tears, and that is more than good enough. A lot of Estes. So, where is where are you? Get in close. I guess yeah. I go for the guy's stuff with fire bombs first, but still. Oh hello. Die. And another hit because we don't have flame arc with us right now. Okay. Then we just okay whatever, and I. Mmm, can I... Oh my goodness, I... Thank you, thank you. Those ones are weaker, good. Raw gems and... Thanks, thanks. Mm. 
Gotta get that blood stain and the other stuff. And oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that attack to come out as fast as it did. Okay. Let's go up real quick, kill the other guys here. And that over there, there's a gate, which I presume I would be able to open if I went down there. But I don't think I should open that quite right now. We're getting very close. I think I can close out this stream by killing Dragon Slayer armor. Presumably. This Chaos Bed Vestiges is definitely going to be how I want to kill it. And you're over there, so just two, three, four, five. Once we get the drop on you, drop on you. But we clanged off the wall, and that was not as pleasant. So, Deserter Trousers and Tight Nut Scale. These hedges are blocking me more strongly than I might have expected. Yeah, but there's one more dragon, and I'd like to figure out how to kill that thing. Because one, it'll give us a lot of souls. Two, it would mean no chance of it doing annoying fire stuff on me. So, there's another one down there. What's this kill? Let's just kill him. And there's another red-eyed waft of night down there, too. And that's going to be a bit less fun to do, if I would say. So we go back up, we climb our ladder, and we chill out. Have fun. Huh? Oh, but we... Oh, interesting. They were coming back up. Thank you, thank you. How much more in? Got this where the dragon was, but there was nothing else there. That's the thing. Should be able to find a shortcut or something while there be silence. It's a fun message. So how would I get over there? Bridge up through here, or... Hmm. Maybe where that red-eyed author of night was? I, I'm not sure. All this over here, and... Don't think that's accessible. And this is... Tight Night Chunk, and did we... We did go down through here. That was... That gutter we were in before, with the... Puss as a man and the like. So in that case, just... Huh. Tight Night Scale. Because that gutter is the only way back there. So the only path available to me at the moment would then be trying to use... Yep, because we don't see its pass. Oh, and is that a flag just standing? Or Yeah, that is a flag just standing. I was wondering if it would pierce through somehow. So in that case, we just gotta run in, finish things out, and kill that Lothric Knight without any kind of Karthus flame mark or anything, and... Open that gate, hopefully lead the way to the other dragon, but not counting on anything for certain. Oh, but no, this is this is the one that opens the gate. It's good that I didn't drop down, because otherwise I'd be kind of SOL. Cool. So how do I want to do the rest of this? We got some stuff, but frankly, the best thing to do would probably be find a way back, maybe, and not use what I've got. A true dark point of right eye, but with this, I could kill this guy. And you've got a great sword, and that's interesting. I didn't know that was a, an option. Oh, but now you're, huh? Oh, and you've got a buffer. You got a buffer. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and dodge. How far are you gonna go? How far are you gonna go to hit me? This might be a better place to fight you. I'd say, frankly. Either way, we'll be faster this way, so... One, two, three, four, and... Okay, you are actually really easy to fight, because you don't have any defenses. Once we dodge an attack, we can just counter it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and... Okay. So a couple more hits will be good, but... Huh. Right, the blessed weapon was hurting some things. All right, and there you go. That was the easiest Lothrop Knight fight I've had this entire game. So what's behind here? Is this anything, or what? Is this anything? I feel like we should check for items around this way. Weirdly bigger on this side for some reason. Then, oh, this is... What are you? Okay, you've got a buff, because... Oh, because I guess it goes on all enemies, not just those ones. And then we have... Another author of night. Hmm. Finding a relevant shortcut is probably the best thing to be doing right now, frankly, but whatever. I... Hmm. 
If we kill that dragon, we can go pretty much anywhere with impunity. That would be the smartest thing to do. Avoid overextending ourselves. Yeah. So, this is oddly... Oh, Dragon Slayer Arm is just over there, actually. So that would mean... That's going to be our next fight. And what is this door? This is... Not one Sunlight Metal, but where does this elevator lead? Either way, it's without a doubt this door is going to lead to the dragon, I presume. We're actually... Wait, you're down here. Can we... This might be the best place. Oh, that's that's heinous. Let's re-equip our pyromancy rings and just kill this guy. It's actually already visible. Gotta put our witch's ring and the swamp ring on. Wait, what did I take off then if it was... Normally I've got... Right, Pontiff's Eye, Tournament Ring, and then Silver and Pontiff's always stay on. Usually with Silver, and then... So was the fourth that I usually had on. Because I just... I'm getting confused. I... Not Magic Quatch. Pontiff's Right, Silver Cat, Sacrifice. I'm, right, right, Pretty Ring, Pretty Ring. Pretty Privilege Ring. You know, what if I forgot and just never did it again, and therefore was actually stronger for Either way, we put our Pyro Flame back on, toss super hot fire at this guy down here. From up here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't get to see me suffer as much. And then why would you watch me? And there we go. Other dragon's gone. And... Thank you. Thank you. Ti two Titan Head Chunks and an Ember, so what do I want to actually... Level up, then. Guess I could do cell swords, I suppose, but... So what's up top here, then? What's up top on top? So we have this ladder, and I'm wondering what it would lead to. So there's that other bridge down there, but it wasn't actually the way to anything. Feels as if somebody is... Okay, there's this over here. Try projectile. Huh. I think over here, well, there's this. And yeah, we have the elevator back. Projectile's an option, but we killed the dragons, so who cares? And then, oh, well, interesting. Interesting. You are trying to take me out. That is not great. So if we manage to get you over here... Hmm, back up a little, where the arrow guys can't really reach me, and then one, two, three, four, five, and... Two more hits. Thank you. And one more, one more. And oh, I, all right, all right. Mm. Move in and slam, and there we go. That's all. So now we can just run through and avoid the arrows they shoot at us, and it won't be a real problem. But mm. one, two, and dodge. Oh, all right. I need to kill you. And dodge and dodge. Mm, that's tough. So what's going to be over this way? That's the question. And did you fall? Are you going to drop anything when you fall? It doesn't really seem like it. So over here is... Can we kick that ladder down, or...? No, we could have just always gone this way, huh? Wait, what? No, no, this just isn't a place we were before. I was confusing it with the other barracks area, but it's not the same. So in that case... It'd be cool if one of these was breakable, kind of like how... You had to break the glass in... Bloodborne to get to the Abritus fight after killing the Still Steel King. That could be really cool. But it's not what's happening here, it seems. And what's this? This is the Knight's Ring. And what does that do? I think that might be good for me. If it is a... Oh, just increases strength. Never mind. One of the pillar, three pillars of the King's Rule allowed to rear dragons. That king would be Oseros, who's this funny dragon-looking hybrid guy at this point. Oh, and another knight. Oh, so it definitely doesn't open from this side, does it? Okay, well, whatever. And cool, just one, two, three, four, five, and another hit. Thank you, good stuff. Come on, move in, move in. Try hitting me. Don't want your... Oh, what, what, okay. It's not expecting that. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I flask up and use... Oh, but I dodge it. Ha, huh, huh. ha. Dodge it. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five, and no more needed. Good stuff. Lord Shot and Short and a Lightning Gem. 
It's just looking back to where we were before, and then that... I guess dropping down to where that dragon was might show me something, and... Oh, this is Warriors of Sunlight! That's where we get access to actually being able to turn in things, and... I suppose eventually maybe get Great Lightning Spear? Maybe. Okay. Right, so that wouldn't have opened from the side. I didn't even bother checking, frankly. And, praise the sun. Aha, uh -huh, so we would have gotten that from there originally, I think. So you can get Warrior Sunlight from Undead Settlement, but you can't offer anything until you get around here. I guess the big question for me is, would I have been able to get Warriors of Sunlight Covenant Access from there if I hadn't gotten it at Settlement? My hunch is yes, actually, but still. Oh, and Orange Titan Night Shard and a Soul of the Crestfallen Knight. Then over here is... Is this just the spot with the Irithyll stuff? No, it wasn't. So what is this? Wire ahead. Oh, but what? No! No! What? At least it's close. Okay. Well, okay. That was really funny. I thought, I thought we had killed the final Mimic already. Guess we haven't. It's... Well, it's because... They f it feels like it's taking longer when you want things. That's what's going on. That's what I'll say. Because otherwise I would have to say that the world is actively conspiring to make your water take longer to boil, and that would be kind of preposterous. Maybe. Okay. Gotta go back, we gotta kill that Mimic so that I don't die. The nice thing is, is that even if I really mess things up, the big thing is I need to make sure I use the right prompt and don't accidentally activate the chest when I'm trying to get inside. Which would be a possible way to mess things up, and a pretty funny way for that to happen too. I can't get through there like this. To get up there, I need to go through this way, which is going to be at least a little painful. Oh, but I don't have Karthus, so that's right. I should go back and put up Karthus when mark again, frankly. Oh, but there are also other ways around into there, and going the long route would probably be better. Big thing is, is that I don't need any kind of... My pyromancies are not the most important thing right now, as in terms of damage, aside from, you know, Karthus Swaymark, which means I can pretty freely... Oh, but I don't have the right ring on, that's right. Take these off, put on. Pontiff. That's the one I guess we'll switch between, depending on situation, then Untrue, untrue Dark. Thank you. I mean... Wait, wait. Right, right, the Tomb and Ring. Saints Ring. Then we... Tomb Carthus and Prey. We need to avoid as many of those Lothar cats as possible. Because the chance of them killing me, even with Tears Up, is much higher than I would like. So I gotta go the long way around again, which I guess is nice for... I don't know, getting a modicum of additional souls, but even past that, it's silly. Come on, come on. Through here, do not want to go through that gate. I do not want to go through that gate. In the end, I guess I could just run through, ignore everything here, most of the things here. It's an option. Probably the one I'll use, but die and... I mean, dodge, dodge, and... Okay, we're staying out of the way, then. Staying completely out of the way. Then how far are you going to pursue me? That's the real question. So we're basically back here, and that's good. Hello, hello. Oh, we never actually interacted with that elevator. That's right. And that up there was just a way to actual Warriors of Sunlight, so... Make sure that we grab this. Somebody's still following me. I think, I think he gave up. I hope. Okay. One, two, three, four... Five, six, and just dodge. Thank you. We gotta get this back. Because the stuff you get from... Oh, wow, that was really good damage on that kick. Okay, dodge. And, huh. One, two, three, four, and... Hit, and a couple more. There we go, dead mimic. How much are we gonna get? Oh, nice, what flavor? Some light straight sword, and that's just Solaris sword. No special power or anything. Cool reference, though. Then we Braille Divine Tome of Lothric, and that would allow us to get Divine Pillars of Light, I believe, which is useless, but also, I think, I think, right, that's Blessed Weapon, if I recall correctly. Beef? What about beef? What are you saying about beef? 
Oh, oh, is in the flavor. I thought you meant you had beef with your ramen. Like you were mad at your ramen. Okay. I am... I'm losing my grip on my sanity. I mean, I'm losing my grip on reality. Oh my goodness. Where are you? You're right there. That's really, really bad. So there are a few more Lothric Knights. Guess I'll take them down for... Old time's sake, especially since Greatsword Guy is not really a big issue. Wait, what is up here? I didn't go here. What's here? Huh. Thank you, thank you. And what is this? This is... Ah, uh, rolling. Mustard coin, and... This place is a lot more complex than I expected it to be. It's not a bad thing, it's just... I thought it basically would be over. Whatever. I mean, other than that one cutter I had to drop down, remember to drop down with the other, with those pus mans in them, but that's whatever, really. Hit, hit, and two, and hammer slam, and thank you. When you heal your, get your weapon up, we'll just use that as an opportunity to take you down, because you have no additional poise or anything. Fun. No, I think it was just... They made Dark Souls 3 to appeal to the Italian market. That, that's what it is. Maybe. Probably. So we have a lot of S's to burn, so we'll just use that. Come on, and anything over here? No. Oh, there's something. This is one ember. There are lots of embers around here. I guess so you can actually use them for the health bonus near at endgame. And we got... One more Lothric Knight over here. One thing we can punish is that thrust. Dodge and slam. Thank you, and dodge out of the way of that. Thank you. This is slow and painstaking, but whatever. I, okay, dodge and slam it. Thank you, thank you, and can we hit and... Okay, cool, I guess, ish. Okay, one more big slam when you charge in. Should do it. And another. There we go, cool. So now we can explore the rest of this area without having to worry about people just killing us. There's that elevator that I do need to deal with. And enough souls to actually level up. Enough times to use cast but vestiges, I believe. But, and this will make me sound stupid because it is stupid. I don't want to use it right now because... I would have to go to a bonfire to go back to Firelink, and that would respawn all the enemies in here. And right now, we can kind of take our time with a lot of things and not have to worry about getting attacked from behind. We cleared out the area more or less for now. I want to be able to take advantage of that as long as I can. So what is over here? This is... Wait, wait, this... Oh, okay. This is back from that bonfire, okay. Back from the entrance, and I actually didn't even see this. I didn't even actually see this. I was too distracted by... Tried to not get killed by that one knight. And the two other knights who showed up pretty much immediately afterwards. God bless this game. God bless this game. Though to be fair, it's such a long trip up, frankly, that... I'm not sure how much more convenient it would be than going some other way. Well, whatever. This and that... Little gutter area are the last things in Lothar Castle that I need to deal with in any way, shape, or form. Other than, of course, the boss. So, there was... It was a ring, wasn't it? This is... a oh, treasure. Can I... Contraption does not move. Where are your finger? Because, yeah, don't... Don't get your finger stuck in the gears. It's like all those messages that said, try licking next to the icicles in fro Frozen OAM voice in Dark Souls 2. So clearly that must be from Grand Archives, I presume. And that, if the Dragon Slayer is over here, and that, so that would be Grand Archives, and I presume that would be the bridge to Lothric, so we're kind of underneath, I mean, the Twin Princes, kind of underneath them right now. So all we gotta do is go back to that gutter area, but wait, that, is that... Oh, you can actually drop down there. It's kind of crazy. It's actually really crazy. So that means is, at least for the moment, we need silver cats so we don't die. I assume this fall is survivable. I presume it would be, and that is more high wall, more forest down there. 
How do we glow -y? Oh. Then we can survive that fall without taking any damage, so... Flame arc, and is that... No, no, everything in settlement is really far away. It's interesting how you can see how much, so much coastline, and that is... Oh, that's Consume King's Garden. That's where we were. It's the dice with that... Dice with that... <sighs> Cathedral Knight, so over there would be... Osaros, and therefore that would be Untended Graves, and that's just where it dumps out to Firelink. Because Firelink is actually... Untended Graves is just a world state of Firelink. If you... Oh, Kythus Chime is right there. We... That could be useful, but it'll be a while until we run into anything that actually... We actually want to use Dark against, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Much to think about. So in that case, we'll put on Pontiff's Ring again and... Replenish Flame Arc? Sure. Guess I just wonder how I'm gonna get back to where I was from here. And then... So those two are actual knights who will fight if I try to hit them and... Oh, but I... Oh my... Oh my goodness. What? Huh? Okay. Oh, that actually... I was there before. That was... Ah, uh, now I see. Now I see. Now I know where that was. And I actually forgot when I was going down to that gutter. There's that side part with a couple of Lothric Knights so I completely ignored. And that's... That's where they are and how you get to them. Interesting. That said, to get back to where I was fastest, it would probably be best to... Go back here and try to pull a runner around that one Lothric Knight. That said, given that the elevator isn't down right now, there'd be a long wait. I have to make sure he doesn't kill me in the meantime. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for now, we use tears. We rest again real quick. This is getting dangerous. I just... I guess I could and should have that Ring of Sacrifice up again, because that blood state is truly heroic in size. Oh, but actually that... No, it's the Dancer one. It's the Dancer one, not the... It's right. I forgot that the first Lothar Castle bonfire isn't actually an Lothar Castle at all. Okay. Oh, but we could just drop down here. Yeah. Okay. Get back around there. Yeah, but those two Lothar Knights over there are really, really... Just got hedged in by it, and that is not fun. Go over, kill them, explore the little bit remaining of the gutter, and I guess... Kaifu's chime is good, but... Oh, but does he, does he notice me? He doesn't notice me. They made sure to make sure you could survive that, and that's good. Just run through without being detected by that Lothric Knight and just wait for this hilariously long elevator to come down. There we are. I hear something. Goofy Creek. Yeah, it doesn't just have a long distance to go through. It sure takes its sweet time as well. So I think there's probably a contraption key or something. That a contraption key that unlocks that other elevator. I don't think it would just be going from the other side. It's the fact that it's already down there, that the elevator is already down there, suggests to me that it's a little different. Oh, okay. Okay. And we're more or less back. Okay. Nice. Right, so. Roll out, so we can use it faster next time. Go through again. Reclaim our bloodstain, probably go back some other way. Or actually, maybe we keep Ring of Sacrifice on so that if we die, it doesn't really matter. Maybe. For now, just thinking about changing out Sacrifice for Solicon, but I guess I really have a platform to miss out and just fall off. I don't want to risk that. Okay. So, what if we... Let's try that out. Pontiff Eye, and then still got that equipped. Karthus it up. Not like that. Not like that. Kaitha's... Kaitha's Chime is the best Dark Chime. We can already use it. Goddess of Tears, Rare Among Korean Clerics, Intelligence Rare Thing for Catalysts, Wing Toward the Dark, Concealed the Name of the Archbishops, as it is Anathema. So I guess the next time we run into something that might be Dark Week, which quite frankly, I'm not sure might even happen. We should use that thing. Hello there, hello, and just go out of the way, and oh my goodness, how do I want to deal with you? Gotta see who I can maybe hopefully fight one-on-one. -on -one. I feel like at least one of these guys probably is some sort of 
notable drop, and I- Oh, right, and I- Okay, cool, I- Alright. Hmm. Let's just- They keep sacrifice up and kill us. We can just leave. Well, oh. Okay, cool. That's good. That's all I really care for at that moment. Let's go back this way, back through this gutter area. Pick up that one item. Go back through the side, try to get a few more level ups, and chill. Good thing he didn't notice me. Go back to Firelink, get a few level ups. I guess the question is, like I said, going through Lothric Castle is what I really need. Because I'm not interested in fighting Osiris and Gundyr until I've got Lightning Spear. Which I will have soon. Let's solve up real quick and... Level up Vitality, Endurance, good more, amount more stamina, and then luck. We need a little bit more. Which, we will have 20 just in time to take down Dragon Slayer armor. Okay. As long as we stick with this, we'll be chilling. Go back to Dragon Barracks. Kill those couple knights, try to get some free hits as they're getting up. Get Chaos Bed Vestiges, spam it against Dragon Slayer armor like it's going out of style. Which, to be frank, it might. And then, we'll be good. We'll be Gucci. Do I wanna... Hmm. Right, that Ring of Sacrifice is broken, so... Big thing is, if we're gonna be killing the... Ah. Uh, killing those Pussa Man the right way, I mean, the... The fair way, we should... Do like this. Also, what I wonder is... I've got six Titanite Shards, which is not enough for... Not enough to take my Flame to plus nine, which... Could be nice for the fight, but I don't think it would be strictly necessary. It is what it is. Down here we have a drop down, which we can use to get to the item down here, which is... What is it? Oh, an undead bone chart, so it's really good that I got that. Okay. We go around, and anything else here? No, nothing. That's fine. Hello, old friend. Just turn into a puzzle man so we can get a bunch of souls from hitting you. Thank you, thank you. Just keep doing this. And two more should do it. Two more should do it. Thank you, thank you. And before you can chase me out of the room, you just do that. And that's all. Cool. That'll be enough for one more level up. No, actually, almost barely just not enough. What we'll do is we'll kill this other guy, kill the guys around there. On the way back, and then we take out... Uh, the two author knights over there, in that corner, and then we chill. That'll be all. One more one. Oh, but I, mm, mm, I... That was really, really annoying. One more, and that's it. Cool. Go back up, pretty much in full, and it's time for hammers. Thank you, thank you. So we switch that back to... There, and... Pontiff and the Pretty Ring, because we're not going to be using any of the rings normally, so to speak. Yeah. Epic pretty ring. It's just... If I'm too ugly, it makes me want to cry. Okay. Put on Karthus and take down the rest. Oh, but there was... Aha! Uh -huh, I should have checked because of the glow. Lightning urn? That was an oddly obnoxious aha. Uh -huh. I apologize to anyone who may have been adversely affected. Okay. Oh, but weird, weird. At least you're dead, and... Mo -mo 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 -mo. Okay, and die. A few throwing knives, and... More should be coming shortly, so... Just drop down, and we kill him. Cool, cool. Got you, and a couple more over here, so let's try to use the terrain to force them to come over to me. That one doesn't know I'm here, but that might be good, because it means we can just... Hammer slam! Goodbye, goodbye. There we go. So then we just go back around this way, because we don't need to fight that other winged knight. A few more Lothric. Actually, actually, if we're, go mm -mm, if we're going down, maybe arguably, could be best to just use those souls now. But that said, we'd have to fight that Pussa Man again. If we came back, and I don't exactly want to do that at the moment. There are two Lothric knights, and... Huh. 
wonder if Lothric Knights are weak to Dark. It would make sense for them to be. That said, it's the jury's kind of out on whether they're actually human or not. Hello, hello, and just... Oh, well, I did not expect or want that. Okay. Get over this way and... Spin and... One, two, three, four... Oh, but you... Okay, thanks. Guess who has to go all the way back? Me? Okay. Oh, but I also didn't have... Shield equipped, it's whatever. Yeah, so we're clearing out this little area. Going back to kill Dragon Slayer Armor. Once we can equip Cast Bad Vestiges, which, according to a lot of people, is pretty much the best power mats in the game. The big thing is, it does, it is pretty FP hungry, if I recall correctly. So I'd want to reallocate a lot of my flasks to Ashen. We'll see how it goes. So we flame mark up again, we kill these guys, kill the knights, put them down as fast as humanly possible, and hope that that works out for me. It might. Hopefully it should. So then we just go over here, there's another executioner who actually, this might be the best place to fight this guy, because the arrows can't reach him from here, I would imagine. Thank you, and one, and another. There we go, and you hit me, but I don't really care. Hello, friend. Not really. Oh, but we actually sort of crouched under. That, that is quite cool. So the only guys are right here. So let's see if we can get the drop on them and see if they might drop something of real note. Don't really think they would, but still. The approach is slow as we can and then just two and thanks, thanks, and oh, what? Okay. Hmm. Got a good amount of health down, but just got to... Let's see what we can kill. Uh, spear one is going to be easier to blitz down. I think we might have to run away until they lose aggro. And they sit down again, hopefully. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure that's even an option. Let's get over here. Get over here. And I... Go for an attack and just... Oh, well, I... What? What? Huh? Okay, that didn't one-tap me, so I still have tears up. It's still... I, wow. Okay. Huh. Get over here and no more blessed weapon, which is nice. One, but you totally healed yourself because you had blessed weapon up. Dodge it. Okay. Use blessed weapon again or dodge it. Okay, hit and roll and set. That was adrenaline. Okay. Did you drop? Just a large shine knight shard. So the only thing left is going to be kill the one final Lothric knight over there. Who only the sword ones and great sword ones can use blessed weapons, so it seems, so this shouldn't be horrible. Is there anything else over that way that they were blocking off, or this is just it, I think. One, two, three, four, goodbye. Okay. And that's all. Okay. So what that means is we go back to a bonfire, we level up at Firelink, we equip great we equip cast bed vestiges, which I took from Old Demon King's Soul, pretty much for this specific occurrence. For this specific fight, basically. Oh, and also, I guess, the Undead Bone Shard getting used won't really do much, I imagine, but it's still nice. Yeah, because 50 more, 50 more HP is still pretty relevant in terms of... It's, it's either 50 per... 50 every time they go from... 50 between 8 and 9, and then... 9 and 10, or it's 25 and they sum to 50 additional. Either way, it's not bad. So we burn the shard, we level up our intelligence one time, get a little smarter. You change your position. So let's get our intelligence to 20. Finally, I did not mean to bump into you, quite sorry. And then, farewell, Wings Guide V. Then we can good spell buff. Put that in our other hand, keep our shield equipped, and this is all we need. Can equip as much armor as we want to. Let's attune. How much is Chaos Bed Vestiges gonna, gonna take? I imagine it'd be two. Yep, there we go, and these are the only spells we're gonna need. Chaos Fireball is an idea, but not a great one. And there we go, and that it's actually not that bad. So, the big AoE on that is not just for show, but it's the central projectile that does the most damage by far. It's a lot of Estus and... 5 and 9, actually 6 and 8 should be 
everything. More than enough. And then we will. Oh, but we need Saints Ring. So this does mean we're going to be ugly for this fight. This is kind of sad. We need Great Swamp and we need Witch's Ring. And then we can equip actual armor somewhere, I believe. I guess if we're using fire, you know, fire, which would be kind of fitting. Northern is... I guess this isn't hideous. Quite frankly, it's funny how often this thing has been useful for me, considering how little I like how it looks. So we go back to... That's basically the start. We go back to the Dancer Bonfire, go up, and we can fight armor. Hmm. Question is... I know armor is weakest to physical out of all strike out of physical damage types. But what am I doing? I guess I press something. Whatever. Dragon Slayer armor. Wait, did I light that on fire? Let me see. Armor. Slayer armor on wiki dot and it is. It is weakest to fire. It doesn't have specific weaknesses. Strike and fire are good, so I could try flame arc on it. But it's annoying enough that I probably want to stay away if at all possible. And what did we... Did I burn that, or... I'm not sure. Let's actually reload the area real quick. Because I did accidentally use a pyromancy when I quit out and tried to, ro tried to load something, so... Let's see real quick. And see if I can rewind that or something. Oh, but right, I forgot to... <sighs> forgot to burn that bone shard. That's right. So, going back was a good idea, but I forgot the reason. I, I'm losing my sanity. Okay. Go back and... Yeah, I think... It does actually light that on fire. If you burn these other things too, they also... Interesting. That is really weird. So what else can I try torching? Oh, so it lights up the room more or less for the dancer fight. Fun. Yeah, it lights up as you keep going. Now that's cool. Well, the big thing is, once I kill Dragon Slayer armor, I presume, and I may as well use an ember for the extra health. Got 13 on me. Okay. Burn the Bone Shard, and... So one more Estus Shard and one more Undead Bone Shard will take me more or less to where I need to go. As in, that'll be maxed out Flask Restoration and maxed out number of Flasks. So we're pretty much, pretty much at full. And I think I would like to get that sort of power up before going on to the DLC. Not that crazy. It is funny that I went in to try to get stuff like Frozen Weapon, but never really ended up using it. It just... I think it was just too inconvenient for me to use, because a lot of enemies are weak to Frostbite, and it shreds a good amount, but my damage isn't as bad as you might think, or as I was expecting, and quite frankly, I only really needed that if my damage was weak. And also, if I... Big thing about it is that in theory you would be using pyromancy or some sort of fire damage to reset the frostbite if you're using frostbite for damage. But switching between some kind of pyromancy and a weapon with frozen weapon equipped would be it would be like juggling, which I can't do. Okay, here we are, right in front of Dragon Slayer armor. And spamming Chaos Bed Vestiges should hopefully be our way to victory. Doesn't have a crazy weakness like Dancer to the Dark, which is part of why Black Rent is so good. And quite frankly, Bludgeon might end up, or Strike might end up being better. And you can see the Pilgrim Butterflies right there about to use Dark and stuff to augment the fight. So there we go. Good deal more HP, actually. And that is Rocky. Well, oh, the Cestus guy, because he's Rocky from Rocky. From Rocky. So, and there you are, Dragon Slayer Armor. Hello, friend. And just dodge, and... Oh, that's good damage. I... Okay, but... Interesting. Okay, cool. And we can just heal. That is... Very capable damage. What's interesting is this guy is... Kind of like Wolfenstein from DS1. Kinda. Emphasis on kinda. 
But oh my goodness, this is dealing really, really good damage. You don't have your shield up, which is nice. So then are you gonna call your call your friend? Yeah, you're calling your friend. Okay, dodge it. Can we mm, what are we gonna do? Oh, but oh it, what? Uh, you can do that? You can break the railing and send me plummeting to the ground below? Okay. You know, it's really funny, because that fight was going incredibly well. It's honestly kind of hilarious. Because I... I didn't even need that much Ash and Estes. It's just, if I kept my distance... And the interesting thing is that Armor was really only using his shield as... a battering weapon. Which means that... I didn't have to worry about him actually... Well, or it, I suppose, because it's... It's just an empty suit of armor. It might have originally been the decidedly male Ornstein, but in the absence of an occupier, who can say? But as I was saying, that was... We were outputting really good damage very easily. It's kind of a shame that I'm pretty sure nothing else is going to be really weak to fire. Weakest to fire, man, because... Well, actually, we have the walls in Ariandel, but they're not much of a boss to begin with. And yeah, it's Osiris and Gundir, Nameless King. It's nice we can use bad vestiges now, but this is going to be the last time it's relevant, really. Okay. Cool. Go in, use another Ember. Yeah, cause it's not like they killed us by hitting us, it's just... We died to... Oh, goodness. We died to fall damage, and... Come on, come on. They're actually pretty predictable, too. That's where we have the archives, plainly, and... Boom, it... Okay. Oh, we staggered with... We staggered with that. That is really, really nice. Okay, there we go. Need a bit more of that. Then, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? More Ash and Estes. Cool, and you're gonna call your... Call your friend and... What? Okay, cool. That was a nice dodge. Pilgrim Butterfly should be... Okay, but you're actually using your stuff more accurately now. So the Pilgrim Butterfly should join the fight, and you're also using your shield. Uh, okay, well, whatever. I Boom, and dodge, dodge, and... You gonna slam or something, or what are you going to do now? I... Okay, well, and just... Let's use this to keep things out of the... What? Okay. It's basically Firestorm. It's an interesting way to make the fight harder. Either way, a few more strikes should make this doable, I imagine. Okay, and... We're good, we're good, and one more slam, thank you, and then a couple more, a couple more, I just, dark attacks, dark attacks, and, and one more, one, oh, please, come on, I, vestiges, vestiges, and boom, not bad at all, second try, cool, so the path to Grand Archives is open now, and quite frankly, I think that'll be it. And the Pilgrim Butterflies are going away, too. Bye, I guess. See ya. Oh, wait, so... What's interesting is that it's not until the Pilgrim Butterflies themselves die that you get the souls for it. Which makes sense, because the Pilgrim Butterflies were controlling the Dragon Slayer armor. Let's see... And for whatever reason, they're not in any kind of real order. In Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, they were ordered more or less in the order you'd fight them, but it's so idiosyncratic, I guess... The Lord Souls are all at the end. Supposed to extract its true strength. Controlled by the Pilgrim Butterfly. Exactly. Lets its master one go, but still remembers their sporting hunts. You know what? You know what? I like... I like the idea of doing... Four bosses. We got to the end of Untended Graves. More or less. Fine work. Bonfire and then bonfire. Yep, because there's another bonfire basically right after this. So. That. Apparently a lot of people have trouble with that boss. And I bet it's because me melee builds just kind of get no sold by that one. Either way, I think. You can level up a couple of times. And after that, I see. Mm -hmm. Level up and let's see how this a bit more faith, and then... Sure, let's take Dexterity, so we can actually use our Dream Throat Spears. Here we go. Name's Guide the and we can finally use... After a few... Actually... 
Last time was Aldrich and a bit of Irithal Dungeon. It's only been a couple days equivalent in terms of, you know, days we played before we were able to use this thing. What is interesting is that I'm pretty sure that they're best with a hollow infusion. Oh, but they... They are standard in thrust. So only some of these are actual thrust in the combo. So what is... Charge. I... I think I know what you're referring to. I've never seen Breaking Bad. But I'm pretty sure I know what you're saying, and I don't like that. But now we have Twin Spears, which is really, really good. I think... I'm gonna go kill Osiris, which shouldn't be all that bad, and then that'll be the end of things today. Not bringing these a good deal, but I think Hollow Infusion should actually be my strongest option. Got so many shards, but what's interesting is that apparently it seems we can access the ones from storage when we're operating. Interesting. And then we eat Titan Night Chunk and Twin Spears plus seven and Celsius Twin Blades, and that would take it to gets the questions. Let's check our infusions, because I'm pretty sure that Hollow is actually the best option for the Twin Spears. Which is interesting, but it makes sense, because they have very good scaling already, more or less. Heavy, and that's literally less damage. You lose damage with that. Sharp is... Okay, you gain a bit of damage. That would be... Let's see... 246, 246, 246, 228, 246, Raw's bad. It's already better than Raw, 246, because we've got good stuff all out. Then, oh, but we need to give him the coals for the infusions, that's right. Giant Skull, Blacksmith of the Gods, Profane Coal, the fire that burned down the Profane Capital in an Isis Skull. Peaceable giant, ace pass, passing long ago, miss the old bugger. And that is what suggests that Andre was the original Andre from DS1. Cole's put to good use. Foreseen likes to use. Humble respects. A profane coal. A palmless coal. Two darks to be visited. Turn down the request, forget not. Flame your fellow kin like mine. Cursed fate this may be. Hope remains, is it not? So, yet we can infuse our twin spears with hollow now, which ultimately is the best option. At everything equals 90, 999. Gives it some luck scaling, so that would be right 246, and right now this is 231, but it would also increase our luck when we're holding it. It scales with our hollowing. No, it gives us a luck bonus scaling with our hollowing, and a decent luck scaling bonus, which is not actually displayed. Okay, cool. Hollow Drain Train Spears. See my work squandered. Said 231, but let's see. Got these equipped, and it. Hollow. Hollow gem. But in the end, we'll be chilling. Right now, actually, I think. Does it convey. Yep, it does convey that's like what. I got a slight luck bonus due to my hauling, but. Wait. Oh, I think it also scales based off of upgrade level 2. So it would actually get a lot better as time went on based on what we were going to do, but the big thing is we should attune. We can attune Lightning Spear now, which is quite nice. Don't have any other Lightning Miracles to use, but that's life, I guess. Who do I want to... I guess that'll be all I need for now. We're just going to be running straight into Osiris' arena. So none of that, just... Just, we're just well actually we'll be doing a little bit of suppose we can keep Karthus on there because we will need to kill a few things to get there we'll be chill we don't need to don't need to do more than we absolutely have to oh JR658 how are you doing I saw your fall much appreciated how are you doing I just beat Dragon Slayer armor if you're familiar the goal right now is to go back to I'm going back to Consume King's Garden, which I was in a little briefly before, and beat up, beat up a guy. It is interesting, because I thought that I'd be doing Lothric Castle next time, but we actually got through it a lot quicker than I expected. 
So how do we want to... I guess hammers are good. Hammers are still my highest AR by a country mile. Okay. Hmm, no, I didn't upgrade those. The big thing is... About to be fighting a relevant boss, I believe. So... Take that off, put on... Morn's Ring, and then... It's funny that this one is more ornate, but is actually weaker than Sun's First Born. Out of worship, is statue of punishment for foolishness, look at the animals of history. Animals of... not animals, animals of history, which is why Nameless King has no name. We got her all right, but we need to... We need to use our tribe for tears, so that's right. Also, you can light you can light the wood in here on fire, which I was not aware of. It's quite cool. I did not. I got rid of it because I'm going to be using a pure miracle build for this fight. And what that means is I really need those miracle rings. Because Osiris is... Maybe I could try something like Spellplate Ring to take less damage from his magic. He fights like Seath. He's basically the equivalent of Seath the Scaleless in this game. But it is what it is. We'll be fine. And, oh, but I... Oh, but if I'm using Priest Charm, I should probably actually... Yeah, it's only at plus four. I need to go back and double that thing up real quick. Me being stupid. Yeah, who'd have thought it? So we go back, level up, a couple of things... The big thing is that eventually, in theory, I can maybe wait until I got Crystal Shine from Grand Archives. I might do that for Gundir, maybe? We'll see. Gotta go back and level up my Shine for now. So Priest Shine would be best for buffs, so that if I don't have any buffs I can really use right now, but it's a lot of faith, so... We got more than enough of all of these, so... Arch Titanite, Arch Titanite, and... Sure, a tight night chunk. But, oh, it doesn't seem to have actually increased the spell back there. Well, whatever. We'll get plenty of more tight night chunks when we go back to other areas, so I'm not in any kind of hurry. So we go back to the Dancer Bonfire, put our tears up, and then rush as fast as we can past everybody and consume King's Garden using the side pathway, especially those stupid cathedral lights. And then we will write, right, it's in here can use this, it's survival at 1 HP if you would otherwise die. Which is good on single big hits, but if enemies do big hit combos, it'll probably still kill you anyway. Especially if it doesn't knock you down. If it knocks you down, then it'll be knocked down invincibility, but if you aren't knocked down, they'll just hit you again. It'll be, you know, 1 HP. Any hit will kill you. And if you're poisoned, then it won't do anything for you anyway. But So... We're just going through, killing these guys on our way to the bonfire. I mean, on our way to a funny... The former king of this place, Lothric, who is... Well, the place is Lothric, there's a Prince Lothric, but the, the king, the former king, is Osiris. If I had upgraded those hammers, that would have been a single combo kill, but that's life. Come on, get down here, get down here, and finish your combo, and kill. Cool. We don't have flame marker clip, but that, that's fine. So, just kill you. And that was the last hit we needed, so... Let's make sure we don't shot, get shot in the back or anything, so we have as much as we need for the fight. Go down here. Kill the one hollow that shows up when we drop out midway through the elevator. Then, once we step through that whittle area, it should hopefully be... The fight against Osiris. See how it happens. Back to the garden, and yep, it was still off a castle until we stepped out here. So we just kill this guy, and oh well, whatever. Thanks, and we missed. Okay, so all we need to do is unequip this. We are at basically perfect weight ratio right now. Make sure we have our chime and our lightning spears up, and run through to kill. Dodge it. Oh well, all right. I was not expecting that. Oh, but actually, it's actually just a normal fog wall. I was not expecting that part. We can hear him moaning. That's not good. Oh, and we got a cutscene too. But this guy was apparently originally just a generic sort of dragon acolyte or dragon peak, an area we'll get to later. And the role the role of King of Osiris, King Osiris would be occupied by Gundir. I didn't know his voice was so deep. And 
invisible baby. Though to be fair, he's not holding anything at all. Originally in cut content. Interesting, very Steve like. Mm. Originally, originally. Hello there, hello. Okay. Hmm. In that case, let's see. And we should heal up a little bit, and... How much damage are you gonna deal to me? And... Oh, I was barely too far away, and I... Don't, oh, wow, okay. Huh. Let's do that. That swipe is good, but the damage we're dealing is actually a little... Little... Leaves a bit to be desired, frankly. And we can hear the baby very slightly, and I think it's implied that... Well, in cut content, originally he would accidentally crush his own invisible baby. Oh, but wh what? Okay. Never mind. This is taking more than I would like. And the head is... Huh. Dodge and scroll. Show yourself. What if I use... What if I aimed at the water? Hmm. Aimed at the water. Free aimed it to... Oh, but it's not actually making the sort of static creep that a lot of lightning would otherwise do, and oh, interesting, I, and that is, is that curse, or is it, huh, well, the good thing is that you are not that threatening, if we can engage you from range, you can't do much to me, and what now, what is this, okay, okay, so I guess he did crush his baby, as one does, I guess. So frankly, the big thing is... Oh, and he's... Oh, wow, I... Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Ooh, okay. So we... Mm, mm, uh, what? What? Okay, and I... All right, I... Hmm, I guess the question would be... Okay, but we can block that easily. But it... Ocelot, Ocelot is innocent. Ocelot is... Ocelot is blameless. Especially since Ocelot probably isn't even here. But... Oh, okay. Okay, that hitbox is annoying. Let's just dodge out of the way. Oh, okay. First breath with magic. And I just... Uh, range on that is actually really, really bad. I uh, Okay, okay. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Dodge, dodge, and... Okay. Cool, and just hit. How are we gonna make this work? I... Uh, mmm, that curse breath is annoying. Luckily we can... Ah, uh, stupid, and comes out with basically no startup, and I... Hmm, this is tougher than I expected then. Okay. Okay. Able to get into half health, but... Yeah. Hmm. But it is interesting, because it's kind of like he's in there, basically locked up, because he's crazy, a madman. I think... I could have done it, but I need to, to... I need a bit more Estus. I need a good deal more Estus. As in, healing Estus. If I went to 9 versus 9 and 5, I think that could be good. He's also just very, very fast. Huh. Force and... A lot Estus, 9 and 5. Actually, 8 and 6 is... Good. And I know there's a ring that increases casting speed, and we don't need flame mark right now, so I could probably put that on. Sage's ring, that is good. This should be what we need. So what would it be without Sage's ring? That's about one, two. This is Sage's ring. It's one, two. Okay, that that is faster by far. That's how I'm going to have to take him down. So go back to Dancer. I can run over, try one more time. Hopefully kill Osiris, and right in front of Untended Graves, that'll be where I end things today. All right. Said I believe there's an, an illusory wall that normally blocks the way in. I'm going to change equipment in the stamina. I'm exactly at 50. And okay, these are still medium rolls. It's 50 or below, not just below 50. So. Hmm. 7 and 8. Yep. 
Still my currently best weapon for just pure weapon purposes. So we go back. Oh, but right, we need to... That's right. I forgot to actually change that stuff out. Okay. So we go over here. We probably, frankly, at this point, at this point, I think I should probably be embered up for most relevant boss fights. Just because... My weakness has become impossible to ignore. The fact that I don't have any meaningful amount of vigor is starting to really, really hurt. Oh, but I... Mm, and then we're over here. And you were healing yourselves and... Wow, okay. Mm. Yeah, but Osiris was tough. I don't have a lot of vigor. I don't have a lot of HP, which makes a good deal of things a bit more difficult. Such as surviving attacks from my enemies. Okay, cool. Die. One, two, three. Now, the fact that it takes more than a single combo to take down these thralls is annoying, especially since taking it to level 9 would have made the difference. Yeah, I've, I've said this time and time again. The hardest part by far of the equal stats challenge is not low damage, because our damage is fine. It's not amazing, it's not nearly as good as a dedicated build would be, but it's perfectly serviceable. The, the real issue is... Uh, just how fragile we are, how frail we are. But that said, to be fair, at this point, every single flask fills a little less than my max HP. So I've got pretty much exactly efficient use, but even still... It also means that the amount of hits I can take from full HP is not all that high. And frankly, that's the most important thing. So we will just run through, avoid these guys, and... Hello, and I... Mm, walking that was a good idea, but we... Thank you, now we can run past. Shield actually took it, which is nice, and Osiris is moaning again. When will he stop? Okay. Probably never, frankly. So there's our- wait, what? You can hit me through the fog wall? What kind of Ornstein and Smoke BS is this? Yeah, we can- okay, die and- oh my goodness, that- uh huh. Once you go on all fours, you become obnoxious. Truly obnoxious, so... Lost souls, recover, and... out of the way, and... Yeah, the increased casting speed is very, very good here. Dodge- mmm, mmm. Let's get this back. Yeah, it... It happened to me before in the Ornstein and Snow fight, but... Stamina is... Blocking isn't bad, but still. Okay. And dodge. Thank you. Dodge and... Uh, but I... Mm, if I go too far, I'm... Uh, dodge. Okay. Thank you. So we can use that. Sure efficient use and... Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. And one more, one more real quick before you charge and dodge and- Oh, what? Okay. I- Weird, weird, and I- Hmm. I broke right through the tears. I was not expecting that at all. And- Oh, we didn't hit, we didn't hit. Annoying. Dodge and- Oh, what? Come on, dude. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Heal and- What, what? And dodge and dodge and- Okay, we need to get behind you. If we can't get behind you, we can't- We can't win this. We need to really make use of terrain in this fight, then. And I, oh, please. I, how did... Is that your counter frames, or what? How did you not get hit? Okay, so... Hit and just... Dodge it! Oh, please. I, mm, this is tough. Especially since we don't really have a good way to do lightning damage. And it's not gonna... Ah! Oh, range is really bad, too. Oh. I mean, pure lightning damage is fun, but it's just... Dodge, mm, dodge, and mm, how can we will this hit? It will. Okay, cool. And just what are you gonna do? And oh, uh, please, like, okay, just dodge all the way. Oh, uh, what? What are we? Okay, huh? Just one and really? Did that just break through the shield or what? I uh, okay. Huh? I uh, dodge, dodge. And, okay, heal and hit and. Oh, please, I... Oh, oh, and... Dodge, and... Okay, cool, well, that was okay. 
but the shield break on that was obnoxious. Uh, thank you, Osiris, I guess. And I just wasn't able to hit anything. Really, really strange. It's just... Dodge... Uh, well, that, that's not bad, but I just... Uh, stamina consumption, all these attacks, is... Yeah, I... Yeah. I figure the issue is, it's just... Oh, can I... Is that a... Can I... Well, you know, I didn't think the stance break would happen. I should have been prepared for that. Okay. Fun, I guess. One, two, three, and... Okay. Mm -hmm. Just keep... Keep that up and... Well... You know, I could have lived that. Hmm. Big thing is, is a couple more tries should be good. Next time should be good. Amber would really, really help. I guess what I should do is take off the helm and put on an actual weapon. Put on cell swords, so that when I just didn't know a stance break was an option. That's the thing. When I get a stance break, I can actually go for the critical which would hopefully help a little more we'll see they must knight armor but so what is Osiris weakest to and that's physical slash and my spears are how much do the spears weigh in comparison spears are mm -hmm, and it it's not better really so we'll stick with that I think one more time around might get it like a bull. Well, the big issue is he... He pivots really, really well. Which is crazy, actually. He's not expecting him to be able to spin around as fast as he did. But it's... I can't actually try to outrange him. But what I can do is use Lightning Spear's range to counter charges. That will probably be the best way to handle him. Is if I... Mm, okay. Two, thanks. And... Rolls, one... Oh, well, alright. You're annoying. And what? What? Oh, come on, just die. I was not expecting the thralls to be actual trouble this time around. Well, whatever. Not. What? 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 Ah, oh, you're so stupid. Uh, whatever. Come on. Well, that's one SS down for the fight. It'd be really funny if this one did it. Oh, actually, I could have and should could have and should have used embers to get my health back there. It's whatever. If I'm gonna use an ember, we got plenty. There we go, and yeah, because it's boosting HP to until death, but it doesn't say anything about increasing max HP, which is honestly a kind of important thing to know about. So we go over here. We lift this up. We up our phony elevator, which is not nearly as slow as the Dragon Slayer armor one. Honestly, it's just... The reason this fight is so annoying is because the only damage type he's really weak to is... I guess I could try actually just using weapons on him. But that said, it's... I've got Lightning Spear. I want to use it. I really do. Down here is... Wait, wait. Nothing was... Alright, so... Okay, now I'm getting confused. There were multiple ways out, weren't there? Wait, wait... This is... one is... Well, I think this this is just the same one, and I'm just getting all turned around. Because what is Osiris weak to, besides lightning, properly? Two, and there we go. Let me just check his description real quick. Osiris... Consumed King on Wikidot. And he's actually weakest to strike, and then decently to fire, but a lot of resistance to light- I mean, a lot of weakness to lightning. So I suppose I could try just maybe using the hammers, but I really don't feel like it. <laughs> you know, it's funny that we can go up this. It really does show how ability to climb up terrain is literally entirely a function of whether the devs want you to be able to go up it or not. It's not some kind- it's not like a Skyrim, you know, Skyrim horse thing most of the time at least and what what and I huh huh okay weird and I I'm starting off a bit down already that is really quite bad okay so we run through and hopefully don't get hit on the other side of the fog wall 
And you're coming over here, but if we roll out of the way just in time at the start, we'll be Gucci. Cool. And dodge, thank you, and then immediately lightning, and... Huh? So second phase is... Okay, so he really is kind of like a Ludwig. Mm -hmm. Just dodge, dodge, okay. Cool. Hit, and... So I can... Okay. Huh? If only I could use an actual blade shield, that would be good. But I... Mm -hmm. Let's just see if I can get behind him while I... Okay. What? Huh? Okay. Weird. I just... Okay. Two little ocelot. Frankly, I just was not expecting to have deep of voice as he did. And... Huh? Dodge! Huh? Need another bit of... Oh! Timed that wrong. Huh. Weird. Slow yourself, and... Oh, come on. I just... How did you dodge that... Dodge that attack? Weird. And I... Did that hit me, too, or what? Dodge behind you, and... Thank you, thank you, and... Come on, just... The stamina cost of... Using that is honestly kind of ridiculous. Well, whatever, I... Thanks, and just... How do we want to stay behind you? Can we... Yeah, we can, actually, so... And what if we roll through, I guess, but... Mm, okay. How do we want to... Okay. As long as we can bait the charge attack out and... Okay, that... Huh. This is all gonna be about baiting and punishing the charge attack and nothing else. Well, okay, that sucked. Okay. Thanks, and... I can't afford to... Yeah, I can... Literally, literally. Abusive father. And we got got that out, but... Huh? Can we... Are we gonna charge now, or dodge? Okay. Hit it. Oh, you're kidding. That wasn't nearly enough to punish, and I... And it's kind of the opposite of Ludwig in that he does that scream at the end of his charge instead of to announce it. It's actually really funny, frankly. And there we go, we can... Going in critical, critical. There we are, and string hammers would actually be the best for it in theory. But oh, but I, mm, how do I want to? Mm, do I don't have the time for that? Yep, I messed that up. Okay, dodge it. Wait, what? Huh? Okay. I really just, frankly, I'm confused more than anything. And oh, and. Yeah, when he does that jump, that's another good box. Huh. Okay. We did get him to half. Frankly... This isn't that stupid about this. It should be horrible. We're gonna go for one more try. One more try. And if it doesn't work now, I'll just do it again next time on Saturday. But it... It's, it's a fun fight. It's just... Like I was saying, I was reading this leaked document, supposed leaked document from playtesters, that said stuff about Osiris originally having the shape of Gundyr. And that was cool. It was actually really, really cool. But because of that, it said that Osiris was basically intended to have be a sort of porting over of quote-unquote the Ludwig experience to Dark Souls 3, which... Definitely made me expect something a bit different from that fight. And it's funny how, you know, he's kind of like Reverse Ludwig. He starts out up on his feet using some kind of weapon, and then he just goes all bestial on all fours and starts charging at you. But, kind of like... And I do find it interesting that maybe the reason they did it in reverse that way is because of feedback, which, if I had played the game, I would have given that feedback, that the first phase of the Ludwig fight was actually harder than the second phase, which, to be fair, I think it was at least somewhat intentional. So once you were able to get past the first phase, you could say, Oh, cool Moonlight Greatsword, and then kill Ludwig without getting sick of its presence. But, oh, I went down too, too early. Whatever. But, if they were doing it that way, you know, obviously they'd say, Okay, since this fight isn't incredibly... It's not DLC, it's not crazy plot important, so we'll just... We'll just make it so you can... Make it 
so that he does it the other way around. Even if it's less climactic, it's better for the actual fight's difficulty. I don't know, I don't know. By the way, we got our fast casting speed, we got our two miracle damage bonus rings. Let's traverse this fog and hope we don't get smacked. Okay. Hello, friend. Hello, old friend. Okay, cool. And dodge. Thank you. Another one, and... Just gotta know what attacks we can reliably punish it. Dodge! Okay, that is close. That was an arrow. Hmm. Thank you. That is preeminently punishable. And first phase, it's not that at all. And dodge. Thank you. Hmm. And I... Dodge. Oh. Close, close. And... Thank you. And... Oh, please. Broke lock. What could you possibly fear? Just dodge and... Dodge the left, I guess. And just... Mm -hmm. And that won't hit me, but... Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we do that. And I guess we go for one more, and... Before the charge, we can do that. Cool. Gonna charge me, or... And now you will. Now you will. Now you charge me. Dodge. Mm. Wow, okay. I didn't expect it to be a two-part attack. Okay, cool. So just one, two, and dodge, and cool. Heal up, and what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Gonna spin? Yeah, you will. Okay, cool. Now we just do that and miss entirely. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh, please. I, oh. I feel like Coranthi might be good right now. I can't say for sure. Just two ends. Oh, well. Yeah, I... It really... It's like Ludwig. It's got a lot of attacks. They're not crazy crazy, but you have to learn them. You have to learn them. Because if you don't know the tells, you'll just die. At least I can use a shield here instead of just having to dodge. Okay, cool. And, oh, you went behind. Weird. But we have enough, like, now, so... Okay, and... Wait, what? Okay, cool, and... That was really, really strange. Okay, so... Hit and got that narrowly and barely. Come on, just... Thank you. Oh, but can we... Interesting. Oh, that didn't actually... Oh, that hit the tail. That's really funny. So we can dodge out of the way and then try to... Go over there, maybe? Oh, but... Oh, you go too far. And... Oh, please, I... Hmm. We are doing better. We're doing better at actually learning his attacks, which is good. And dodge. Thank you for that. And yep. So you're stuck when you're doing that, which is huh. It's gotta make sure we have maximum stamina as much as possible. I can't afford to run really low. And come on, what are you doing? Okay, time for Ash and Estes. It's starting to run low, and I don't like that. I might have to finish this out with a critical or a Mmm, oh, well, okay. Mm -hmm. Ashen up and... Oh, well, we... Mmm, stupid, we weren't, we weren't close. Too far away. I mean, we were too close. Okay. And, all right, we can just barely tank that. One, two, and... Huh? What if I do that? And there we go. Now we can go for... We kind of warped. Okay. This might be what we need. Might be the remainder of what we need, so... Okay. Cool. Come on, Osiris. Come on, die. What? What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Up, two, and dodge. Okay, that's us up normally, and... Only the Ashen is left, so we can chill with that. Huh? One. How much are we gonna... Dodge it. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Huh? Shield is crucial for this, really. Okay, die. Okay. We got a little bit remaining, Ash and Estes. I think the remaining Lightning Spears we can get off using our focus should be enough if we don't miss too much. You know, easier said than done, really, but okay. Huh. It's got to be smart about this one, and dodge it. Uh, uh, hit, and one more, one more will do it. One more, one more. Oh, one more, one more, and die, die, and wait, did we? What? Oh, no, we're, we're not dead. It's gotta be stupid, smart, and one more, one more lightning spear, and what? What? You're kidding. We need one more hit on this guy. One more hit, period. I uh, dodge, dodge, okay. What? What? No! 
No! That was... I know what I said. We got so close. We know how to do this now. One more try. One more try. Got my lightning spear up. Big thing is just... I got too greedy at the end. That's always what happens. Just as in be really, really, really conservative with it and just toss a lightning spear off only right after he finishes one of his longer attacks. Because it, it wasn't exactly the most interesting way to do the fight, but helps counter the fact that I have no durability. One, two. Though to be frank, when Osiris... Frankly, I should probably just wear more armor. And when Osiris goes into critical ability mode, just use that as an opportunity to toss more lightning spears at him. Because they also take more damage during that duration, too. Just more damage, period. So if I can use that as an opportunity to get more mileage out of the lightning spears I have, that should be good. Big thing is that I've kind of gotten a feel for how far away I need to be from him in order to actually hit him. So... Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go with this way and... Just go down, try not to lose any health. We're gonna amber up again because we have... Ten. Okay. So next time is gonna be Untended Graves. I can't keep going after this. We did a lot today. We really did. We did... Profane Capital, we did Consume King's Garden and Rothrick Castle, so I'm pretty much satisfied with myself. I just want to beat a third boss. So we beat Yorm, it was easy. And we beat Dragon Slayer's Armor, who was also easy, actually. So I just, huh. It's as close as I can get to 50 without getting over. You know what? We could wear that. Wear Silver Knight Helm. They did use a lot of lightning against me, and I've Good lord, I cannot forget it. Okay. Do we have our tears up? So it's time for what will hopefully be fourth or fifth times the charm via Vio Silos. I do find it interesting that he's, you know, very clearly kind of a reference to Osiris from Egyptian myth. And I... Oh, interesting. So if I'm closer, I can actually take advantage of the water in the arena to... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's the real strategy. You send it down and try to hit with both the electric creep and the... Oh, well. Okay. So that's a way to get more damage basically for free. Okay. Interesting concept. Oh, and I don't even have my ember on right now. Whatever. Hit and... Oh, but... I can't turn myself nearly as much as I thought I could. Whatever. Okay, and just out of the way. Oh, this one is going stupidly. Whatever. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, I can't actually try to go for the... Go for the water stuff, because it just... Huh? You know, occasionally it's a nice bonus, but it's not the kind of thing I can rely on or try reliably at all. Okay, and Ashen Estes. Huh. So the more damage we get down the first part of the fight, the better. And you're there. We can hit you for free. Actually, a pretty decent time for all that, so. Huh. And then we hit you and dodge and. Okay, cool. And then we just hit with that, and do we have the. Oh, uh, we don't have all that much stamina, so we, we're in a bad position, kinda. Dodge. Uh, dodge and. Oh, okay. Hmm. At least we have that, but. Hmm. And you gonna charge again or. Of course you are, so we can only afford to use one flask at once. What? On Wake Up? Stupid. One more try. No matter what happens one way or another, only one more try. This could be the moment of truth, or it could be the moment of pure and utter suffering. It might even be both. Ah, uh, okay. But we need cell swords for the initial way in. It's just, we did so well, we almost got there, and then, yeah, at least, at least, at least I can clip that death to Osiris. That was a funny one. 
I just got too greedy. I just got too greedy. Thank you, thank you. It's almost over. It's almost over. One way or another, I'm almost free. And then, yeah, exactly, because even after this, in a grander scheme, it's just Grand Archives, Untended Graves, Arch Dragon Peak, and then the two DLCs, and then I guess Kiln, but Kiln is... Kiln is Kiln. It's nothing. And, oh, well, we... Well, luckily we can just heal with the Ember, but still. Okay. And drop down, let me kill you. Bye. And get over this way, why don't you? One and two. Okay. And we just... Take that. No, we need that for... The one additional hollow before all the Cathedral Knights. Yeah. Well. wonder how many souls we'll get for Osiris with a stacking of... Covetous Silver Serpent and Covetous... I mean, in Shield of One, it would be 32% 32, 32 extra souls, which is actually better than Covetous Serpent was in Dark Souls 1, because Dark Souls 1 Covetous Serpent was 20%, I believe, which is more than Covetous Serpent is in Dark Souls 3. But not only can you just get upgraded versions of Covetous Serpent, for example, in the Ring City, where you can get plus 3, even though plus 1 and plus 2 are limited to New Game Plus and New Game Plus 2 for some silly reason. But there we go, and let's try this thing again. One more time, one more time. I do not have the ability, or I don't have any kind of space to try to go for the funny extra damage from water on Osiris. I am simply going to toss lightning at him from a distance and hope that that does the trick. It hit better. Oh, but I, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. What am I? I'm stupid. So that could be really, really good. It could also be really, really bad. As we immediately basically kill the vial before the... I mean, a flask. Before this even started. Oh, but now you're doing that. That said, that might give us better space to kind of be silly later. Depending on how we fight some of these guys. Are you hiding from me? Oh, come out. Don't be afraid. At least his attacks are actually pretty easy to shield through and... Hmm. Okay, and... Come on, come on, and... That... Oh, it's... Too far away, and... Oh, come on. At least I don't have to worry too much about... Yeah, blocking is simple enough here. Okay, we just gotta make sure we don't go into the mist cloud. Dodge, thank you. And just... Can we... Mm, mm, I messed that up. So, there you go, and... Bad timing, really. Whatever. So, what attack are we gonna use now? And dodge... Ah, oh, ah, oh, please. Okay, Estus. Have to be conservative about this again, and just... Move out of the way, and... Oh, and you went really far. Okay, and... What? Alright. Just can't overextend myself, ever. Cannot afford to do that at all. What if I... Decent time to try to one, two, and that jump also did damage, so I huh? Bro is screaming. Bro thinks he's a dragon. Okay, is he? Probably not. And just dodge and mmm, okay. It's not oh, but you got out of the way? Annoying. And how did that even It aimed for the head, but didn't hit anything. Annoying. Ah, oh, wrong time bad timing. And I, okay, cool. I am definitely going to be in a bad spot via Ash and Estus. A lot of my attacks have just whipped in a way that wasn't true last time. Okay, what if I hit and... Huh? If we hit the head, I presume we could do really good damage really fast. But how did you dodge that? That is nonsense. Okay. Weird. Huh. Okay, so let's just do that and... Another way of you, and can we? That still doesn't hit. That is so annoying. Whatever, right? Huh? And try to. What? Okay. This one is not going to go all that well, I imagine. Okay. Maybe, but an attempt's an attempt. If if I will probably simply switch to drain hammers. 
if it doesn't work. Or as in, for the rest of the fight, once I run out of Ash and Estus, I mean, once I run out of FP, it's Drang Hammers. Drang Hammers all the way. But it's... Hitting the head is clearly what I need to do to get. Not the visceral, but the critical, but I just can't seem to manage. And just hit, and... Weird. What if I... What if I... Huh, annoying, and... That didn't hit either. Huh. Okay. It's decently weak to strike, so that means... Try something, maybe, hopefully. That did good damage to you. And we're out, which means hammer time. Hammer time. Let's go to see what we can unequip. And, oh, switching out in the middle of the fight is going to be really annoying. Okay. And, uh, one, and... To go for a big charge, we'll simply put our hammers back on. So where are my hammers? Where are my hammers? And I... God damn. They're not anywhere I can see them. I really need to clear up my stupid inventory. Where's the damn hammers? Oh, they're down here. Okay. And I... Mm -mm. God damn. Mid, mid fight weapon switch. Okay. Let's try this thing. Okay. And... Okay. But I can't... I need to use... The shield. I can't afford to try going two-handed. And, oh my goodness, that is painful. This is going to be slow, but we've got Estus. Let's go to see. Dodge. Okay. Cool. Oh, but it just keeps breaking my shield. Okay, what if I actually manage to break his head somehow? That's the question. And if I hammer slam the head? Yes, yes. Did I? And hit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. There we go. That was satisfying. Okay, what if I... Hmm. One, two, and... Okay, run in and slam the hammer. Drang hammers, I should have never left you. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's just... Do it. Okay. We're close enough that actually... And... We did it. We did it. And the lightning wasn't even the most important part. Hammers are literally always the answer. And Sudo Cyrus, so... Time for the bonfire, and we got our ember back, which will be good for the cream home invasion in Untended, but I think that's a pretty decent place to end things. This is fine work. Can we open this, or... I think it was an illusory wall that opened the way to Untended Graves, but... Something here, time for sadness. So somewhere there will be an illusory wall opening the way to the actual place. But we got enough to go for a few level ups, so that's what I'll do right now. I'll level up a few times and then chill. Yeah, that, that, that went down to the absolute wire. I was very happy when I managed to run in and get that big damage head smack. That critical on the head. Get about two level ups, I think, so let's level up. Let's take a bit of strength for our great hammers, and then Vigor would be nice, what a tune it, frankly. I'll take Vigor. I'm way too, way too. And actually, a tune, if I'm going to be using... I think I might fight Gundyr in the same way, just... Lightning Spears until I run out of FP, and then hammers for the rest. Maybe, we'll see. So, we got a good amount done. It was... There was a lot of pain and suffering involved, but I'm somewhat proud of the result. Thank you to everyone who stuck around and stayed for a while. It's been a good one. See you around, and yeah, Santa Ragon.